Jacksonville Pool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Jones, the voice of Jacksonville Pool, coming to you live from the one and only Beaches Q Bar here. Give me one second. All right, <clears throat> I'm waiting on these two teams to get things uh, started up here for us. I know I see Alex on there. Come on in, everybody. Get settled here. Perfect, and it's Brian for the other one. Jay Money over there helping me uh, <coughs> keep everything up to date. Appreciate you, Justin Lamont. Mm. All right, Brian versus Alex here. So this is the normal Masters format, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. For anybody just joining us here, this is the uh, this is the uh, Jedi Masters uh, Championship here. Um, and this is for their uh, their chance to be able to go and represent in uh, in Vegas. But championship qualifier here is what we got going on today here at Beach Ski Ball. Alex is right there with the uh, Shark Week <coughs> uh, shirt there, racking. Now in the Masters format here, uh, when they lag, the winner of the lag either gets to choose to break or gets to choose the format, one or the other here. They're starting on nine ball side. Let me make sure my live stream is up. Yep. Starting on the nine ball side, so they can go a maximum of eight nine ball racks to begin with. First person to uh, seven wins. And then on the second table, we have Logan versus Will over there. And I think uh, Justin's going to help keep me up to date <coughs> with all of this here. So I'm going to try to keep you guys up to date overall. Get this updated here as well. <coughs> Guys, let me know that the stream is coming through loud and clear on yours, uh, your end as well. We are streaming to uh, Facebook and YouTube via. Jacksonville APA for both Facebook and YouTube, and then also on my YouTube as well, Voice of Jacksonville Pool. Hey, Dara, how's it going, brother? Thank you, sir. <coughs> I'm trying to, uh, let me close out my extra videos here. So if it works out today, <coughs> we will have the uh, ladies on a secondary stream uh, to YouTube as well.
Yeah, that was nice out, by the way. Guys, do forgive me here. I'm just trying to get a couple other things finalized that I thought I was good on, but it definitely wasn't. I do apologize about this being quite on the mic, but I am still here with you guys. Appreciate everybody tuning in already. Get the stream shared out as well, if you would. Pretty please for us. means a lot. And again, we are live on um, all three uh, channels right now, uh, both Jacksonville APA's Facebook page and YouTube, and then my YouTube as well. Link should be going out in just a second across the board to give you guys all three of those options there for you. <coughs> Appreciate you guys.
All right, guys, I am officially back here. Thank you all so much for bearing with me. We're going to try to see if I can get the uh, ladies' side streaming here. And see if this will work out properly for us. <coughs> All right, if everything just worked out properly, which I'll see here in just a moment once I get all my stuff shared out, we should have a secondary stream here for the ladies on the YouTube side, not something I'm going to be able to commentate for. But uh, we'll have it nonetheless. That way the ladies are still able to see their matches on the big screen as well. I was just updated by Justin here. Logan is up 2-0 against Will on the secondary table. One is the overall team score. Alex takes that one. So that actually makes the Monstars up four to nothing right now. Or four to one, forgive me. Sorry, I did not mean four to nothing. Four to one overall. Lone lane up two to nothing. <coughs> All right, let me double check uh, Jack's Bell APA's YouTube and see if we can see both streams going right now at once guys are trying something new here something a little little different so and we are yeah we are live with both awesome all right guys give me just a second be right back
All right, guys, I am back. Sorry about that here. Just trying to make sure everything's going. Logan did a break and run against Will. Give him overall team score five nothing. All right. And the ladies live stream is currently working, guys. So um, as we progress throughout the day, though, unless something magically changes here, we, uh, we are going to have the ladies on the main live stream table here. Should have uh, hopefully all the finals if it works out properly. So we'll see how it plays out. But that is that is our hope, dream, and desire. I want to get you guys the link to the ladies' side. Give me one second. I'm going to get you the link specifically to their stream. All right. This score is still up to date. I did not miss it. Oh, live. And let me just share. Copy link. There we go. For anybody at home that wants to uh, check in on the ladies' side here, that should take you straight to the uh, the live stream for their table as well, y'all. Again, this is something new we're attempting. Bear with me on it. So, um, I said we're going to stay focused on the, uh, the one side over the other. I'm going to have a little bit of music in the background, nothing crazy going on, a little, little lo-fi music. That should work out pretty well here. All right, let's get to the match here at hand. Let's start talking about what's going on over here. Double check, make sure I got everything else. Yeah, perfect. <coughs> All right, so that is Brian for Notorious FIG in here, shooting on the five ball. Looks like uh, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are left. Nice cut there on the uh, five ball here. He's going to get squared up on that six, though, a little bit. Let me double check something here. Sorry, guys, trying to give it a moment to see if the, uh, the lag here kicks back out. Looks like Brian going for a defense there. Did not get it. Oh, no, he may have gotten hit up on top of the seven there. Looks like they are paired up pretty well. Body in chat rooting on out. It's there. There we go. I know Rev was in here a moment ago. Appreciate y'all being here. And thank y'all for bearing with me about the, uh, the live stream here. Again, we're, we are trying something new. Guys, again, I'm gonna try to give it just a moment. See if uh, see if the camera latency starts to die down a little bit back on me. So, how's everybody's day going, chat? How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's well and doing blessed. Beautiful Saturday here at Beaches Cue Ball. And I know we've already had some action going on getting into uh, the playoff situation here today. So in case uh, those don't know for uh, Masters here, they, they do their playoffs and do their uh, qualifier, their championship qualifier on the same day, along with the ladies as well. The exact same uh, style here. The only real difference comes on ladies teams are, are built up of uh, five members. That was a nice out by Brian there. The ladies team is built up of uh, five members on, on the team here. Uh, they still play uh, three matches total, and it's eight ball format. Toys FIG getting their second point overall. Overall team score will be there at top left. Keep in mind, they are playing on two tables at once, so it's hard to see. But that little diamond there at the very tippy top of your guys' screen here, that's uh, table number two. And Logan Lane is against, uh, let's see here, it was Will. 
because I have the right score sheet pulled up here. Will uh, Figueroa. Nice solid break right there. One thing, guys, gonna try to adjust the cameras here. <coughs> Give them just a moment. They should uh, reappear back on their own in just a second there for us. This helps out any here. <clears throat> right, so a good run out potential here, by the way. Pull back on this, should hit that right hand long rail, pop back over. There we go. He's got great shape for the nine after the six. Very well played on that. That was a good shot. Very good shot. <coughs> out by Alex there. Let's get this score updated here. Justin Lamont updated me. Oh, 3-1 in Logan's match here. So points both teams overall. Six three is the overall team score. Oh, forgive me. Hold on. Hold on here. I might have just called that too early. I might have just called that too early here. Bear with me, guys. I'm pretty sure I gave uh, gave a point too early with some assumptions there on my part. Justin's attention without disturbing this uh, this matchup. Yep, I did give the point incorrectly here. So let me fix this. Perfect. There we go. <coughs> there we go. We should be uh, properly up to date now. Five overall points for uh, Team Monstars, four uh, points for Notorious FIG. Brian with a great opportunity here. I like the way this uh, this is split up. Also, um, if anybody goes over, hold on, 
here. So bump on the eight ball is going to develop it real nicely. Letting it loose a little bit. Oh, doesn't look like he's going to bite him. At, ooh, smidge harder there. He's going to scratch. He's letting that loose a lot. He's got to be careful on that. But very nice out there by Brian. Nicely done. That's going to tie it up for Notorious FIG here. And again, this is Tim Jones, Voice Chat, so pool coming to you live from Beaches Cue Ball. Appreciate the, uh, them allowing us the uh, the space and time this, uh, this morning, this afternoon. <coughs> so they are uh, on rack number seven out of eight possible racks here. And then they will switch back over to eight ball. I will say we saw a lot of Masters teams when it came uh, to the Montreal Invitational. And I don't think we saw a single one start with nine ball. So I'm actually kind of excited to see this one start with nine ball versus eight. I won't even lie about being just a little bit biased in that regards. Won't even lie about that. Like nine ball better. But it's just always interesting to see people's uh, you know, overall strategy. It's fun to kind of guess as for the, the why behind it too. Small miss there on the two. Give me one second, guys.
All right, guys, I do apologize. I was just trying to make some uh, quick adjustments here and set some other things up as well, make sure we are good to go. But I think uh, we may be fixing to have Miss Alexis here joining us. And you guys know her from the, the wonderful TikToks, if you guys have been on there on, on the new TikTok page and or at least just the Jacksonville APA page as well. She's been doing our timeout trivias. So I'm going to get her uh, set up here and get her joining us. Okay, perfect. Well, she'll be here in a moment then. All right. So right now, Logan's up 4-1 on the other table, and I believe they are switching to nine ball, if I understood correctly. They've already done their five racks of eight ball. So that's very interesting. Table table number one for, for this team matchup here started in nine ball, will be switching to eight. Table number two started in eight ball, will be switching to nine. Again, it's, it's always interesting to me why which team chooses what and I mean I don't know I love I love nine ball I love nine ball I also love nine ball because it is the one format to which you may not have to switch to the other format and eight ball you know you only play five racks total it's a race to seven so even if you or your opponent wins five nothing you have to switch to the other format no matter what I'd love to know your guys's opinion about that too would really love to know what you got oop come on But yeah, I would really love to know your guys' opinion on that. All right, looks like Will got another point against Logan here. Man, this uh, this Masters is is flying by, but staying pretty pretty even here. Four two in favor of Logan versus Will, and now it's four two in favor of Brian versus Alex. Hey, stream, just to let you guys know, Marianne, to let me down for the, the, the first time ever in her life. I asked her if she had any gum or mints. She said she got some mints, and then she decided she didn't have them. Oh, Lord, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I, it, it does, it does. I told her I was going to tell stream on her. Uh oh, did he get hidden by that, uh, by that uh, nine ball? All right, let me make sure. Perfect. Side view is up and working properly. Nice. <coughs> I think everything's rolling now, guys. Nice attempt on a bank shot there. Doesn't get it the second time around. Good good try, though. Very good try by Brian. Didn't leave Alex with much of anything after that one. Logan is up 5-2 on the other table. What's up? Hello, hello, live stream. Hey, Miss Alexis, how you doing today? I am doing wonderful. It is a beautiful day. It is gorgeous out there, isn't for it? For some pool. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. How have you been, though? How's life going? I feel like I haven't, like... I got to talk to you 
Uh, and then we each have our own different different venues of how we're yeah. <laughs> how we're helping Jacksonville APA here. Yeah, it's so like we're just missing each other, but we yes. kind of like catch wind a little bit. Yes, we do. Uh, by the way, uh, big shout out to you. Love the timeout trivia. <gasps> those Wonderful. have been those have been Good. a lot of fun to we'll watch. We'll have to get you on it. I, I would love to. I'm I would surprised love to. you we haven't had you on it yet. That would be a blast. That would absolutely be a blast. I uh, it's funny because every time you do one. Like you ask a question, I'm pause. I'm like, okay, this is my answer. Now I'm pause to listen for it just in case. So that way I'm not cheating. Well, that's kind of unfair. You have to do it with the time. Oh, see, but it's tough though because they're so fast to answer that sometimes I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, but like I, I knew it though. But did I or did that I just? That is true. So that's the only reason why I've been doing it that way, just to uh, just to make sure that I, I feel as confident as a division rep as I do. Yep. <laughs> so I, I've definitely got a couple raw though, and I was I was a little sad by that. I was like, man, but my boy Ben. Who uh, who's one of my guys on my uh, Monday night team here? Uh, showed up and showed out on one of your timeout oh, yeah. trivia. Oh six, yeah, he uh, crushed six, right. it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so pretty sure he took that one home too. Oh yeah, yeah, I love it. So uh, what else has been going on in uh, in life with you other than the timeout trivia and all the wonderful Facebook posts and everything? So we have been making our rounds, and you know, it w where were we last time? We were at Post Nine. We were at American yep. Legion Post Nine, and that was such a blast. We instead of calling people we were having they decided that they wanted to challenge somebody okay so they took oh. it into their own hands yeah oh man i like that so idea. they were calling people out and they were like you know what i want to face off against you and so they all paired up and um competition was high it mm. was such a blast it was so fun can't wait for that to roll out you guys are going to see that soon um so yeah if you want to challenge somebody let us know in the stream let us know in the chat comment on one of the posts and you never know we might end up at your next league night so that's, that's been huge. such a blast that's really huge and you were just in montreal right just in montreal yeah over there uh, across the uh, the border for the first time ever in my entire uh -oh. life and how was that it was such a blast oh my yeah. gosh it, it was a treat of a an entire trip to say the least super blessed to be there the competition was amazing the fact that they had eight ball they had nine ball they had masters they had ladies they had a second chance tournament they had many manias oh wow i mean it was literally as close to vegas as you could get without ever touching oh my goodness in vegas which blew my mind because i like this is only their second year right wow okay and so they already increased by like uh, another 50 percent more tables than what they had over last year amazing um it was on floor three and four in the uh, sheraton uh, downtown montreal oh my gosh so they took up two floors to do it and I mean, just the overall atmosphere was amazing. I mean, you, you just walked in that room, you were like, you're like, it's it's alive in here. Like, it there there is something going through the air right yeah. now. Like everybody's pumped, excited. There was, um, don't want to misquote here because I was looking up prize money for these. I think it was fifty five thousand dollars Canadian oh was goodness. the total overall prize package. Wow. In which in the main tournaments it was uh, first place was five grand. Um, the second place team was three. The third place and fourth place teams were um, a, a grand a piece. Like it was massive, a lot of money to be handed out that is a lot how did they i'm just curious this is where my mind is going how did they get all the pool tables so um <laughs> no it's tell. it's funny you ask that um <laughs> there was a giant cart that they were rolling them in so the, the diamonds flip up on their side and there's mm -hmm. a huge like specialty like dolly cart and that's i've made seen that because they yep. just put in new diamond tables at blending billiards mm -hmm. so yep, i yep. got to see all the amazingness of well how are we moving those tables and it was a really cool sight to it see to be honest it's a set it's a huge like undertaking j j yeah. I, mean, I mean even if even for blanding you know because it was seven seven footers correct me if i'm wrong it i think i think it was six six okay yeah i think it was six I, I remember they had multiple sizes i was trying to remember that day because uh mike had called me and he's like hey he's like by the way this is going down i was like yeah. are you serious like blanding billiards get new diamonds yeah. are you kidding me like I was so stoked to hear about that. Though. Yeah. That was huge for them. Absolutely it was really huge. cool to see them wheel it out of the truck and then to put it on the dollies that you were mentioning. Yeah. And then I guess that because they already have a leveler mm -hmm. on the table or in the table. It built, built into it. Yeah. yeah. There, there, there's uh, there's some special new uh, diamond technology from what I was told. Now, granted, I don't know the, the rundown on it. So <laughs> nobody in chat be like, Tim doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't. I'll go ahead and tell you first that I don't uh, properly. But, yeah, it, it is built in there. But I've also still seen them use the the manual level and set it on top mm -hmm. and it's amazing because even with that not being a digital level mm -hmm. right it still has a little bubble it's amazing to me when you stick a one dollar bill underneath one side of it you can clearly see the bubble move and we did completely that. out of range yeah. like complete like you're like it's a one dollar bill like you're 
like a super thin, like I can't, yeah. like, wh are you serious? It's that far off level if you put that underneath? Yeah. 100%. I think I have a video of Mike and I testing it out mm. once once that. the tables got up. And it was interesting because one of them, um, you know, they had it loaded on the trolley and then they have to be able to get it off a certain way or the table uh, can easily be mm -hmm. I don't want to. I want to say it injured, but yeah, a table can't yeah. be injured. It, it can be injured. It can be damaged. Yeah. Um, so they had to almost get a different table and bring that one out instead of the one that was on the trolley because they were like the way that it was loaded on. If they were to take it off, it would just completely fall. It, it, would, it would damage it. Yeah. And that's a lot of money for a mm -hmm. table. You don't want to be messing that up. So Kelly must be on the live stream with us because she texted uh, texted me here. But that is the the semi truck here. Let's oh get see firsthand. But she sees how they're stacked back there. Wow. With, with a big old forklift to to help take them out. And then they were. They were, uh, you know, on the dolly and moved up I multiple flights of stairs. I took. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so I don't know the exact answer. I can tell you it was a lot of hours because we were yeah. there on Thursday. I was going to say, if it's two floors, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh. Yeah, so they, they had to they had to get them up, you know, up in the elevator, the service elevator, and go up to floor three and floor four. There was the main room had, I'm going to misquote this again here, 42. It was 42 tables in the main room. It oh was uh, 12 tables. And the uh, master or mini mania room, if I remember correctly, and then I think it was four in the practice room. Wow. Um, with two more being outside of one of the other rooms as well. So there was there was tables all around. Like you couldn't go anywhere over there without seeing those diamond tables yep. and, and being played on. Um, but I mean, it's just massive undertaking as well here. And sorry guys, I'm getting text on all ends here. Mr. Justin Mont up, up, updating me here. Logan Lane won his matchup seven to two. So Monstars are up here. Sorry, let me update this real fast. A little ADD squirrel brain going on. There we go, 11 to six overall. But yeah, it was, it was just such a massive undertaking. But the crazy thing wasn't them putting it all together because mm -hmm. I didn't get to see all of that. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing was coming in there during the, the day of the semifinals and finals, knowing that like everybody's like super intense, right? Yeah. Super intense mode. And then seeing as the day progressed that they, because we were in a corner of the room and so like they had three sets of rows of tables mm -hmm. so as soon as that one round ended you, you, you saw a whole row of tables within like an hour and a half disappear oh my gosh i mean there's, you were like i was looking over there i was like where did that go where, like i was just i was staring at my screen <laughs> yeah. and like one matchup just finished like what like who's You're booking like, it over there, there, were yeah. tables there oh my gosh if somebody told me they were like actually harry potter's involved they did a little leviosa trick i'd yep. be like that makes more sense that <laughs> yes. that's more plausible yeah then the speed at which I know these tables had to get removed and taken down oh yeah, blew my mind. And yeah. I just love the fact, too, of how they had it set up with the uh, the railing for the seating. So every uh, table, every pool table, mm -hmm. had, a, had a table in front of it for, for the teams to sit at. And you were always taking up two tables at a time, so team one and team two on, on each table. And then right behind them was stadium seating as oh, well. Oh, so I they think I saw that yeah, in they, the pictures. They, they planned it all out phenomenally. It was wild. Brad versus George up in the third matchup, by the way, guys. But uh, as from what I understand here, talking with Kelly and talking with uh, Pascal and Mark and them, um, they actually worked with the team that sets up Vegas mm. and worked with them specifically. And they were like, hey, we have this layout, this setup, and this is what, uh, you know, this is what we want to accomplish. And they mapped it all out and made it come to life. It was, I'm telling you guys, like, I'm not doing it justice describing it. I want to encourage you that next time, um, if and when we get a chance to uh, go to Montreal again, y'all don't want to miss out. I mean, it was, ask anybody that went, and anybody that went last year, they'll tell you it was a great time and really, really good showing. Wow. So how, because you were there with your team, right? Yeah, so uh, I was blessed to get to be on Paul Miller's team. Um, that was not a expected outcome that came uh, very last minute. Um, Paul was able to uh, get a team of four together, and they needed a fifth player, and they are like, Tim's already going to be up there, and he's got his passport, so he's definitely going. And uh, I was like, if y'all have me, like I would, I'm not gonna turn down this chance yeah. to, to play in stream. And uh, in fact, uh, both uh, Kelly and uh, Kevin, Kevin Morgan from First Coast APA, uh, commentated our uh, our team's matchups, which was funny because it was Jacksonville APA <laughs> versus Montreal <laughs> CPA, Pascal's team. Oh goodness! And we won. I looked at uh, <laughs> after we won, I looked at uh, Paul and I said, "You realize I'm on the craft list now, right? Like if Pascal lets me be like." Hey, it was great having you, but uh, we don't need you for next year. I'd oh be like, goodness. yes, sir, I understand. No problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, that's great. But it wasn't it wasn't planned. Um, right. We, I'd actually close up the stream that night, mm -hmm. and I knew we were going to be playing at 11. And so I was like, all right, guys, you know, did my little outro and everything. And I was like, we'll, we'll start back up tomorrow at this time, et cetera, et cetera. 
And uh, next thing I know, like, I see the little message from CompuSport showing up on my phone. And I'm like, oh, I was like, um, well, here we go. Uh, let's see, we, we, got a, <laughs> we got another match going. So I went and ran over to Kelly and I was like, Kelly, I was like, um, <laughs> we're up on the streaming table, by the way. Uh, and she's like, oh, well, I guess, I guess we gotta, we gotta stream it. Yeah. I guess we gotta get do it. And I was like, I mean, if you want to, like, I'm not gonna say no. Yeah. So it, it was a, a roundabout turn of events because uh, everybody back home was like, hey, y'all gotta be on the streaming table. I'm yeah. like, there ain't a chance in this world. That's the home that, support. Well, yeah, like, like, and I love it. Like, I love it. But there ain't a chance in this world I was gonna walk up to Pascal and be like, Pascal, <laughs> little nudge, nudge. <laughs> yeah. if you don't mind, you know, because they're they're trying to make sure as much representation was done. I mean, we had teams course. from South Carolina on there, teams from New York on there, our team. Um, we got to see a lot of people. We had Orlando represented as well. Like, it was really a blast. Um, but I wasn't gonna, gonna be like, hey, can we get up on the live stream yep. too? Yeah, we need to be on camera, it's our time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was amazing that it just happened to work out that way in 100%, I know people may not believe it at home, but go back and listen to the stream right before that ended. <laughs> And listen to me close out and tell you what time we're going to be back. And I'll even show you the text message chain where I was, like, trying to hunt Kelly down and be like, we're up on the live stream table. Oh, that's so funny. So. I wonder, amazing. like, do you end up seeing the same people when you go to tournaments and stuff like that? Like, I'm sure it's almost like, um, I don't want to say, like, a homecoming, but, like, a mini reunion of sorts, especially if, you know, you're constantly wanting to perform well so that you do have the opportunity to go to these tournaments and stuff. I'm sure it makes it fun to connect with other people in different leagues or you know cities and things like that oh yeah it, it is funny that you even mentioned that because i always call it a favor reunion every single time <laughs> and it, it's hilarious because this is the second time now that we've been on stream together and you're you're literally just taking the words out of my mouth on some of the stuff here that's exactly I what it's it. like it, it's literally just like uh an entire you know favor reunion out of nowhere you, you just get over there and you're like guys how you doing like the orlando team was seeing boats and holes they literally oh, were on this table for the Southeast Challenge. I literally streamed their match and got to know them and meet them. And it was a freaking blast. And so as soon as I saw them up there, they were like, damn, I was like, what's going on, guys? I got to give Orlando and all them a hug and, and show them the love and stuff. And it was amazing. But I was told there was uh, quite a few uh, Canadian teams that were there for both years. And so, like, I'm really expecting now when I go up there to see some of the fellow CPA teams up there again mm -hmm. and get to hopefully, you know, converse with them, see how their year's been and you know, how's life going and what's, what's new and you're like, Hey, what's going on since the last time I was mm -hmm. here so much. Oh yeah. Landon, you asked, uh, who's on the Monstars team. That's Logan Lane, Jay money, Brad Lane, and Alex, who you see here on the live stream right now. AR bunny on YouTube side. Appreciate you says best of luck. Thank you for being here. We are streaming live on Facebook and YouTube via Jacksonville APA and on, uh, Jacksonville APA's YouTube page. There are two live streams in which uh, both of those are currently being shown. So that way you can see the uh, ladies division going on as well. Who played for, oh, you mean who put up first? Landon, is that what you're asking? Because this is the first matchup of the um, championship qualifier. But if you're asking which team put up first, I do not know. This is the first matchup. Logan's matchup finished uh, seven to two. So right now it's 11 six overall score. And I do know Brad Lane is up against uh, George on the secondary table. Yeah, 11 to six, because there's two matches going at once. So there's table one and table two. Oh, Logan played who? Uh, Logan played uh, Will. So Logan are these Will singles? Figaro. No, 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 these are. So this is, is, uh, this? This is the master's division. Okay. So this is teams maximum of four. Uh, they can they can play three or have three, but maximum level four. Uh, no, 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 maximum maximum skill level. They go all the way to the top. Okay. Um, the whole point of the masters division is to let these guys let loose. Love it. Um, there is no handicap, so it is a even race to seven. Whether they are skill level seven, whether they're an eight, whether they're nine, none of that matters. Okay, It's cool. the same race for everybody. Um, but the format's really interesting, though. So they they lag like you're used to seeing to determine, uh, but it's determined something a little different. It's to determine the winner lag gets to determine either the format they play first or if they break first. So they actually play both eight ball and nine ball mm -hmm. um, is the way they play it. So they can play a maximum of eight racks of nine ball and five racks of eight ball. Mm -hmm. First person to seven points overall wins. And uh, in this format here specifically, every rack is one team point. Okay. And then once uh, the team points get to where the other team can't win, it's over. Who's on stream, Elena Fox? I'll let her introduce herself, but you better know who that 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 wonderful voice is, <laughs> and you better have been supporting 
both the Jacksonville APA <laughs> Facebook page and the new uh, Jacksonville uh, uh, APA TikTok page, if I can say words today. My name is Alexis. I have been behind the scenes a little bit on the social, the little videos. If you follow Jacksonville APA on Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. or now TikTok as Jacksonville Pool. <laughs> um, so we've been doing some really fun stuff, and I get to chat with you guys on the mic as well. Lane and I don't play on Wednesdays, sir, no. I play on Monday and Tuesdays. But yeah, I'm glad to have her on stream. It's funny because we're, we're both, uh, I, I would say the, the the goal is the same, right? To, to increase all the social media presence and, oh yeah. and knowledge. But uh, it's hilarious because we've literally just been passing by. So yeah. it's, it's been wild. I mean, I really, I'm trying to think. I want to say I saw you at one of the other pool halls since we've done a live stream, but I really don't remember when it was now. Well, I saw you last time at... Um, Nine Ball Heaven. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yep. And then I saw you for triannuals the first time here. Yes. And there might have been one other time. Yeah, it, it's just it's just been. I can't remember. Time is flying by. I can't keep track. My dad literally texted me. My birthday's on the seventeenth. He's oh like, my hey, gosh, he's happy like, early birthday. Thank you, thank you. He's like, uh, what do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, I could have told you it was eleven days away. <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait, my birthday? Yeah, I, I got so much going on between between this. I got a uh, trip to uh, Tally coming up next come back here for another stream and then I got a trip to Orlando after that then I come back here or I go back to making I'm sorry for another stream I'm oh my gosh I'm sure all over the place all over the place yeah so are they all for pool streams yes wow yeah, amazing I, I, I try to if I don't have Jacksonville APA stuff going on I try to book up everything else in between and not have a free uh free weekend at all so you are just a running around mm-hmm absolutely my mama said these are my running shoes <laughs> exactly so we have the Monstars and Notorious Fig. Mm -hmm. And how many people can be on a team here? So for Masters, it's just a max of four. Um, max of four people. Yep. And then, because I know the last tournament, we chatted about you could only have a max number of skill level total. But yes. we don't have that at this tournament, correct? No, no, no. Okay. So, so this one here, it's uh, essentially a free-for-all is the best way to think of it. But it's... The whole purpose behind Masters here, and I might be misspeaking a little bit, um, I'm, I'm going to give you my reasoning behind Masters, is, is just allow these guys to have a, a fun matchup against each other, play the best of the best within the APA leagues, and not have to worry about anything else. There's no sort of specialty handicap in place or anything like that. And they also get some other uh, specialty rules as well. Um, they can actually jump with a jump cue. Okay. Um, whereas in regular APA leagues for normal 8-ball, 9-ball, any of that kind of stuff, you can jump if the pool hall allows, um, but you have to jump with your full cue, which you'll probably never really see anybody do. It's just very difficult to do with the length of a normal playing cue mm -hmm. versus a jump cues uh, around about half the size, give or take. And then you also have, yeah, Landon's trying to jump the gun here for me. Thanks, for, uh, Landon. Um, but yeah, you also have the, the push out option as well. Um, push out is where after you break, um, you have the option to push the cue ball somewhere else that you want to do so. And if your opponent says, hey, I'm good with where this is located, I'm, I'm good to take on the next shot or whatever it is I want to go after, they can say, cool, I'm good with it, I want it. Um, or they can say, hey, this was a horrible Christmas gift. I'm going to rewrap it, put a fresh new bow on it, and pass it right back to you, and you go enjoy whatever you decide to leave yourself with now. Okay. Which is a really interesting concept, but it's meant to prevent uh, people from getting away, um, you know, with like if, if you have like a rough break mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Uh, Kelly over here. Um, Sorry here, I'm trying to read up all of this. Looks like she's sending me some stuff I need to take a look. But new session does start May the 4th, which uh, is an amazing day because uh, if you know, both leagues are called Jedi and Padawan Masters. Yes, Star Wars reference. Yeah, we talked we yeah. chatted about this a little bit the last yeah. time. And May the 4th is a very, very important Star Wars day. May the 4th be with you. Yes. Right? And uh, Revenge of the, the 5th, uh, May 5th. I'm loving the themes. Oh, yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good. Which I, I love the fact, too, and I, I didn't realize how blessed we are here to, to have, which, you know, at different APAs have some different things. Mm -hmm. um, that, is, that is something I've been learning in my time of traveling and stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, not everybody has that Padawan Masters uh, okay. division, which I find very interesting. That's, that's for, like, the skill level um, four through fives. Kelly, correct me if I'm wrong. Now I'm drawing a blank. I know where I want to say I'm about to misquote. Um, but it's for the, the, the kind of lower skill level bracket here, and it's still the same concept, but it's meant just for that skill level bracket only. Padawans? Padawans, yep. Yep, 
So how would you, do, and you may not know the answer to this, yeah. um, like how would you enter, is there qualifications to enter Ooh. Masters and Jedis or, Great question. or, I'm sorry, Masters and Ladies and Padawans and Jedis is yes. what I'm looking for. Uh, so um, there is, uh, there's not like a, a specialty like uh, tournament or anything you got to participate in to be able to get into it. Um, but there is uh, the ability just to go right on to it uh, and sign up. And it's skill level four through six. Thank you, Kelly. I, I knew you'd have my back on it. I was, I was mm -hmm. like, I'm pretty sure it's sixes too. But, um, but yeah, no, you uh, just like any team, uh, you can let Jacksonville APA know via uh, the Jacksonville APA line. There's actually a link to do so on the uh, Jacksonville APA uh, League's website mm -hmm. uh, for you to sign up and start a team. And the thing I want to remind people the most as well is you only need three to start a team. So if you're struggling, you're like, I got three of us, but I like to have a fourth. Same thing in regular league. You only need five to start up a regular league team because you have to be able to play five people. Um, you can find your other three. Um, so. That sounds like it might be a timeout trivia question. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I think Kelly's correcting me here. It's fives and sixes. Yeah, she's trying. She's trying to text. Kelly's unfortunately not feeling the uh, best here. Oh, they're trying for a new registration system here via the website. Let me see. I am going to get this copied over if I can. And that way I can link you guys over here. Brand, uh, Lane, don't call them Baby Masters. Don't call them that, brother. It is not Baby Masters. It is people looking to make themselves into far better opponents. Oh, it's very, actually a very simple website. And May is just around the corner. Yes, it is. I can't believe that. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this website's gorgeous, guys. I'm gonna send the uh, oh, link. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. Wow, Kelly, who who uh, who designed the website? Because I love this. Yeah. So Padawan Masters that is for so the good. skill level five through six. Yeah. This is wow. I love whoever did this. Two teams advanced to Las Vegas and one to Montreal. Woo, 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 woo. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Very nice. And Montreal is once a year, right? Once a year, yes, ma'am. Yep, it is the Montreal Invitational. Good out by uh, Brian there, by the way. Um, but yeah, once a year, um, just like uh, some of the Southeast Challenge and stuff like that, they are, um, oh goodness gracious, what was the official word? Inter, interleague tournaments, if I, for, if I remember how they were called. Kelly's been trying to help me to understand all this a little bit better. I've, the, the amount of knowledge of, of APA and CPA that I, I've learned over the past couple of weeks has greatly expanded, to say the least, from, from getting to understand all of how this works. So. so we have the masters on one si on one screen, and then we have the ladies on yeah, so another screen here. We actually have uh, two YouTube channels going at once. Oh, okay. And uh, here is the ladies sign up right there as well for the info that should be coming through on all three sides but yeah we uh we're trying for the first time ever we'll see if it works uh, so far the computer is handling it like a champ of running two instances at once here of, of two different streams the only downfall is is that uh the lady side only has uh some wonderful little background music playing nothing crazy is the only downfall here i can't uh can't oh. commentate on both here okay golden girls Let's go going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat up on the YouTube side for the ladies. And Kelly said she, I, I shouldn't be surprised about this. Kelly was the one that made the uh, the websites here for the masters and ladies. Wow, look at that web design champ over here. It looks gorgeous too. I, I shouldn't be too surprised. The <laughs> She whipped up the Montreal Invitational um, little back end and then Mike also whipped up uh, some of our like starter uh, little videos that we had for it. I, I'm trying to think of the word officially for it, but both of them working together to make them uh, look beautiful as could be. Looks great. Yes, it does. So this is the first match? Yes, this is the uh, the first overall match up here. Um, so this is actually uh, still the, the, the first match between the two teams. Looks like you may end up going hill hill. So this is five to five. Uh, Logan already finished up match at number two for this, this whole battle and won seven to two against Swim. And from what I'm told right now, Brad for Team Monstars here is up uh, as well, two to nothing. So right now, overall, 14 points for Monstars, and then uh, should be seven points overall for uh, Notorious FIG, which is getting close here. They're getting close to where they're not going to be able to play catch up at all here. Brian can only score two more overall points, and then uh, 
over there uh, for George. George can still score a maximum of seven more points, so nine total. So they can go to 16 at, at best. So if Monstars gets uh, hits 17 points 100%, it should be over. So the in the the top left, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, top um, left, so Royal Atlantic. And then what is what is the what they have to the points that they have to get to? Because right so here on the match, right, the games they must win seven. Seven. Yep, yep. So this this match that we're watching right here, uh, this is going to be uh, potentially well, there'll definitely be at least one more rack after this. Um, but both gentlemen still need two more points to finish this match out and close it. Which Brian has to get these two. To be honest with you, this is. They're getting down to the wire where they're not going to have any more leeway whatsoever. So this game, right, or this match is, okay, first team to get to seven, right, wins the overall? So uh, the overall top left-hand score, uh -huh. that varies just based on where each each team is. Um, unlike normal league play where, like, in nine ball, we keep score of points. Mm -hmm. uh, so first team to 51 points overall would win it. Um, an eight ball first team to eight points for sure, or seven with the tiebreaker would win it. Um, this works a little different because their points are one point per rack, and each of them have the ability to get potentially seven points uh, at maximum, but their opponent is also still gaining points as well. So both of these gentlemen for the overall team score, they've scored five points each mm -hmm. for the overall team score. Okay. Um, that's what it does, just Logan. Uh, absolutely dominated in his matchup seven to two against Will. <laughs> I'm seeing so, that. Yeah, that, that's that's a huge, huge pull through it. And even like you got to think about it, even if it was seven to four. Yeah. Right. That put notorious uh, Fig there up uh, to nine overall team uh, points versus 14 for Monstars. That's way more doable. So we'll see uh, if Brad keeps trucking along and if Alex gets this win, we might have a uh, a winner for this first bracket right off the bat. Right off the bat here. But yeah, guys, don't uh, don't miss out here again. May the fourth for the uh, new season uh, or new sessions. I'm sorry for the masters, both sides, and uh, for ladies as well. And then on the Jacksonville APA YouTube side, again, you'll see two live streams. One of those is uh, labeled for the ladies. So if you guys want to catch out their content over there, don't hesitate to do so. Please show them the love and support that they deserve to have as well. They're over here battling it out. Oh yeah, got a pretty good game going on. Mm-hmm. I think somebody was asking, you can't add the score, right, to the ladies' side? Uh, no, so um, I did ask, and for anybody uh, on the ladies' side here, actually I should probably type it out to them here in a second, um, but I did specifically go up to both teams and ask them if one of them would please be willing to be in the live stream. All they got to do is type it out in the chat, and they told me, sure, no problem. Um, so we'll see if they update it, um, but I explained to them that it just was not going to be something that I would be able to keep up with because that would really be three matches going on at yeah, once that's a lot. Per, per se and I'm, I'm still even cheating because Justin Lamont for Team Monstars has helped me out and texting me updates which mm -hmm. is I, I feel like I'm being rude by the way looking at my phone as much as I am I do apologize <laughs> um, but it's called multitasking it, <laughs> let's see one two three four five screens over here going at once right well it's hard because we can't you can't really see the other match that's going on at the same time either oh yeah no uh no, not it's really. Over there. It, yeah, it's it's on the back end too. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, that was a um, a, a last minute change. I didn't, I wasn't aware of. I say change. I think that was the original idea. It was to play it on two matches going at once mm -hmm. um, for the teams to keep things speeding along. Because if not, you got to think we've been live for just over an hour, and this would still be matchup number one. So that means oh. Logan's matchup wouldn't even happen yet right. per se. And even if it finished the way that it did, where it was only seven is two nine, so nine racks, so faster than this one. I mean, we still would probably be here another probably hour. For the first two. For the first two teams going right. against each other, right? Yeah. And, and so we got a long day of, of, of some play here for us. So it just would, would, would take a lot. So that was my misunderstanding uh, with it here. So when I set up the secondary camera, I have our, uh, our second view still set up for the main table over here to give us a nice little Oops. side view oh. instead. So, so how many teams are playing today? Oh, great question. Let me pull up the bracket. I think it is four on each side, but I don't want to tell you wrong here. Give me one second. I'll definitely get that pulled up. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, four. So we got Monstars, Notorious, uh, Fig here, FIG, and then Team Another Thing Coming versus Team Double Tap. So the losers of these first two uh, battles will go on to play each other in the one loss side, and the winners will go on to play each other in the winner side, and then it'll keep on going until we're down to the the finals here, which won't take long, so just a, a few overall matchups because you got to consider two matchups are going on mm -hmm. at once. Is so. that the same for the ladies? 
Also huh. four teams. Let me see here. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> I love the team name. I forgot about that one. Sisters Before Misters. <laughs> oh, that's the, cute. the Golden Girls, Cue Ball Cuties, and oh. Breaking Racks and Hearts here. Okay, I'm loving the team names on the ladies' side. It, it's, it's some good creativity. Some really good creativity here. All right, let me update the overall team score here. I don't have an update on Brad's match um, against George here. But that is too funny. That's such a good name. Bottom team score. That was a very, very important rack there for uh, Team Notorious FIG here with Brian. And, and so we've got two teams going to Vegas today, one from Masters, one from Ladies? Yes, uh, one from Masters, one from Ladies, and then uh, the Padawan as well, unless something uh, has changed. And that's a eight on the break. That was an eight yeah. on the break. Way to go, Brian. Big wow. congratulations. Wow. Nicely done. Getting some snaps from me on that one here, which uh, he honestly – he needed that to happen, um, 100%. Oh, they're coming back now. Nope, they they are done with uh with this matchup oh. here. So what I'm gonna do in just a moment, guys, we might lose camera for just a minute here. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get over for to Brad's here for us in just a second. Bear with me for just a moment, guys. Let's see. lose the connection for just a moment. You know, see everybody staying still for just a split second there. It'll be a little, little fuzzy, a little grainy because I'm going to be maximum zoomed in here. Let's see. Ooh. That is not right because that is super... Super duper mode. We're testing out Zoom capabilities. Yeah. <laughs> or like in case you wanted to see the freckles on somebody's face here, here you can count them all with how zoomed we are. <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. That is Brad off in the background currently shooting right now. And then I was told uh, he is still up 2-1, which I don't think I gave Notorious Fig here their points. Let's see, seven and two is nine, plus two is 11. Yep, I did not give them their points yet. So bottom team. So it is 11 to 14. Hey, Smitty, what's up, brother? He says, let's go, Tim. Masters in Vegas is fun. Masters is a blast to watch in Vegas. Um, so oh, my gosh, I can only imagine. So it changes a little bit. So it's still what you're seeing here, and, and I, I don't want to confuse you on this because it, it got me while I was in Montreal. Um, here I have to keep up with each rack. Each rack is worth a point. In Vegas, it's best two out of three. So you're still oh. racing the seven, but it's just whoever gets the win gets the one team point. So if you get the first two matchups here out of three and you your guy wins, you, you get your one point, it's over. It's done. Oh, wow. So, yeah, and it doesn't matter whether you won seven racks to their six. It doesn't matter whether you won 7-0. None of that matters. It's did you get the overall win and, and did you get your seven racks first? Cool. Boom, team point. One team point. Done. Wow. Over. Um, so it's a little different, but uh, I also feel like that is the pressure. Yeah, because, stakes are high. Yeah, because at least here, like even for Alex, right, Alex versus Brian, at least for that one, you can be like, all right, I at least secured five points for my team overall. My team has 14. I'm a third of those. Cool. I did I did fairly good for my team. Everything has to feel hunky-dory. Whereas up there, like Alex may be, you know, holding his head down a little bit and be like, I didn't win my matchup for my team. Like it yeah. all comes down to, to Brad having to win this one no matter which way he wins it, but he has to win it, period. So it, it gets a, a little a little uh, crazy here. Yeah, 14 should be correct for Monstars here. Notorious Fig uh, has seven from this matchup, uh, two from Logan versus uh, Will, and then uh, right now uh, Brad has uh, has one. Or I'm sorry, not Brad, forgive me. Um, George has one. So it's like Brad just won that first one here, or the third one, I'm sorry. I am going to upgrade, update this... Uh, these names here. So that was the last match for their team on this main table, right? Yeah, on the and main table. And then they're so finishing up over there. Yep, they're going to finish it up over here across the way. And once that's done, that is all she said here. But it may be done again. It may be done sooner. Uh, let's see. Most points, six, which put it at 17 if my math is right. Actually, I think my math is wrong here. 
one, two makes three, plus the uh, seven makes ten. I am wrong here. Should be overall team score of ten for a notorious fit here. And Brad is at three, and seven makes ten, plus five makes fifteen. All right, score should be up to date overall for the teams here, guys. So since both teams are playing right now, would they know what their overall score is since they're both on the table? Would they be able to keep track of that? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming somebody from the team is like letting them know like where you're at at this point here. But I think, let's see, Brad doesn't even have to get to five. He doesn't even have to get that far. He's already up 3-1 right this very second here. The most George can get is six more points, which so put him at 16. So if Brad wins two, Brad needs two racks is all he needs. So, oh, I see. That's what you're saying, Smitty. Brad needs five total. My bad. I get where your math is now, Smitty. Mm -hmm. Smitty, say hi to Alexis, by the way. Hi. Nice to virtually meet you. He's good peeps. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good peeps over there. I might, um, in between matches, if, if they're going to continue using that, that secondary table over there, I may adjust and have, instead of having a side view on this main arena table, I may just have another camera set up on that one, so that way it's easier to switch over. Oh, for both? Yeah. Because you have two on this front one, right? Yeah, I have two on the main arena table, and the other one's right behind us here on the uh, women's on table. The women's Lots of exciting stuff. It's good. Uh, so, what are the prizes today? We know that we know that we have two teams: one from ladies and one mm -hmm. from masters going to Vegas. And then, what are the other prizes for today? Um, I'll be honest with you; I don't. I don't think there is anything no? else. I, I think I think it's uh, kind of a winner-take-all situation okay. now. So, I Vegas is the prize. I will double check to make sure that I'm not incorrect about it. Oh my gosh! They got the trophies out officially. <gasps> they look so good. Marianne was right. Marianne was right. I asked her if I was going to be jealous of these, and I am 100% <laughs> jealous of these. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to get my hands on one here in a second. They look fantastic. Yeah. I, oop, one second. All right, so yeah, so uh, we were cheating right there and just checking in with <laughs> Mike because he's hanging around. Um, I will show you guys here in a moment. I don't want to take away from the, the stream, but I will show you here in a moment the uh, the trophies because they are gorgeous, um, which, by the way, for, for those who don't know, um, Mike and Kelly make them trophies. That's, that's threefold, uh, making them beautiful, gorgeous trophies for us. But um, yeah, so this one is a winner-take-all to Vegas uh, situation here. The only difference or exception, if you would, per se, is ladies actually go there to compete. Jedi Masters actually go there to compete. The Padawan Masters is there to just enjoy Vegas. Mm. Um, there's not a official um, national level Padawan Masters tournament in Vegas. But with that being said, though, they are still able to uh, participate in all the mini manias and play in any of those. So they can actually still participate in tournaments. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing, do you, are you aware of what mini manias are? Mm -mm. So the way it works is they'll have a, I mean, a ginormous list. And again, I'm not doing it any justice by trying to describe it this way, but it's the only way I know how. A ginormous list. And they'll say, hey, uh, it'll be a nine ball matchup for skill levels, three, four, and five, uh, eight people, $20 buy-in, right? Okay. And so you go up there and you're like, cool, this one's at one o'clock. I'm not playing anything at one o'clock. I'm going to sign up for that one. So you go and turn in your 20 bucks, get your ticket, and then that way you're signed up for that event. The beautiful thing is APA takes $0 out of that. Oh. So if there's eight participants, 20 bucks a piece, there's a $160 prize pool for that little miniature tournament, Mini Mini Mania, miniature tournament. Yep, and first place will have a, a huge portion of it. Normally pays out the top 25%, give or mm -hmm. take. So normally first, second, and third uh, will take home the, the money for it. But all the money is paid out. They don't take a single dime or dollar from it. So even though you may not be up there to fight for the, the big 50000 plus dollar prize packages right. and stuff, I mean, I, I've had a friend of mine that went up there, and I know where he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm up like $700. I'm like, what? You're, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, you, you've been here for a day. How many mini minions did you play in? Well, I took first place in this one. I took first place in that one. I took second place in this one. We split this one. Oh, goodness. And I'm like, goodness, great. Like, you're on fire right now. Are, yeah. you, are you kidding me? So it's uh, it's definitely a, a good way to handle uh, that situation, that business here. Looks like Brad just won another one. Brad needs one more rack. George has got to win the next six. Can't let Brad get a single one here. 
or Team Notorious FIG will be in the one loss side bracket. Moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Which. Coming down to the line. Th this is the cool thing about Masters. I mean, we saw it on the live table here just a moment ago with the eight on the break. Their abilities uh, to do break and runs. I mean, you got to think. I know Logan Lane was recognized. I know somebody like uh, Jesse Link's been a part of Masters before. He's He's been recognized by AP, uh, Jacksonville APA. Uh, these types of guys have the ability to run two, three, four, five racks in a row and, and leave their opponent sitting. <laughs> yeah. So it, uh, it's definitely interesting, to say the least. But uh, I think Smitty, Smitty hit the nail on the head, and I was wondering if that was going to come into play. So they started playing eight ball first, and they've already played their five matches or five racks of eight ball. And uh, they have got to do their uh, their matches of nine ball now. But Georgia's got to win six nine ball racks in a row, which, again, nothing's impossible. I would say the odds are against them, but nothing is impossible. So let's say that mon the Monstars take it. Mm -hmm. um, what's next? Uh, so we so will they move on to play. Yep, so they'll they'll move on to play the winner of um let me pull it back up here, sorry. Uh, the winner between another thing coming and team double tap. So okay. whoever wins on that moves on and, and plays again uh pretty much immediately. Like there's gonna be very little sorry guys, I'm trying to get this score thing. It's been bugging the snot out of me with it being misaligned. But yeah, they um they'll go on to play that immediately. There will be uh no waiting in between or anything like that here. And they haven't played yet, right? No. Another thing coming in double tap. No, now they they play each other in regular league play for mm -hmm. sure, because um, this is no different than any of those that, that go on here. Um, obviously, there's only so many Jedi Masters teams, so many Padawan teams, so many Lay's teams. Um, so they've definitely been against each other, but not for this tournament for the overall trip to Vegas. So it'll be will another thing coming in double tap both be playing? Next, they, they should be playing already. Oh, they're, they're already yeah, playing. Yeah, okay. they're, they're already up on another table or two tables, I should say, playing their matchups. Okay, okay. Uh, right now, as we speak, and then again, the uh, the loser of this one goes on to play the loser in between another thing coming and double tap, and from there, that is when one team will be knocked out. So this round, both team or all four teams are fine. Nobody's getting knocked out. Just they're getting to their appropriate sides of the brackets, and then from there, the loser of this matchup and the loser of another thing coming and double tap, one of them will be knocked out in the next round. Okay. And so do we know what it's looking like with another thing coming in double tap? No, I have no clue on their, their score update, unfortunately, here. One day we'll we'll have, uh, which I, I can't wait, but I, my dream is, I don't know if AP is working on this, but I'm sure they are because they, they've already done so much with the app, but one day all this will be done digitally through the app. And what I'm praying will happen is that uh, somebody like uh, Mike, and, Mike and them will have access to like a master list mm -hmm. and then that mm -hmm. way we can see in the moment score updates. Oh my gosh, I would love it. It would be so much fun that way in the moment you're going to be like, hey, how's so-and-so doing? I'd be like, well actually that matchup right now, team such such is up four to nothing. You know, we had to give all those kind of in the moment updates. <laughs> Alexis over here doing her uh, her wonderful Wonderful social media dealios here. <laughs> and guys, again, if y'all haven't uh, had a chance to to meet Alexis here, please take a second to do so. She's she's a real critical part of Team Jacksonville APA and uh, definitely helps out a lot. And, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy the extra content we're getting to have and be able to see. And, and the timeout trivia is just a great way of doing that. That is nothing that I've ever seen at another uh, APA whatsoever. Uh, but between that, you got to think, you know, custom-made trophies that we get to have, all, all these sort of little extras we get to have here that we're just blessed to have. So make sure and tell uh, Mike, Kelly, and Marianne, thank you as well. Make sure you introduce yourself next time you see her out at uh, Wonderful Hall. So Alexis, trust me, you're not going to be able to miss her here. She'll be the one with uh, Time Out Trivia with the little handy-dandy microphones and doing her uh, dealio with uh, the content and, and recording all that. So make sure and show the, uh, the love and support. Needs one more ra uh, rack here. This one's going to be a tough one. Looks like they're playing defensive over there. It's hard for me to kind of tell. Somebody says Mike and Kelly do a great job. They really do. They really do. They work their butts off to say the least. So I think Alexis is, is heading out from here. So oh, she's trying to. Oh, I see what she's doing. She's over there trying to get some more uh, more videos and stuff going on. Give me one second, guys.
But yes, Minnie, I agree with you about Mike Kelly doing a great job. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys know the story, but the long story short about uh, about me getting to Montreal all came from a, a simple breakfast. <laughs> simple breakfast with Mike and Kelly. We were out. I was trying to help out so, uh, with APA and make some calls to some people that uh, were on there and, and uh, still had um, memberships, but they were not uh, they were not a part of any teams and that uh, we were talking about that and how to how to accomplish it and everything like that. And that quickly turned in, Tim, how fast can you get your passport? And I said, I don't know. I've never had my passport before. And next thing you know, I was out there uh, helping out in Montreal. So it was huge. And Jesse, I feel like your ears are burning. I was just talking about you just a moment ago. George, uh, George is down big, but I was trying to tell people, you know, you got to consider the, the Logan Lanes and Jesse Links of the world here and how you guys have been recognized for the, the most, uh, I, I, forgive me, because I don't remember which one's which, I'd have to pull up the, the post, but between the most eight on the brakes, nine on the brakes, breaking runs, mini mania, or mini slams, that kind of stuff. I was telling the, uh, the chat not to count George out, but Brad looks like he's got a good run here, potential, and if so, this should be over if my math is correct, which I'm pretty sure I have the team score up today. Brandon, what's up, brother? How you doing, sir? Brandon Sato there, Mr. Uh, manager himself with the OG cue ball. I did get confirmation, by the way, this is the last rank that Brad needs, and he is on the nine, and that is it. Congratulations, Team Monstars there. Team uh, Monstars winning here, 17 to 10 as the overall. Big, big congrats there. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Good, I'll see you in a few. Brandon, excellent, brother. I'll see you in a few as well. All right, guys, give me just a moment. We're going to go to the BRB screen, and then uh, I'll be back uh, here shortly. I'm going to try to get you guys a little... A little music playing in the background, but bear with me. I'll be back uh, very soon. Tim Jones, Voice Jacksonville Pool here, hanging out with you all day, guys.
Guys, again, this is Tim Jones, Boy Shasta with Pool. Stay tuned, guys. We're just going to leave the live stream going for right now. we got a little music going on in the background for you guys. Bear with us. We'll be back soon.
guys, I hope y'all been sticking around with me here. I'm going to try to make sure to see if my webcam is up and working. Should have my beautiful, beautiful image here for you guys. There we go. Make it a little bigger. Hey, there, there's Alexis right there. There she is. See? I told y'all y'all know her. Um, I just got to show this off real fast here, by the way. That is, and I know the glare is going to get a little bit, but 2024 finalists for the Masters Championship Qualifier. Look at, I, I called it ribboning. Uh, Mike quickly told me it's uh, it's called foil um, inside there, but beautiful glass trophies. And again, I'm not not doing them any justice whatsoever, showing them off here. Look at how beautiful those are, guys. That right there, nothing against Vegas, but that right there is what I would be fighting for. That's that's what I want. That's what I want, if, 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 if anybody knows me and about trophies. I love those. Guys, as soon as we can get the next matchup going here, we definitely will. We may end up having um, a Jedi's. We may end up having a, a, a ladies. I'm not sure who's going to be on live stream next, guys. I just don't want to end stream with all the hardware working just fine uh, with us running dual streams right now. I just don't want anything to mess up for the ladies' side, which is also still being dual streamed on the Jacksonville APA YouTube page for y'all as well. So I'll make sure you guys are taking a, uh, advantage of that. And then don't miss out on the uh, the new websites Kelly helped make here. I'm going to send them both. But that is for the uh, the ladies division here. In case anybody's interested in signing up. And that is for the masters division right there for you guys as well. Tim Jones, Voice Jacksonville Pool. I'll be back uh, to you momentarily.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tim Jones, voice of Jacksonville Pullback, live here with you guys. And uh, we got the next matchup about to be uh, underway. Team Watch This versus Team Warranty expired. On Team Watch This here we have, let me make sure I have my photos pulled up here. I'm a little cheat sheets. Watch this, this is Team uh, Andrasco's here. You got Jake and Dave, father, son right there, Wesley Mitchell and James Brown. And then on Team Warranty expired, that is Jack Carter's team with uh, Jason Davis, Christopher Bell, and excuse me, Mark Ramsey here. Forgive me, guys. So wait and see uh, who they put up here. We'll get things uh, underway. I hope you guys have been enjoying some of the uh, the content here on the, the women's side as well. I know there's quite a few of y'all over there enjoying it. Yeah, looks like we've got some good chatter going on over there in the chat as well. Looks like uh, Helen. Hey, Miss Helen's been in, in there. Thank you, Miss Helen. I know she ain't going to hear me personally, but I still think she deserves a, a thank you because they're trying to keep up with their own score over there while running their match and uh, keeping you guys at home all entertained. Alexis, how's it going? Did it's going wonderful. Did you get some more uh, content for social media there? Oh, yeah. I oh got yeah. a team picture of the go Golden Girls. They hey. all have matching shirts. There if you go. have not caught it on the live stream, they decided last minute to all get matching shirts, and they turned out beautifully. I love that. You know what? We're going we're gonna to do something crazy here. We're oh. we, we, we going to get a little crazy. We're going to do a little picture-in-picture picture for y'all's view and pleasure. I know it isn't the, the biggest there, but that way you guys can uh, kind of see. Uh, not normally my way of doing it because it's not in a, a nice little frame or anything like that here, but I feel like that if you guys are going to see this Padawan Masters uh, matchup really happen, I think you should be able to get see both matches happening at the same time. Keep in mind they are using two tables, so matchup number one will be on the main arena table, matchup number two on the secondary, and then matchup number three will go whichever table finishes first so who do we have on the table over there well i know for sure i see dave over there i'm trying to see mr mark's over there racking right now yeah mr mark's over there so it should be uh mark for team warranty expired and uh dave and drasco uh for team watch this I'll see if uh, we can get their help to keep uh, keep track of the scores here. Maybe I can convince uh, convince Wesley to help me keep track of scores. I'm gonna shoot him a message. <laughs> so who do we have here on the main table? Well, Jake is right there practicing, Jake and Drasco, and that's for Team uh, Watch This here. I'm not sure who they're going to put up for Team Warranty Expired. On this uh, table here, we got Wesley versus Chris. Let me get everything uh, settled and situated in. Looks like Wesley's going to win the lag there. Let me see here. Wesley rock, rocking and rolling for team. Watch this. Chris Bell for team. Warranty expired.
right, sorry guys. Uh, Mike is Mike is heading out for the day here. Unfortunately, that man is uh, feeling a little rough, so he was uh, just giving us some uh, some love and last second support here. And then uh, for anybody just tuning in, by the way, this is both the Jedi Masters, Padawan Masters, and Ladies Leagues. This is their championship qualifiers today, guys. So they've already went through their playoff rounds as well to determine who gets to play in this one. And uh, we have four teams representing across the board. So there's four for the Jedi, four for the Padawans, four for the ladies, in which uh, one team from each will get the uh, the rights to hold those beautiful trophies, which I showed them on stream a moment ago. They look amazing. Oh my gosh, don't they? They do. I love the ribbon on it. Uh, right? It's funny. I looked at my, Mike and I was like, I was like, what's what's with the ribbons? He was like, it's foil, and I'm like, well, I love it. So yeah. I'm gonna call him foil now. <laughs> but but I call him same thing. I, I saw the ribbons too. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I like this. Like, this yeah. is way like it, it literally. Even without it, like the, the professionalism that they already yeah. look like is already there. Yeah. And then you add that, and you're like, I didn't know there could be a cherry on top. Yeah. And if you would have asked me if I thought it would have looked better with that, I'd been like, I don't have a clue. Like, yeah. it looks great already. Like, I don't know if you need to, you might mess up the feng shui of it or something yep. by adding that in there. And yet now, uh, it, it does. It looks. It, it looks it, even better. It with does. It. And it's all even, which is, mm -hmm. which is uh, a little crazy. We did just see something unique right there that uh, I don't think we've had on stream yet today. Uh, for anybody that's not familiar with any of the Masters side of this, this is Masters, not Ladies, for, for this part of the ruling here. But we did just see Mr. Chris actually take out and properly use a jump key right there. Oh. And uh, make his shot, so he did very good with that. It was nice to see. And we chatted about that in the last match. Yes, ma'am. About using the full key. Yeah, so in, in regular, which, uh, again, that would be a great timeout trivia question. If, if Actually, I'm trying to think. I think they have been one, if I remember correctly. I may be wrong. Um, but yeah, in regular league play, everybody always asks this question. They're like, oh, you can't jump in regular league play. Um, first part of the rule is about the home location. If home location says you can't jump, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're playing regular league, masters, we will respect our home locations. We're not going to disrespect them. Just because our rules allow for it, we're not going to disrespect them at all. And they have reasons behind that because when you're jumping and the way you're, you're tilted up over ball, there is the possibility for you to damage the belt if yeah. you're not really familiar with how to do it. Right. Um, so there is a why behind that. But if the home location allows it, and if it is regularly play, you can still jump with the full cue. You cannot break down your cue. You cannot go switching cues. You have to use the full cue that you've been playing with the entire time. Uh, in Masters, though, both Jedi and Padawan, you can actually have the proper jump cue, which usually is about half the length, give or take, and they're special to me uh, for jumping purposes that, that really give you a, a, an edge and an advantage uh, to be able to do so. So it's really interesting. Chris is uh, in good strip right there. He did a nice little three rail follow on that last shot. It was very good to see. And here we have it again where they uh, they start off nine ball. So like I was telling everybody um, about being out in Vegas, you know, I found it interesting that nobody um, started with nine ball. Everybody always started with eight ball. And keep in mind, whoever wins the lag kind of determines whether they're starting eight or nine, or they determine that they're they're the one breaking first. Um, but I found it very interesting that uh, so far here we've seen the complete reversal all where, nine. yeah, all, all nine by, by luck of here, at least on the live stream table, I know there was, I think it was Logan's match did start with eight ball, if I remember correctly, um, on his. But, uh, you know, it, there, is, there is some strategy behind it because you may be stronger than one over the other. You know, you might also be a, what I like to call a back half player where you're better off in the back half of the match. And that, that first little bit takes you a while to get warmed up, get used to everything that's happening and really get a feel for your opponent. So... Maybe you on purpose, you know, say, hey, like, I'd rather have control of the break and start off breaking around the back because I trust my break. Right. I'll let you pick whichever one you want to because there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to pick the format I love, and I'm good with anyways. So So you can switch back and forth so if you, you want So between kind, the break. Kind of. Uh, not between the break, though. So you're, you're either... Each match. E each matchup between the two players. They're either going to start nine ball first or they're going to start eight ball. If they do eight ball, they have to complete five racks of eight ball. Okay. Then it automatically switches to nine. Oh, Brian, music is not supposed to play in the background. Thank you, buddy. I forgot about that. Appreciate you.
Sorry about that, guys. Had a uh, quick question. Brian, on the YouTube side of the channel, by the way, said, is the music supposed to still be playing? That was the reason I, I did cut the music. Thank you so much. I did forget I had music playing on this side while we were in our break mode here. So thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Good looking out. I have that playing as well because we're actually doing the live stream for both ladies and masters um, on two separate streams. So I actually have both streams pulled up. So I actually still have that music playing for the ladies so that way it isn't just dead space there. I, I swear. <laughs> oh, Matt, what's Matt? You're confusing me here with 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 the same Brian on it. Matt Learn in there, one of our our uh, Jacksonville alumni on stream. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. So we were chatting before we kind of had to answer some questions about if they start the break mm -hmm. playing eight ball, they have to play five matches in eight ball yep, and then it matches. automatically will switch back to nine ball Bingo. is it the same if they decide because we've seen them start with nine so mm -hmm. do they have to then play nine matches in nine ball and then it switches to eight or how does that work so it is uh it's eight racks of nine ball five racks of eight ball mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. total so a maximum of 13 racks um, possible however you bring up a good question there about start with nine and then having a switch if you think you only got to get the seven racks out of eight so if you win seven one in nine ball, you never touch the eight ball side. You actually will never play a rack of eight ball. Okay. So that, that again, that's another part of the strategy of this uh, uh, that, that can come into it to where you're like, you know, I'm, I'm very strong in nine ball, and uh, it's what I love. It's what I'm, I'm best at. I know I can dominate. And uh, so maybe you start off nine ball automatically in hopes that you never have to touch eight ball whatsoever because maybe that is your weaker of the two, and, and maybe by a significant amount is your weaker of the two strategy in it mm -hmm. so when they um you know we're deciding who's gonna break first yeah is that something that they they don't have to discuss it it's just whoever wins the break gets to decide yeah so uh they they literally will will lag the normal lag that we're used to seeing Ooh, i marked that too early for wesley a nice little combo three nine and then he scratches in the top uh, left hand corner pocket um so when they lag they're literally determining from that lag, whoever wins, they either get to say, hey, I want the break, mm -hmm. and the person that lost the lag gets to determine the format, or they say, hey, I want to choose this specific format, and the person that lost the lag gets to break. Uh, okay. uh, from there, it is the same APA rules that we're all used to knowing and loving, and that is uh, the fact that whoever wins the rack, whether it's eight ball or nine ball, whoever wins the rack is the one that gets the break. And there's no alternate break. I know some tournaments do an alternate break or or different things or different formats with right. that in here. This so one in the subsequent yeah. matches, you don't have to yeah, do that. Yeah, you don't you don't you don't rely or anything like that at you all. You win your break. Yep, you win your break. And you just keep on rolling. Even between the switch. Mm -hmm. So I had somebody ask this the other day too. They said, Hey, when they when they swap over mm -hmm. from eight ball to nine ball, do they relag again to determine who breaks? No, it keeps rolling. Because they've already played their eight, eight so played. they can't go back. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. Guys, welcome and appreciate every single one of y'all being here. Tim Jones, Voice Chat, so pool, joined by Miss Alexis here. Hi. Yeah, our, our wonderful uh, timeout trivia uh, captain. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I don't host. know what the fish host. <laughs> there we go. I like that. There we go. That that word works better. Little timeout trivia host. Yeah. I'm kind of behind the scenes, and I I suppose in front of the scenes when it comes to timeout trivia. Yeah, I, I love the uh, I love the little microphones too. By the way, I was laughing about. Oh that my gosh, they're so fun. I was like, those those seem like a blast. They are. It's a, it was a little bit tricky in the beginning because. You know, when you're at the league nights, mm -hmm. you know, it's like the energy is fun. People yes. are having a good time. They're chatting away, you know, all that kind of stuff. And plus, when it comes to timeout trivia, <laughs> we have a good time. <laughs> so with the mics, we would, you know, I'd be talking into the mic because I don't want to scream into the mic. Bingo, yeah. Versus when I'm talking to somebody, they're next to me. They might have a hard time hearing me because of you know, the lively environment. Oh, yes. So they'd be like, wait, what? But then I wouldn't scream into the mic. So it was a little bit of um, <laughs> figuring out that little happy medium, but it made it fun, made it interesting. And <laughs> I think sometimes people got so caught up in the game that I was like, wait, no, you have to say it into the mic. <laughs> I, I can't, <laughs> the people can't hear what you're saying. They're, they're like, yeah, right, like you knew the answer. I'm like whispering, I'm like, hey, can you say it in the mic? 
<laughs> oh Lord. We, we, we both have uh, our little behind the scenes nuances where we're like, I'll be looking at people like, move out of the yeah. camera or move back in the yeah. camera. Like, what, what are the other? There was one little clip, I forgot where we were at, but Kelly was, um, you know, she kind of makes sure that we're in the frame, you know, nobody's cut out and keeping track of the score and all that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> so we had other people <laughs> who were like cheering on, like the face off event in timeout trivia and they were slowly creeping into the frame. She was like, wait, no, 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 you, you scoot back out of the frame. Oh, that's too funny. It's fun. It was, you know, people got so into it and be like, wait, you got it wrong. Or, oh my gosh. And I love it's that. a lot of fun. I love it. I love it. And it's funny because people will be like that, you know, while they're watching it and then they get, <laughs> then they get onto it too. <laughs> and then it's like the roles are reversed and they're like, yeah. wait, you should have known that. It, it definitely, I mean, with, with it being timeout trivia and you having the, uh, the set amount of time to get the questions answered, um, there's definitely some pressure there. I mean, Oh, yeah. I mean, you get 30 seconds. Yeah. And you don't really realize how fast 30 seconds is because, you know, you're like, okay, you're listening and then you're trying to remember. All right, guys, so overall one to one here. Same thing for the team score. I am going to try to uh, see who I can recruit over there to maybe keep us up to date on the uh, the secondary match that is in the top right hand corner of your screen there. Uh, Mark versus Dave and Drasco up there. So we'll see uh, if we can get some updates on that because that came uh, very critical. What a break and an unfortunate scratch. No. Oh. oh. That was looking so pretty. Yes, it was. Three balls on the break, six remaining. The only issue is, is the uh, 789, a little bit of a cluster here, but I have a feeling with where the seven is, the breakout for the eight should come naturally. Now, I actually like taking this three in the right-hand side pocket instead and just floating up instead of pulling back on this. So I'm going to opt to pull back. It's a little easier with follow versus uh, versus drawing a ball back, but these guys, of course, are masters, though. Mm -hmm. So um, even in the uh, Padawan division, which is what this is, at the same time, they uh, they still got some really, really good skills here. This is your, your mid mid skill players for the most part here, your five sixes. For Padawan that we're watching right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yep. And keep in mind, too, guys, uh, for anybody kind of newer to APA here, the, the skill level brackets go from one to nine, nine ball, and then from two to seven in eight ball. So these guys are literally towards the, uh, the, the mid to the higher end range of that. There's that nice breakout. Oh. He hit it beautifully, too. Yeah. <coughs> I like the fact he didn't baby that one. That one's that one was a dangerous one, depending on his angle, to uh, have hit too smoothly. We were definitely better off, uh, at least percentage-wise, I would say, hitting it a little harder. But you got to make sure to pocket that seven, of course, in the process. And Chris really beautiful punishing that. Wesley on that. Man, yeah, it was beautiful. That was very unfortunate. I mean, Wesley, his only mistake was one, and that was such an amazing <laughs> break. That was so good. He didn't, yeah. he didn't even get it back yet. Nope. Nope, for sure. And, and this is where, you know, that's where the mental part of the game comes in, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, you're, you, if you're sitting in Wesley's shoes, you're sitting there thinking, like, man, like, I did nothing wrong right there. And he ran the rest of the rack mm -hmm. rightfully mm -hmm. so. It was pretty, pretty open for him to do so. Well, let's say Chris gets this next rack, just taking some things to assumption. Now you're sitting there in the back of your mind, and you're like, that one ball in hand, that one simple scratch, just cost me bare minimal two racks right off the bat. Nine balls getting a lot of movement, but Wes is going to have a table to go after. Tough shot here on this one. Mm. It's going to have to drain it all the way down top left-hand corner pocket and still pull back for the two ball here that's right by this uh, bottom short rail. He got sheep mm. on the two perfect. Almost made the nine by accident. That would have been a uh, nice little kaching right there. Would have would have balanced everything right back out. If he got the nine in. Yeah. So uh, he he made uh, legal contact with the one first, and uh, in this case here with with nine ball, if the nine goes anywhere, uh, as long as you made legal contact with that original uh, next object ball mm -hmm. first, uh, as long as that part's uh, on the up and up, that nine goes anywhere because you don't have to mark your pocket for the nine oh. um, at all. So uh, if you do what I call rocket ball mode and <laughs> do a little, <laughs> little slam in out of nowhere, hey, it counts. Um, whereas eight ball, that would not be the case. Now, let's say that he didn't make legal contact with the one. Let's say the nine still dropped somewhere. It would just be spotted right there on the main spot towards the bottom half of the table. This defense may have worked out pretty well. It's a little hard to tell. But I think the four is playing blocker a little bit. 
Uh, take that back. It looks like you might ride up on it. Yeah. Oh. No, no, it was uh, it was causing a little bit of angle problems. Made him end up hitting the uh, seven ball first. The one nine combo sitting there, and I am. Yeah, I don't blame Chris for going for it. It's interesting to see the different pace of game. Mm -hmm. Like last game, pff, that was what? That was only a few minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've, we've been in this matchup for, if it's been 10 minutes, I'm going to be surprised. And here we are jumping on to rack number five right now. Yeah, the, the Masters always tends to go a little bit faster. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's always enjoyable to see. But the, the thing I love most about it as well and, the thing when, when I had a little bit of time in it, I was I was a part of the Padawan Masters. Um, the thing I love most about it is there was no more talk of like if somebody was their skill level or anything like that here because you're you, you have the same ranks. Like if if Wes is a six and Chris is a five, or if Chris is a six and Wes is a five, it doesn't matter. None right. of that changes. So you're still playing the, the same matchup that you were going to play. Ooh, nine got a lot of movement there towards top right hand corner pocket. So he, break. they took the last one right because he hit the one yep. into the nut, and you can do that purposefully, correct? Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. You can do that purposely. You can do that accidentally. Um, both, uh, again, both count in this uh, this format here. Obviously, it's nicer when you, when you see it and you know what you're doing and you right. can go after it. But West going for a defense here may look out a little bit, but I think overall he did really well with it. Do we know how the matchup on the other table is going? I don't, I know for sure, I believe I saw Mr. Mark racking, so I think Dave at least has one. Um, but what I'm gonna do here in a moment is uh, maybe uh, text uh, Dave's son, Jake, right there. See if he can give me a, a score update. Mm. But I'll see him, let him progress through it a little bit instead of uh, keeping immediate up to date here on it. I think women's uh, finished up here, so we may actually have a, a Padawan Masters or a, another Masters on uh, on the second YouTube channel. I'm not sure what they're going to do over there. Marianne was saying she may need some uh, some flexibility in it. I said, you, hey, you shake it and bake it. Whatever you need to put over there, you put. And Although I prefer if it's the, the ladies. That way we have, have them fully represented on the yeah. stream, if possible. They deserve to be shown off. <laughs> they do. Yes. And their shirts. We got mm -hmm. two team shirts. We got the Golden Girls and we got Breaking Racks and Hearts. Yes, Breaking Racks and Hearts. Yes, I uh, I love the the Golden Girls reference too. That is that is phenomenal. That is awesome. Yeah, such a classic reference. about to say this is this is tough right here he's gonna try to bank it but i think he's got to hit this pretty firm and, and try to get it back in, in a second time around should come back over no oh, it's straightened wow. up oh what a leave though look at, yeah look at that six ball creeping up close to the cue ball i think that's uh i think that'll work here hopefully get him back to the table see if chris can maybe get a good hit and not get ball in hand but with either of these guys ball in hand could be could be a final run out i mean that nine sit close to the top right and what shot do you think he's going to take? So personally, I, I normally would like to go up to the top short rail and uh, kick on over. But honestly, I think he may have a better bet coming against this bottom short rail here. I really think that's going to gonna give him a better out. choice. I think he's assessing it, yeah. He, he could also, I mean, he's still got another option to actually shoot. Le oh, he's going to just choose jump it. This is this oh. is where Masters comes more difficult. He is close, far enough away, I should say, from the six, but not too close to it to where he can't get over it. But I love the one rail kicks better personally. I'm just not a not a jumper. Oh. That's why. That's that. Oh, that breaks my heart. That's exactly why right there. Ball in hand, 5-9 combo is uh, is potential here. I don't know if I agree with going with this. I don't blame him for trying, and maybe it looks a little easier from his point of view than from ours. But it's only a four-ball run out, and everything is it's just set up really well. Now, if this was regular league play, you better believe he's going for all those points because that's five points on the table out of however many he would need um, versus it being oh. rack-spaced. Yeah, that was, that was not an easy combo. <coughs> 
trying to play catch up a little bit. Yeah, and and, and I think that's where you know again there, there's some added pressure here, right? We're we're behind the table, and it's real easy for me to be like, nah, do the run out. That's that's the way to go. I, I mean, if I was in his shoes, I probably would have tried the same thing. Honestly, yeah. Because then it becomes a two three, so overall a, a five four race left in the, the battle here, and right. You know, really changes the game. Plus, we saw how good Wesley can break if he can just keep it from scratching. Yeah. I mean, I, I think right now Wesley's the better breaker. I think Chris is the better person to, to run things out more efficiently here. Ooh. Ooh. Almost both made the five and almost scratched <laughs> with the was uh, so close. <laughs> with the cue ball there. It was so close. Yeah, the thing was getting a little wild on the table. Goodness gracious. Guys, uh, for anybody that oh. doesn't have anything crazy going on today, we are at Beaches Ski Ball. Come on by, see us. Come say hi uh, to us here at the booth. Come play a game. Yeah, come enjoy. Let's uh, let's support our, our host locations. Show them the love and support. Preston on the uh, Facebook side asked an amazing question. It says, Mike Kelly, do you have a team that needs players? Preston, the uh, the new session um, for regular league play uh, literally starts uh, this Monday, so two days away. And I can guarantee you there, there are definitely teams looking for players. I'm looking for a low rank myself on Monday nights at the OG cue ball um, between a skill level three or four. Wow, nice um, but I can guarantee you there are. There is a Jacksonville APA members Facebook page. And you can also go ahead and just hop on Facebook from this as well. Uh, Preston, send me, uh, send me a message. Voice of Jacksonville Pool. Uh, I have space for you. I literally have space for you. I need a, uh, I need a low rank. So... But if you want to play nine ball, nine ball doubles, come on by. Definitely come by and say, look at that. I might, might have a new teammate well there just, just for the that? live stream. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> and that's a cue ball billiards mm -hmm. on Monday nights. Billiards. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's the uh, nine ball and nine ball doubles division. And it's a lot of fun. We still play on two tables just like a, a double Jeopardy team would do. Mm -hmm. So same, same style with that. Um, but there is five 1v1 matches, and there is two doubles matches. Okay. And what's nice is that division has its own playoffs, just like this does, uh, for doubles, in which you can uh, earn your uh, earn your chance to, to go to Vegas that way. Preston got that frame request, man. Shoot me a, uh, a message on there, and we'll, we'll talk. Look at that. Yeah, look New at that. New team in the making. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we had a... Fairly fun session this past one. And how long do sessions last? Uh, so they're normally about uh, 14 to 16 weeks, just depending a little bit. Um, I think this last one, I think, was 14, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, but I always, always have to cheat and use the, a <laughs> right. use the app and double check. There's a lot of moving so pieces. There, there is. There there's there is. always tournaments. There's always oh leagues. My gosh, there's yes. all kinds of good stuff going on. There, there's three sessions a year, which means there's three playoffs per year, which means there's three triangles per year. There's uh, the world qualifiers for each of them. So mm -hmm. just like we're doing here in, in Masters and stuff, the world qualifiers. So and we have triannuals coming up. Triannuals, yes. Weeks. Two weeks, yes, ma'am. Yep, so that, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I literally did Montreal, and I'm back here, and I go to Tally, and then I'm back here, and then I go to Orlando, and then I'm in Macon, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I'm back, back here. here. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of fun in it. But, yeah, yeah it I was, is. I was looking at it the other day because there's – Triannuals on the 26th and 27th? Uh, it is or, I'm sorry, the, the weekend 27th? before, uh, the, the weekend 20th. Before. 20th and 21st is triannuals. And then on the May the 11th will be the best of the rest tournament for those that got knocked out the first round of triangles. And then we are right into the major tournament series, which is the 18th and 19th, and that is... Um, the world qualifiers. Mm, that's um, gonna be so exciting. Oh, that's 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 the. You want to talk about intense? Oh I my know, gosh, I that is wait. that is it right there. Like this one already feels intense as it is, but it it can't feel as, as intense as that because yeah. there's only 12 teams between the three different divisions. Oh my gosh, stakes right? are so high. Oh my gosh, but that one, whoo, man, that is when. I'll tell you this much: um, if y'all are not watching timeout trivia. You better, because I can go and tell you one of the things that always happens during every world qualifier, and I mean this nothing against anybody, but teams are super strict about the rules. Mm. Right? I mean, because you have to be. Well, yeah, the stakes are high, yeah. right? Like, like everybody everybody has worked for an entire year, yep. three sessions to get to this point, yep. right? So, and they've already went through a, a playoffs, or they've already at least went through triangles to, to beat other people out. So they, they've already went through a lot to get to that right. point in time. So it's huge. 
Um, but the reason I'm saying that is because, you know, unfortunately, there's still that, that level of tribal knowledge that you're trying to overcome. And, and if you watch Time Out Trivia, you'll definitely see it come through. You'll, you'll see him give an answer like, I, I, always, I was always told it was that way. Yeah. And what people don't know is, um, and I wish Kelly was here to correct me, but I'm fairly sure I'm right about it. Every two years, the rule book gets an update. Mm. So there could be some tweaks, some changes, some added rules, some removed rules. Any of it can happen. Well, and so. what we've seen, too, is the nuance, mm -hmm. right? So it's like even when we're asking questions, are we saying it in a clear way? Are yeah. we being specific with the answers that we accept, right? Yeah. Right, it's a fun game. It's 30 seconds, you know, but it is also a learning opportunity to to use that as, oh, well, at one point or another, you will need to know it. Yes, you will. So yep, 100%. it's made it pretty fun. And some people were like, wait, I thought this, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, wait, but this is what it means or th in this situation or this is the nuance that it was in, in this question specifically. It's important. I, uh, I, I've i seen I've seen people get very flustered from not understanding or, or knowing a, a rule situation and stuff like that as well here. Um, and you can prevent all of that. We, we talk about how much of a mental game uh, pool is in general and uh, being a part of a league and stuff. And you already have the stress of what that tournament means to you mm -hmm. and to your team. Um, knock that out. That is, that is easy. Like, do your homework now. You have plenty of yeah. time, several weeks before we even get anywhere near it. And you have the ability to do so. But uh, honestly, I just want to thank Alexis for it because now that I'm thinking about it like what a better time for time at trivia to be blowing up the way oh. it is hey this Kelly is, is the one that writes all the questions so she is the she is the master behind behind all the fun production we love Mike and Kelly <laughs> love them love love them good people I tell you I don't know how like Montreal would have been if it would have just been me there like it would have yeah. been it would have been really tough really really tough like I even was telling Pascal I was like man he's like he's like you did such a professional job and stuff I'm like yeah, but I, I have Kelly. <laughs> Kelly yeah. had my back. Like, I get it. I appreciate it. But, like, I don't think you quite know or, or saw all the things she was doing and how yeah. much run around she was doing for uh, for me and for the stream. Oh, yeah. So, and then same thing with Mike, too. Like, there's plenty of times in here where, like, um, even, you know, in times when Mike can't be here, like, they got a family. You know, they got yeah. two, two wonderful kiddos they got to take care of. They got this business to run and everything. And there'll be times he'll hop and stream and, and shoot me a text message of, you know, making a tweak here or there and just trying to, to make sure everything is on the up and up and the quality is as good as it can be. And there's just so much behind the scenes that you guys just, I, I, we just don't have enough day. Yeah. D enough day <laughs> like to tell you that all the, all the stuff that happens. So, well, I don't know about you, but I'm if I'm Chris, I'm feeling really good right now being 4-1 against somebody like Wesley Mitchell here. Oh, yeah. And I ain't saying Chris ain't, ain't earned things in his own right, but Wesley is uh, – is a force to be reckoned with in, in the uh, pool world over here for sure. So this has got to feel really, really good. Small miss right there. It's going to leave it towards the top left-hand corner pocket. Uh, not really a full-on tough cut, but more so about the lead to the eight. So Lexus, this is a, you know still overall kind of kind of new to the overall APA dealio as, as a whole, I would say. Um, what's your overall thoughts? So how, how are you liking everything over here on the APA side? I, it's been amazing. I am not a Padawan Jedi master. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I love being able to step into different environments. Like this is a, a new world for me. Yes. You know, like I, I don't know all the APA rules. I don't even know all the rules of pool mm -hmm. or the different games of pool, like nine ball and eight ball and, you know, very, very basic stuff for me. But I think it's fun to see how the competition can be and be able to like learn more about it. And, you know, you have really awesome events like this. Like there's yes. something out there for everyone. And it's so awesome to see people here on a Saturday, you know, and stakes are high trying mm -hmm. to fight their way to Vegas. So I think it's been really great to see the competition, but also the friendliness and the fun that comes yes. with all of it. And you can really pick up on the energy, whether it's at the league nights or whether it's during tournaments or, you know, even being able to see people engage and comment on Facebook and cheer on their team or somebody who plays at the same league night that they do and, you know, connect with people who play at different leagues, you know? Yes. Um, so it's been pretty, pretty awesome. And I love being able to hop on the mic and chat with people on the live stream or, <laughs> you know, see, th see just the fun that goes on. And when um, Mike, Kelly and I were getting started with timeout trivia, 
you know, they were explaining to me that each league location night has a different vibe or yes. a different feeling. And, yes. you know, it's one thing to be told. It's like, okay, like, yeah, but it's another thing to be able to experience it and then to go to the different league nights and be able to kind of experience that yourself a little bit. So it's <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I definitely agree with you. It's uh, it's amazing. So back when I was first part of uh, Jacksonville APA, uh, before there was ever the split, before Mike and Kelly came along and, and bought up uh, this side of it, um, there was a, a pool hall called Bank Shots. And man, it was it was like known. Like if you were a team from Bank Shots, they were like, oh, oh, oh. You're, you're, oh you're, you're from Bank Shots, you know? And it's funny because like I, I caught a little bit of it then, but now coming back uh, to, to APA, because I took a, a few years off because my wife and I had our two, our two babies. Um, but uh, coming back to it, it's amazing the the pride that there is around your your host location. Like yeah. that is that is your host location. Yeah. Like like let somebody dare say something something a little funny <laughs> yep. about it out of nowhere. Like uh, them's fine words. We gotta gotta take it to the pool yeah. table now. You know what I mean? So it, it is funny uh, how all that works out. But it, it is it really is a different vibe. Um, I have uh, I've not been to um, uh, the VFW the. Um, the, the post you were just at, what was it again? American Legion Post American, 9. Thank you, Post 9, yes. I haven't been there, um, but ever since seeing uh, the wonderful Time Out trivia there, I'm like, I'm mad I haven't been there now. It, it was I'm beautiful. very upset I haven't been there. Yeah. It's beautiful on yep. the inside. They just got another table in there, so now they have three, which is awesome. It's good. Um, and it's such a nice vibe. I think, you know, you have the bar, you have TVs there, and everybody there just, it felt like family, you That's know? Huge. and. It's kind of cool coming in today to here at this tournament at Key Ball Beaches to, you know, I see familiar faces and I'm like, wait, you were at League Night over here. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> but I recognize you from League Night over here. So I'm like, oh, they're all like we're all in the same spot now. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of fun to be able to, um, you know, see it. And I'm like, wait, we're all we're all here together now. It's like a mini reunion. So it's kind of fun. It definitely is. Chris, by the way, with an early nine right there uh, coming off the four ball, hitting into the five nine. That was sitting over there, top left hand corner pocket. Very well done. Ah, says boy got moves. Yeah, Chris is uh, Chris is is definitely he's a great game right now. Yeah, he, he's on top of it. Alex, I don't know if you heard me earlier talking about how good uh, Wesley is. Now I haven't seen Chris play a lot, so I don't mean this against him. I just know I know Wes's game, mm -hmm. and I know how like I would measure up against somebody like Wes, for example's sake. And uh, he is not th this type of score. Uh, again, nothing against Chris because I don't know his his gameplay, but this type of score seems. Uh, astonishing to me a little bit. Um, doesn't seem uh, to an extent real, I think. Okay. I was wondering if uh, if Jake can give me a score update. Let's see if maybe he can give me a score update for his dad's match going on. I just gave him a wannabe sign language there. We'll see if he uh, if he interpreted it the, the way I was trying to explain <laughs> it. A little bit of uh, sign language going on. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Charades, we'll call it charades. 3-1, team watch this is up. Very good. Okay, so Dave is uh, Dave is up right now, 3-1. to one. That's huge. So kind of, uh, again, very similar to what we saw during the, the first matchup for Jedi Masters here. Padawan kind of the same situation where um, one table is balancing the other one, so mm -hmm. the, the score is actually going to be uh, very close. I'll update that here once that's done, um, just so that way I don't lose track of the other one as well here in a moment. But So they don't um, – we pair, right, like – who from what team is playing who from another team, they mm -hmm. don't get to select. No, yes. Okay. Uh, well, so no, no. So so we just say team A is playing team B, and then they oh. come together and they say, hey, we flip, and cool, I won the flip, so I'm going to say team A is putting up first. Okay. So okay. team A is like, cool, we're putting up Tim, and then team B is like, cool, then you're going to put up Tim, we're going to put up our Chris against Tim. Oh, it's Tim okay. versus Chris now. And then they just keep rinse, wash, and repeat until it's all said and done mm. um, to that. But no, the uh, the way the bracket is done between the four teams that's completely randomized they just randomly let the random selector say because they know there's, there's right. four teams but right. past that it's all up to the teams 100 percent strategy involved with that situation which is again it's, it's interesting to see and even more so in masters mm -hmm. um you know there's there's not a massive difference between a skill level five and six there there really is not there, there's enough of a difference that you may, like if you got a high skill level six versus a, a newer person that just became a five, you're probably going to notice the difference there between those two. Um, but that's also the beauty of Masters, and Masters going on for, for a year now, yeah. right, is that they've had this time to get used to this format. Yeah. And the lines get really blurred, so. 
Oh, thank you, Jake. They're both sevens now, so they both have moved up to sevens. Wow. Oh, wow. Very good. This one, the bracket. Oh, is the bracket seated? Thank you, by the way, Jake. Appreciate that. I guess I guess he's listening in on it, too. I appreciate him. Yeah, he's got his earbuds in. <laughs> Thank you for that. Ooh, rattle there, top left. Wendy, uh -huh. the ladies are streaming. Yes, ma'am. If you pull up Jacksonville APA's uh, YouTube page as well, which I'll get you the link to that right this very second to the current live stream. Now, I have talked to the ladies and asked them to please, 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 please keep up with the score because teams have been asking about it. Um, I know I see Miss Carolyn over there, and I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming she's playing for real. I don't, I don't think they're, they're practicing. Yeah, that's definitely a ladies match going on. Um, but that is still on Jacksonville APH YouTube page just in case that link doesn't work for anybody at home. Anytime you hear us say that we have two streams going at once, if you pull up the YouTube, click live, you will see both streams as your options here. One is label, la labeled as the ladies' side, and one is labeled as the master side. But yeah, ladies, ladies will have it as well. They just won't have the commentary for this first portion. If everything goes according to plan, though, we should have the ladies' final on the live stream arena table. I'm assuming that's the way it's going to work out today. That's at least what our, our goal is for today, I'll say. Uh, I hate to always overpromise sometimes. Things happen. Uh, Matchups sometimes go faster than others or slower than others. And I know what will happen is the moment I say, yes, it's going to happen. <laughs> no, of right? Course. Then there, the stars align perfectly. The solar eclipse happens today <laughs> yeah, instead of, a, know. you know, a, what, whatever day it's supposed to happen here exactly. soon. Monday. 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 There you go. And I, I'm like, oh, all right. Well, there went all those plans. <laughs> I was reading something the other day about the solar eclipse, and they were saying, um, who was it? It was either Dallas or it was Austin. Mm. And they s um, stated or declared a state of emergency. Oh, interesting. Because of the tourism that they're expecting. Yeah. So, you know, to make the resources available that they might possibly might need, need for yeah. that. Which is interesting. And I've seen hotels, my gosh, like in random parts of, you know, little towns are upwards of like $900. Mm. Take, taking advantage, aren't they? That, that, that's a I'm supply like, wow, and demand really? <laughs> coming through. <laughs> I'm, like, I don't know why that's so shocking to me. We had one not that long ago, right? Like 2017. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think you're right on that, 100. percent Alex, I like that call out about Chris by the way, and Wendy, thank you for the call out too by the way. If I didn't tell you, thank you for that um, as well. But both of them giving compliments to Chris, saying how well he's been playing, that he's uh, possibly going to earn being a skill level eight soon. And I will say that is uh, that's tough. Uh, there, I've seen plenty of sevens, I've seen plenty of nines. Uh, in nine ball side of it, you don't see a lot of eights. There's only uh, a couple of eights um, for that bracket, so uh, that'd be interesting. I for wonder why that it. is. I, I really, I, I'm sure there is. There's probably a, a real logical answer. There probably has something to do with the, the great equation that determines all of this and everything within APA as well. Um, but it's just something that I've always noticed that there's, there's very, very rarely, and especially if you take the number of skill level sevens and the number of skill level nines and you look at it versus the eights, it's just few and far between. Mm. Can you so. jump up from a seven to a nine? Um, I would say that's probably going to be near impossible for you to, to make that exact leap. I mean, right. you would have to have, I'm trying to think what type of services. I'll tell you what would possibly do that. Maybe playing a bunch of mini manias in mm. Vegas would, would possibly get you, the, get you that way. In a very quick amount of time, you would probably be at eight for a short moment and then you know, if you kept absolutely dominating the space, right. would, would quickly jump back up or jump up further from there. So, Alex, uh, giving a, another shout, said he played them on Friday. And we ended 75-54, one ball difference. Goodness Ooh. gracious. Wow. And Alex is an established nine as well. Alex is sitting over there to the right of us. You saw him on the live stream uh, here earlier. Um, but an uh, established nine. Alex is not somebody new to being a, a, a super seven, as, as you'll hear me call him, which is a seven nine skill level, seven and eight all at the maximum nine and nine ball at the maximum um but he is an established one so uh, that's that's high compliments to chris um for sure and, and then miss wendy uh who loves the apa scene and and uh is is a pleasure to to play against and with on monday nights <laughs> um as well and in fact her son austin's on my monday team um she uh she she's always one of the sweetest people you ever get to know but she's paying high compliments so this is huge this is really good then uh, i should not be underestimating this gentleman here against wesley wesley i think has uh had a good matchup then. Yeah, I, I think I think um, Wesley's got his work cut out for him before this ever started. Then, if that's right. the case. So, and I've enjoyed watching Wesley play too over the years. He, he's been a part of so many different teams and 
been a captain, even even was manager over here at Beaches Key Ball for for a while there when they first opened. Which can you believe that this this establishment? I mean, we're a year and four months now. Really, I don't know yeah. why I wanted to say three years. Yeah, it, it it feels that way. Yeah, I don't know why. And I have to catch myself to to not magically say it. A year and four months, you said. A year and four months, yeah. Like, isn't that wild to, to think that they've only been open that long? Like, it's it's been nothing. Yeah, it's definitely it's it's grown a lot mm -hmm. in the last year. I love the fact too. Did you see the new uh, nine foot diamond that's over there with the the gray felt on it? Right there by the bar. If it's in the I middle middle aisle. I did. Yes. I did. Yes. I am a huge fan of that gray felt. And everybody's like, I don't know if I like it as much. I'm like, I do from a camera standpoint because the cameras pick up all the <laughs> color balls easily. Yeah. Easily. Well, and that's what we were talking about when um, Blanding was putting in their new diamond tables. Did they do the blue felt or did they have the uh, the, they the beautiful? They did gray. Oh yes. I love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, they did gray. That's awesome, and I'm still super happy for them too. Uh, I, I'm sad I I was I busy. I took advantage of the uh, the St. Patrick's weekend. I did not go to the the St. Patrick's events that we had out there. Oh yeah, there. And that was uh, that was a good time. Oh yeah, they are. Oh my gosh, I love that felt. I love that felt. That felt is oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. The only thing I don't like about that felt is everybody's so used to having blue chalk, and that blue chalk will just get on it. Yeah, and it just shows up so well. Yeah, I think they were saying um, they thought it was going to be the blue, but it came out as the yeah we were trying. To yeah, there you are with the dollar <laughs> bill thing. So yeah, Alexis has the dry. has the level and showing the the dollar bill trick to it. It's do they do they do an amazing job, and and that's also too. It isn't against anybody and any other company uh, with with tables here. There there they are with the dolly rolling it in. But it, it isn't against any other brand tables. I mean, we've had things like the, the gold crowns for years and the valleys for years and stuff. But, man, when it comes to the, the upkeep, the beauty, the how well those tables just hold and maintain. Yeah. Well, and they were taking apart some of the other tables that were there, and it was way different. So, mm -hmm. you know, they Got had the to take off. Light. Yeah. Yeah. Th the breakdown was almost more than just the setup of the new tables isn't that wild to think of like, like new tables are, are are per se more high tech and, and better yeah and yet the breakdown well is the more efficiency on them. yeah and they took off the um the top right the yep. the table piece they took it off and uh, they were like yeah go that thing is really heavy like go try to move it and so <laughs> i'm like oh my <laughs> gosh i didn't really realize like you know you think the table obviously as a whole is super heavy but you don't really realize how heavy just that one singular piece mm -hmm. is oh yeah smitty giving a, a big compliment there i know that's for wesley right there saying best captain in the apa Aww. there you go smitty there you go showing the love wesley yeah i love seeing all the love in the chat and, and please do guys continue to root for for these people one of the most favorite things there's a couple reasons i love what we do here um, one, almost always people come back later and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, thank you so much for having me on the live stream and it's great to get to see my match. And um, But two, they always either talk about friends or family getting to see them play and about, and they're like, oh, yeah, my buddy was in there, root me on and, and said such and such and this, that, and the other. And, and they got to see that great shot I made on this. And yeah. that's like when people look at me and they're like, they're like, you can really sit behind that computer for, for 12, 14 hours in a day. Yes, I can because of that. Like right. that, that's the why behind it. Like I, I love what we do here. And uh, what we're capable of doing, and, and for people, and it's why, like, I really want to encourage, you know, a AP as a whole, like, to continue with this. Like, there's so many people that are now starting to do more live streams. I'm seeing and hearing of, mm -hmm. and uh, as I said before, these uh, these amateur matches, you know, it's it's great. They they deserve to be be shown. So, well, and it's kind of cool too. Like, if you wanted to go back and study your game, or you wanted to look at uh, what other your opponents are doing, you yep. know, you're like you you have the homework there if you want it yes you do you know it like you can at least get an idea and alex i give uh free lessons anytime that you need by the way sir i'll, I'll help you out <laughs> i can't wait for him to hear that part on the stream i'm, I'm watching <laughs> i'm watching his facial expression right now his guys there he goes he's laughing <laughs> <laughs> got him <laughs> he got him <laughs> i'm so glad he didn't pick up his drink real fast you know that was about to be a moment he's gonna spit out some drink for a second sorry guys alex is literally by the arena table to the right of us um right now what a good out by West. Nicely done. And this went from being a, uh, what was it, 4-1 overall, if I remember correctly? Or it might have been 3-1 at, at the worst. I think it may have been 4-1 for Chris. Uh, but Wesley has brought it back now. This is way closer of a match than exactly what we're wanting to see. DMU prices later. Will do, brother. Will do. I love that. 
Yeah, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll have uh, my official Voice of Jacksonville Pool uh, shirt here. I'll have the, the Voice uh, logo on it, and then on the back, it's going to say God Family Pool and have uh, the uh, Bible verse Jeremiah 2911 underneath it. So hopefully you guys will be able to uh, enjoy some of those. I, I'd love to see some of those floating around the pool halls here soon. But uh, also, I think I'd be surprised they don't here. I don't want to misspeak, but pretty sure for World Qualifiers, also Jacksonville APA will have out all, all of their swag. And I know for sure at, I think it was the Hawaiian one, and there was one other they had it out. Marianne was, like, running the booth. But there was people running around with, like, not just uh, koozies, but, but Jacksonville APA mugs and all that kind of stuff. And all I was kinds like, of good yeah, stuff I was coming. like, I love this. Like, this is, this is what it's about, man. Let's go. Let's show off Jacksonville APA to everybody. <laughs> So I wonder, and I, I kind of want to ask Wesley when he's done with his matchup here, if he is somebody that enjoys eight ball more or nine ball more. Because I wonder if that's why, you know, we're getting a little bit of a flip here. But also, again, part of it's that, that those, there's basically there's two racks where uh, Chris went up 3-1. Chris was shooting well. This does not take away from Chris. But it really spanned from Wes with that break and scratch on the break and making three on the break and the rest of it being very open. Right. But he is, uh, he's done good. I've, I've, I've been looking at his body language a lot when he gets off the, uh, off the stream and off the table and his opponent's up to shoot, and he's really handling it extremely well. He's definitely coming back because it was one to three. I thought it was, was it one, one to three or one to four at the worst? It I might have been one to four. Yeah. It might have been. Ah, okay. Alex filling us in here. He says Wes likes eight. He told me uh, when we were on our team last session. There we go. That's huge. Well, that's really good for this back half. Yeah, it was one to four at worst. Thanks, Jake. I thought so. It's just I, I didn't want to miss a quote. I wasn't one hundred percent sure. This is this is a huge comeback, really huge. Got to feel a little momentum coming in. Wesley's, I know uh, you can feel corner. he's he's getting there. Yeah, and and if you're Chris, you still got to almost feel. I don't say not worried to an extent, but but at the same time you got to be like, hey, like clearly I made it four to one already. Like I can close this out strong and finish this off. So. Well, and it goes kind of back Go to down. the strategy a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Does. And the change of pace in the game. Yeah, there, there's there's a huge momentum shift now. I mean, this is this is massive when when you keep your opponent off the player for a while. I heard their third player is really happy. West is scoring some points. There we go. That's good. That's really good. That means that third player is ready ready to go. Want want to play, and I like that. I, I can't, uh, even though obviously you know you want to win, and especially in this case, uh, a trip to Vegas. Oh yeah. But I always hate it whenever you have it come up to you're your the last player fixing play for your team, and it comes up to a do not finish situation to where oh. you know it, it's you only got to get two racks or something versus your opponent getting seven or something along those lines, and you're like, yep, well I got my two and we're done and it's over and that's all she wrote, and you're like, I really didn't get to play that person. Like yeah. we didn't we didn't get to like test each other's strengths and weaknesses and yeah. and have a cool defensive battle probably or any right. of that kind of stuff. Like it just. It just ends too soon, and so it's always a bummer to me. At the same time, you want to win, don't get me wrong, but, like, I want my match to – I want to play my match. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I want to have my fun against that person. So they, they are coming back. What's the term? On the hill? Up uh, the hill? Uh, 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 yeah, so uh, both are one rack away from being on the hill. So one, uh, one rack away will put them to six and keep some one rack from uh, winning. Uh, speaking of, Jake, I don't know if you can when you come back, but if you can let me know about your dad's match – as well, I'd love to know how he's doing against Mark. The last update we had from you was uh, three to one uh, in favor of Dave over there. So would that update the overall team? Yeah, I'm gonna update the overall team uh, on the next update he gives me. Because we should start to see, unless, unless they're close as well. I mean, if, okay. if their situation is like a five-five situation as well, then you know it really won't matter. It may even just come down to who wins. Right. The the last one is what it may end up pretty much coming down to. So four-two last checked. Okay, I'm gonna go and update that. And that's the team to 17, right? Um, so it, it may be. It, it may be to 17. It may be, it may not be to 17. That that's the weird part about Masters is is it can vary. It really just depends on on how it goes. The most points any team can score is 21 total points at, at the at the highest, and that's them getting seven to to nothing um, overall there. But it's literally just whenever it comes time to where the other team can't uh, can't catch up to you, you, you done pulled too far ahead. It's weird how Masters works like that. Right. Unlike the rest, that that's the only part that always gets me from time to time. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, they're they're already the 15 that's done. I'm like, wait, no, no. I was like, they're not. The other team can still beat 15. Never mind. I'm just kidding. Don't 
don't worry about my math here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be a lot of math to keep up with. It, it is. My it's brain wouldn't be able to do it. The, the others are easy when, when, when yeah. you start doing the others. and I feel like I get to follow this. Yeah, I like, know the rules. Like, I know the moment in nine ball, 51 <laughs> points wins the day. Like, it's over. Good try on the cut there. Wes really running this eight ball, and he is, he is shining, absolutely shining for his team here. I do see Mark racking over there, so Dave will have gotten another one. I am going to go and update that as well. So bare minimal here. Um, should be five to two, but there may have been another rack in between there, but I'll at least give uh, Dave. Okay, perfect. Jake, thank you, brother. Appreciate you looking out. And also, I know Jake's doing it. Alex is doing it earlier. Um, I believe Miss Helen for the ladies' side. Uh, J Money, a.k.a. Justin Lamont, was helping us out uh, during their matchup. Thank you, guys, by the way, seriously. It's a team effort. Yes, it is. Here's the biggest problem in eight ball right here when you have two guys that are shooting as good as both these gentlemen can and, and do. The moment that you run out and you only have one or two balls left on the table, you have opened up the entire table for your opponent. Yeah. And they just have clear view of everything going on on that table. And It's like you want to be, be the first. You either want to be the first and finish it, or if you Completely. don't think you can, you, you, you've got to you got to hit the brakes earlier. Yeah. Um, leaving two on the table. Normally, I've had a captain tell me kind of the rule of three. If you don't think you can't finish the racking off an eight ball, leave at least three of your balls on the table and, and bare metal will stop there. Don't don't have it where you only have two balls and one ball left on the table. And that's just so stuff is blocking, stuff is tying up. Uh oh, he's in a predicament now. He is in a major predicament. He's going for the eight. Yeah, he's got to go. He, he's on the eight here. Mm. And hmm, I don't, I don't envy him in this situation. I'll, I'll say that much. Yeah, what's I the think, play? I think the two rail is uh, open. What's up, Brandon? How you doing, brother? Um, I think the two rail may be open for him to go towards that top right hand corner pocket and possibly aim for that left hand side overall. Um, I would draw guys, but because of the way we have things set up, I don't have my drawing capabilities. But he may jump to. He's been jumping. Yep, but here he comes. He's he's jumping or massing in one or the other. I think he's jumping here. So I'm assuming he's going for top right hand corner. Yep. Oh. That wasn't a bad jump. I that was close. I mean, we've seen him jump a couple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he so does. So he definitely feels confident in that. Yeah, he does feel confident. I agree. I agree. See, I have such that mindset of playing regular league play that like I don't take jumps usually into consideration. <laughs> like right we off know the bat. we can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious because if you know if that's not allowed in regular league play, it would be interesting to be like. Well, now you're you have higher stakes, mm -hmm. and now you're allowed to do it. So, do you chance it? You know, it, it, it's a big question. I've actually seen some of these Masters players where um, their knowledge of how to jump is there, and they just feel so much more confident in, in doing multi rail kicks and stuff that they'll go with that more times than not. And even like for instance, I had uh, one of the greats on stream, Kim Davenport, and uh, you know he's been around for decades, like literally decades. And he's a great shot, but he, he talked about his experience in playing pool and how, like, jump cues are, are newer. You know, jump cues is something that's come over the past couple of decades. Mm -hmm. And so, like, he's always been used to having to have the skills to do multi-rail kicks. Jumps were, weren't even an option because he didn't have really the equipment for the most part to do it. And, uh, you know, he even talked about how, like, he loves back when the game didn't have it because he's a great person at, at defensive shots. Right. So he's good at it. Well, and I was going to say, I'm sure that would change your game completely if, mm -hmm. you know, you are trying to block somebody or you are trying to play defense. If somebody's a really great at jump shots, yep. that, you know, what do you do then? Yeah. What do you do then if they can just <laughs> jump the ball? That's, you got to rethink, you got to rethink it a little bit. You do. You 100% do. And uh, especially, you know, I don't know about other players, but when I'm playing opponents, like I do pay attention to how well they're handling certain certain situations and stuff. Uh, we are calling for a shot to be watched here. By the way, I want to give good sportsmanship. I'm, I'm on an ADD moment for saying I want to give good sportsmanship to Wesley because I don't know if the other opponent called it, but I know specifically I saw Wesley asking for the shot to be watched. And I like that. Um, he's asking for a, a call to make sure and see if it's frozen. Mary Ann nodded her head saying yes. Uh, which means he can actually tap right into it. This is a very important call. If that was not frozen, he could have potentially just had a double hit right there. And so he just played a really smart defensive shot. But um, 
So can you explain what a frozen ball is? Yeah, yeah. So uh, just like chicken wings come out of the freezer. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, but no, in all seriousness, uh, frozen means they are physically. It's, really <laughs> it's below freezing. It's below freezing, yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, so it means that both the nine ball and the cue ball are physically in contact with each other. There's okay. no space between them. The reason why that's important is if there was space, when he goes to stroke and hit that cue ball, if he's hitting it dead on with a nine, the cue ball is going to leave the tip of his cue make contact with the nine, his cue's still going to be traveling and just a little bit forward. It's hard to stop it. And that cue ball's going to hit the tip of his cue for a second time in a row. Mm. Um, thus making an illegal hit. Um, and uh, it would be ball in hand. He was trying to really, really make the best out of that situation um, against Chris there and kind of leave him a, tough. a tougher shot. Um, but I think, uh, oops, sorry. They're still doing all right, though. Six and two. Yeah, I got the score right. should be. Yeah, they're, they're doing fine. I mean, both teams are still right within that margin that you really want to be in. This isn't it, – it doesn't belong to one team or the other just yet. But I like the sportsmanship. I love the fact that he called that on his own um, to alleviate any situations. Usually most people leave it to where your opponent will call for a shot to be watched against you. Yeah. And uh, I that like – That can be tough. It, it can be. It can be. But, like, what he just did is he just alleviated there being any – issues yeah right he, he, he confirmed with it he got it watched he had a third party say hey for sure it's frozen because they done that normal and we weren't sure you know there could have been a little bit of a, a back and forth uh, we'll say a, a discussion is the yeah. words i'll use a discussion between the two gentlemen leaving that responsibility to other people and letting yeah. the game be the game yeah let the game be the game right that's uh that's that's one of my favorite things um and i, I give him props to it but also and honestly i expect nothing less from somebody like wesley who's again been a captain multiple times and uh, on multiple teams and knows the rules uh, the way they are, but it's just a, a great way to handle it. It's called not winning from the chair, you know? And uh, it, it's just letting your sportsmanship shine, which I love seeing. It's very, very huge. How do um, teams decide captains? Like, how would you become a captain? Is there rules, you know, qualifications? Like, what does that process yeah. look like? Yeah, so there's this huge test you have to take online, and uh, basically you got to score a – I'm just kidding, by the way. I, I was trying <laughs> try to keep going, but, like, I could I could even, I look, I could I even look and make contact. I wish, I I wish we could have, like, just created this whole <laughs> fake story <laughs> and see just I where it trying. went. I was trying. I was trying so hard for a second. <laughs> um, no, so uh, literally, it's just it's just about you saying, "Hey, like I wanna I wanna start a team. I wanna form a team." And your team, uh, you're the team captain, and then your second person with you is your co-captain. Uh, it's just you just saying that you are the team captain um, and starting your own team is all it is. Or taking over an existing team, like um, I've taken over one of Mike's teams uh, when he started a team on Wednesday night, Maximum English. Um, he anytime Mike and Kelly try to start a team, their goal is just to get it started. Their goal is not to be there 24-7 because they cannot participate yeah. in these events, right? Which rightfully so, they're league operators, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, how mad would you be if you're like, you're like, well, I just shot against Mike and he just ran out like, on me and, and he just won himself a trip to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, wait, what? You know what I mean? Like, that would be, that'd be a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So, right. um, <laughs> Brian and Chat says the test is, the, tef, the test is, it, it's, it's impossible. I would say that, Brian. <laughs> That's how hard that test is. It's impossible. Um, Maybe because it's not even there is why it's impossible. But anywho, <laughs> um, but yeah, I took over one of his teams. And so when I took over, I took over as captain and actually took over his positioning um, there. But what's nice, and, and you know, to, to kind of expand upon your questioning here. Oh, hold on here. Chris might be in it for the win here on the eight. And wow. he does. That was good out. Very, very good job. Um, that's huge right there. That keeps it almost tied. But uh to, to expand upon it here, the nice thing is, is that, um, you know, most leagues are double jeopardy, so you have an eight ball side and a nine ball side. The cool thing that most people don't realize is you can have one person's captain on one, one person's captain on the other. It could be a completely different teammate. And then same thing for your co-captains. And the benefit of that is when we have things like the captain co-captain tournaments and stuff, um, you can have more people be able to enter into those events. So I do want to encourage that to you guys as well. Um, that uh, if you have somebody on your team that is wanting to step up in responsibility, because um, I have a lot of expectations. April is my, my Monday night uh, co-captain, and then uh, Jess and I um, do a Tuesday team in which we're each other's opposite. So on one side of it, I'm captain, I'm co-captain on the other, and vice versa. Um, but we have a, a lot of expectations for each other in terms of making sure the money is collected, making sure the score is correct, making sure right. to, to communicate when people are, are not going to be there and, and running the roster and all that kind of stuff. 
So I would say I would encourage you that if it's something you're wanting to do, to, to talk with your current captain and see if maybe you can become the co-captain of the team and start earning some of that responsibility and start learning. But also, I can go ahead and tell you one great, uh, one great avenue to do that, and you're definitely going to want to know the rules. So go watch the Dern Timeout Trivias. <laughs> Gosh, Dern, don't make me have to play 18 more times because you know it needs to be done. By the way, let's just say hi to my wife. And Denise Jones is my wife. <gasps> hi, in the chat. Denise. It's, it's nice to virtually meet you. There we go. Now I see, is this Jake versus Jack? I think so. Yep, Jake versus Jack, all right. Jake and Jack, say that Jake, 10 times Jake fast. Jake and Jack, Jake and Jack. Not Jack and Jill, Jake and Jack. The Jays. Where should I think it? Jake's whole name in there, let me do so. Let's see. Ha ha, I sure can. All right, so I do not know the score of Dave's match. I think he is done over there, though. I don't see him do anything. Try to see if I get Dave's attention here. Dave's over there trying to pull it off me. <laughs> He's acting like he shoots from 18 different ways. I'll try to find that score. This is the best charades I've seen thus far. Seven to three overall was the final of that here. So, Wesley was at five. That puts it to 12. 12 to 10 is where we're at here. So, there is a, a little bit of a holding going on here then. Uh, watch this is going in this one. Just a couple racks ahead here. So congrats to uh, to Dave here. <laughs> what 100 to zero is what he said. I love it. I love it. I, I like I like your behind the, the the bag and behind the neck and the 18 different ways of, of shooting. <laughs> well, I'm gonna uh, turn off that side view camera there, guys, so we can focus on this one. So um, warranty expired uh, does have they have to win this one. Uh, he has to get to his seven racks. Um, right now for team, uh, actually both teams have one win. Now that I think about it. So, hmm. Team Watch This gets to five, they lose. So technically Jake has to get six. So Team Watch This has to get to 18 and win it overall. If Jack gets to his seven before that, then Team Watch to Expire wins overall. So it's not, it's not far off. It's, it's a one rack overall difference. Nothing crazy. I wish my brain could picture what your brain just did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I'm, what I do here is uh, team warranty expire. The maximum amount of racks they can get is seven. Mm -hmm. So the best score they can get is 17. Okay. Team watch this. They can win five racks and get to 17 as well. However. They want to win overall. They have to win overall because the tiebreaker is who's, who's won the most matches. Uh -huh, okay. So if you assume Jack gets to seven and Jake only gets to five, making it 17-17, the problem is that means team warranty expired has two out of three wins. Oh. For the matchup, okay. so technically, Team Watch this would have to get to 18 um, to shut them out and, and end it. So that means Jake has to get to six out of his seven games he must win instead of the seven out of seven. Okay. And that was just to explain for for people at home too. That way, you guys understand. Well, I'm what's happy going on. that you explained because I wasn't filling in the blanks. It, it, well, it gets complicated. Though. So now it we're seeing does. a different scenario compared to the last teams that were on stream. Right. Uh, when it was, what was it, get to 15, I think, was the yep. was the goal. So I knew the direction and the idea of what you were doing, but plugging in the numbers, that was helpful. Oh, yeah. And, wifey, I hope uh, you, Luke, and Luna, and Connor are all having a, a great day at home. And they're going to be going to church here in a little while tonight, so they're going to have a good night. And we got church tomorrow morning, too. Looking forward to it. Good weekend. Beautiful weekend. Yeah, there's nothing like, uh, you know, I not say I don't love the bigger events because it is fun to have a, like a multi-day event where like that's your focus is, is yeah. on that. But every once in a while it is nice to have this kind of reprieve where it's like Friday I didn't have to worry about it. Saturday I can focus solely on it, like have my brain ready, ready to go and just do nothing but pool. And then Sunday I get to go. <sighs> brain break. break. Yeah, brain break. Yeah. yeah. No, I like that. I like that. A little brain break. <laughs> that's usually that's what good. I feel like my Sundays are too. Yes. I try to have one day where it's like, I just don't want to make plans. Yep. I want to be able to go where the wind takes me. 
And that day is usually Sunday. Which here in Jacksonville, there's there's a lot of options. I know there really is. I mean, between multiple host locations for pool, if you're wanting to play pool, if you're wanting to relax, there's so many different events and stuff. That's one of the things too. I've had a lot of people ask me. They're like, you know, you gotta stay in Jacksonville and everything. I'm like, yeah, there's just too much here not to. Like, there is a lot to do. There's a lot for my kids, a lot for my wife, a lot for me, a lot of opportunity. Oop, guys, I need to go fix that camera real quick. Here, give me one second. I'll be right back. Lexus, I'm gonna leave you to it. Oh goodness, the pressure is on. If you are watching the ladies live stream, he's going over to uh, fix that angle for us. I think it got bumped a little bit. And I think they're putting a Padawan on a Padawan Masters on this, if I'm not mistaken. But I could definitely be wrong. I think we were trying to keep up with all the games and the matches that we have going on today. And if you are just tuning in today, we have Masters and Ladies, and we have three winners heading to Vegas today. We have Padawan Masters, Jedi Masters, and Ladies. So we have one of each that are gonna be heading to Vegas. We have four teams playing against each other. I love that. I was just talking with some ladies as I was moving the camera. They're like, "Are you gonna, are you gonna make us play on the on the big table?" I'm like, <laughs> "Well, yeah, if it works out to to have the finals on there." And Jim was like, "Oh, she's like, oh no, she's like, um, I, I get so nervous and stuff." And she's like, "I, she's like, I cuss a lot." And I'm like, "I was like, do me a favor, just keep the curses pointed that way and not towards <laughs> yeah, us at the table, and you'll be fine." <laughs> like, right. and she's like, "Yeah, but you got your cameras." I said, "I know better." than to have any of these cameras live with a microphone. Oh, yeah. I was like, I know where, where we're trouble. at. Like, I know the things I've said before. Like, mm -mm, no, 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 no. We're family friendly. What happens in the game stays. Oh, <laughs> What's said in the game stays in the game. <laughs> That's such an appropriate thing to say because they're battling for Vegas right now. You just yeah. made my day with that. That is 100% <laughs> uh, appropriate to say. Oh, my gosh. Chat with a great opportunity here. I didn't quite like the speed of that as much. I felt like he rolled it a little too far, but he's got great shape. Yeah, he nailed that beautifully. Very well done, Jack. 1-0 here, and I've got to fix this thing. That is bothering me. Hmm. Normally, I have my uh, my big screen here for us to commentate from, but it, uh, I have the secondary stream taking up part of that here. Oh, yeah. And they're putting ladies on this table again. Um, so I, I think. Are they doing Padawan? I, I, I don't. I, I'm going to be up front honest with you. I don't have a clue now. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I hope they put more lays on there and just keep that one going. Yeah. Lays if possible. Moving uh, pieces still yeah. to be determined. Nope, they are changing it. So I will need to add in Masters into there. So let me, guys, I'm going to be busy for just a second here. I wonder how many games we know that are going on right now. Total. Uh, there should be 12 currently going on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 12. So there should be there should be four. Well, let me rephrase. Forgive me. No, I'm telling you wrong. No, no, that's right. There's four teams in each. Four, eight, 12 teams. Forgive me. So half of that. Six. 12 divided by two? Yeah, 12 divided by two is six, but I feel like I'm still telling you wrong now. <laughs> Math is hard. Yeah, it's hard. There, right now, with the rounds they're all in, there was two matches for each, two, four, six. Yeah, so six matches. And going into the next round, there would still be six matches. Yeah, so there should okay. be six matches going on. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that I math feel like works. that. Yes. That math, math. The math is mapping. Oh, wait. That's right. I need to have it over here. So, do, do. 
is this? So we'll be having a, I think it was a Jedi Masters team mm. coming up on the secondary stream table. And Jedi is. Jedi is seven uh, to the. Yep. Seven yeah. to eight? Nine? Uh, seven, seven, nine? seven through nines, yeah. And Padawan is five and six. Yeah, technically, Jedi Masters could also be any skill level fives and above, is the, the rule. Um, because again, not all of APA has Padawan uh, leaks, mm -hmm. um, but the Padawans cannot be sevens unless you just happen to be moved up, which in this case was the match we saw against Wesley and Chris. They happen to have already been in Padawan Masters, happen to have moved up to a seven. During today. Uh, well, not during today, but during, oh. during the Padawans oh, di division. Oh, yeah, leading yeah. up to today. Yeah, so uh, they're not gonna match with like, could, could you guys think you only got a team of four? So if like two of your team members in the middle of Padawans, you know, you, you could be six months into it. Right. Right, and I've already played multiple matches. Yeah. And have, have earned a skill level six or a skill level seven. Yeah, Mike Kelly isn't going to look at you and be like, hey, by the way, two of your team members are now seven, so uh, peace. And well, now your team can't qualify. Right. So well, and it kind of ended up being a good matchup for them since they both happened to be yep. bumped up to skill level seven. Yep, that was a really great match. That was a fun one. That's, that's a good one to go back and rewatch. Yeah. You know, so it was actually enjoyable. It was nice fun. to see. It was like the tables turned, and mm -hmm. they were, you know, kind of bouncing back and forth a little bit. Yes, they did. Also, guys, as well as the, the days kind of progress, man, the uh, the seats around the arena table have gotten a little more full. There's more people watching this this particular match happening right now, which is very fun to see. Oh yeah, it's definitely it's definitely picked up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Alexis, as soon as this rack is, uh, oh, there it is. I say, as soon as this rack is over here, I need to do a quick battery swap through here. Team, watch this now at 13 racks to uh, to 11 for warranty expired. Jack Carter versus Jake and Drasco. Tim Jones, Boyce Jacksonville Pool. I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave you in uh, Alexis's uh, capable hands here. Bear with me for just a moment. This is Alexis on the mic. Here, chatting with you all live from Beaches Cue Ball. Uh, if you are just tuning in, I'm kind of behind the scenes a little bit. If you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or newly on TikTok, um, on TikTok, our username is Jacksonville Pool, and then on Facebook and Instagram, it's Jacksonville APA. But we've been doing some uh, timeout trivia we've been stopping by, which you may have seen before, either in person at your league night or just from our post on the socials, asking some, sometimes some challenging questions, sometimes some easy ones, um, but we have a good time. So we do 30 seconds, each question gets, I'm sorry, each player gets 30 seconds to answer as many APA questions right as possible. And then you get to battle it out against somebody else, your opponent, the person that gets the most answers correct in that 30 seconds, always gets to take home a prize. So we've been having some fun. If you want us to come to your league night, we're probably going to switch up our trivia sometime soon. New questions. You and your opponent get different questions, so that way you <laughs> there's no confusion on hearing, overhearing somebody else, things like that. Um, but we've got some fun things in the works that are coming outside of just timeout trivia as well. But with that being said, we've had a lot of fun. We stopped by a couple places, and instead of us calling out names, you can challenge somebody. So if you want to take your competition off the table and bring some trivia, we will absolutely do that. You can just leave it in the comments, leave it on the chat, leave it on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Whoa, 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 timeout. What did I miss? Just but talking some uh, timeout trivia. Oh, yeah, yeah. On the TikTok. Also, I've been seeing, if you don't follow um, pool players or APA or anything like that, too, it is pretty amazing to see the level of play 
And I just, I, I kind of love seeing the trick shots that people do too. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy. It most definitely is. That was that was a treat. Uh, I get to see Florian. Oh yeah. Do do some of his trick shot madness. And uh, the funny thing is, is that uh, I say funny. He's uh, he was definitely stressed over it. But his uh, his bags didn't arrive with him with all oh of his custom gosh. cues. And uh, he's got. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's got a custom mass AQ and stuff, and and he has to because of the the level of trick shots that man does. And so he was very worried about it throughout the entire time in Montreal. But the man still put on an amazing show with regular. Cues. I'm, I'm wow. like, they were still Q-Tech cues, don't get me wrong, and, and pulled, but they were brand new cues, not custom tips, not anything else done to them, nothing. They were just the same cue that you go to a retail shop, you're like, I want that one, right there on the wall. Oh, and wow. he still did his, his trick shots with, so it was pretty amazing. Well, that's when your skill and your, your knowledge comes into play. Mm -hmm. Definitely did. Definitely, definitely did. Guys, I had to take down my side camera, go ahead and get it charging up here, and I got the ladies' camera on, on charge now as well, so we will be good to go. Unfortunately, I'm missing one of my battery packs here, but it'll be all good. We'll we'll still work through what, what we have. Jake may have a good run out here. He's got two solids left on the table, a seven to four, and Jack has got a, a cluster there towards the top left-hand corner with three stripes. I don't know if he's going to be able to even get a chance back at the tail, but even if he does, right. oop, I spoke too soon. I was about to say, I, don't, I wasn't sure if he's going to get another chance at the table, but even if he does, though, I mean, he may still be up a bit of a creek of, of having to deal with the situation. Oh. Nice hit by Jake. Jack and Jake. Jack and Jake. <laughs> Jack is at the, <laughs> at the table now. That was a now. good one. It definitely seems like there's more people playing now filled in a little bit it seems yeah. like yeah the uh the floor started to uh to liven up a little bit as the afternoon has, has come about and especially i wouldn't be too surprised if we start to see it really start to fill up come night time as well oh yeah you can see some of the shirts if you're watching the ladies live stream oh yeah Just some of the custom it. shirts yeah yeah that's you the can uh, see, uh break in racks and hearts yeah i like that yeah you can That's catch some good. glimpses of that through the live stream, walking past. Jack with ball in hand here. He's got some opportunity to finally start working through that situation. Jake's four is in a nice placement, though, being kind of, even though it's the bottom half of the table, it's still kind of centerish table. I'm leaving it some options here, but this is where, you know, Jake, or uh, Jack, I'm sorry, can start to play defensive. But did he just drain that all the way down the bottom left? Oh, Ooh. my gosh. Man. Oh, my gosh. And this guy, I look at you all day long. I'm telling him he can't see the table like he used to, but he absolutely drills it like he, like he knows <laughs> how. That was amazing. Well played, wow. Jack. Is there wow. a breeze around here? Yeah, right. <laughs> so somebody in the chat goes, at you. Yeah, Just I falls know, in. I know. Jake wants that to kind of stay as center table as possible, so... The, what I was talking about earlier may come into effect where, you know, Jack may have a, a defensive option here soon uh, to play against all because Jake's down to his final ball. He does not, I was going to say, he did not want that 10 to drop yet, so good thing it hung up there. Is he going to go for corner? Yeah, he's going to go top right-hand corner, and he may go after his 11 after this. I'm not sure his angle on it personally, but he's he's going to have to start thinking of how to tower that 11 ball, which is right next to that four in the center of the table. Right. So I think he can back cut it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Back cut was option. And even if he got bad on this, he still has that beautiful 10 ball as a nice reset here to get him back out. I wonder if it's cleared enough. I think he's got it. Yeah, he, he's going to opt to go across table here and take on the more uh, you know tougher ball oh. here. My only worry was with where that eight ball was. Oh. Yeah, that was that was the problem right there. Ball in hand to Jake here, and Jake will have the the four. I'm assuming he's going to probably opt to take both of them in the bottom right hand corner pocket. This is what I'm assuming. He may give himself a little angle on the four to where the the cue ball should drift over to the left open up for him to take the eight in the bottom right-hand corner pocket as well. He could also still take the eight in the bottom left-hand corner as well, put a put enough follow on it to, to 
kind of force it on in with a 10 ball, which would be a legal hit as well. I've had that question come up in league play um, to where a person, again, first thing they did was properly make contact with their, their next object ball, which if he's on the eight would be the eight ball. And just because the eight knocks another ball in, as long as he still pockets that eight on the in the in the pocket that he marked, mm -hmm. again, that's another part of the ruling. Uh, that would count as well, but this this was the play that I was expecting him to go for. I like watching when um, the next player is up. <laughs> I like watching them approach the table, seeing them assess the table, and then getting their facial reaction of how they <laughs> feel about the table. <laughs> so it, it's funny you mention that. I've had two opportunities now that I've turned down for doing commentary, and they wanted me to do it remotely. So oh. literally from, from, from the comfort of my home, uh, they were like, we set up all the cameras and stuff. You just commentate on what you what you see on the on the camera. And uh, I told them no. And they're like, they're like, really? They're like, this is the way everything's going, you know, just travel expenses, this and the other. And I was like, I get it. Like, I understand travel expenses are a yeah. big deal. I understand gas. Like, I'm, I like respect. Like, logically, it makes sense. Yeah, I respect you what you're understand. saying. understand. But, like, getting to see things like that, what you just talked about, is something that, that I do all the time. And it's something that people are looking for yeah. as well. Like, people want to understand They want to feel going. like they're there. Yeah. And if you're also not there, then it makes a difference on how you're able to make the audience mm -hmm. or the live stream and the commentator, you know, it's it's different being able, how, how are you supposed to bring that into the yeah. to the live stream without it being there? Well, and, and how are you supposed to compliment the host locations? Yeah. Like the, the host locations do so much for us. You know, uh, Dave and singing them on, on both Q-Bomb, Beaches Q-Bomb, right? And we don't, we don't pay, like there are places that pay like a green fee and stuff for using the tables. Right. So you not only pay for your league night, but you, you possibly play, uh, pay, depending on how that setup is, to play on those tables as well. We're very blessed here that we don't, you know what I mean? So like I want to, at every chance I get, to give them proper, you know, shout outs and tell them thank you for allowing us this location. You know, they keep up with the, the felt, they keep up with keeping yeah. things clean, ready to go. You know, I've, I've seen poor Brandon over there at, at OG Key Ball run around like a chicken with his head cut off, working his absolute butt off to, to no end to, to make sure everything's just running so smoothly mm -hmm. and it's so clean and, and ready for us. So, you know, I definitely want to be able to give them the props, but I, I just don't see how you can honestly and, uh, and do it and, and say, you know, how good the place is doing if you're not there physically. Right, right. So. And it's, it's nice because you get to see how, the, you know, what kind of player are they or mm -hmm. how are they playing the game or you, you get a different sense of what's happening not just on the table, yeah. but around the table. I, I would even dare say there's almost a 50-50 mix. Uh, of what you get to see of what's really happening on the table and what you actually get to see of what's happening off the table. Oh, yeah. I understand. But again, their, their body language speaks uh, volumes, your, their facial expressions, what yeah. you're saying. Like, it's hilarious because sometimes, like, you'll see them make a shot and you're like, wow, that was a really great shot and stuff. And, like, you see them make a face, you're like, oh, they didn't, <laughs> like, they didn't mean yeah. to make that shot. But they were like, of course, they were happy they made it, don't get yeah. me wrong, but, like, they, they weren't 100% sure, you know? Well, and it's nice, like, I mean, right now, if we're just looking at the screen, you can see them, you know, walking around the table, mm -hmm. assessing. But it's different when you kind of are able to sit here and look past the screen and see and follow of what they're looking at. Oh, yeah. How are they mapping this out? What's what what can we pick up that's going on in their mind? And especially the teams, you know, this this is all team environment, oh, yeah. right? This, is, this isn't the, the regionals, the singles regionals, right? So now we also get to see, like, okay, they're, they're looking back at their team. The team's like, yeah, you got this, good job, and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, you get to see some of that dynamic going on, too, which is huge because, you know, sometimes Masters, I don't want to say can feel lonely to an extent and not feel like a team, but because, like, you don't have timeouts. Yeah, you well, know, like and you only have stuff. four people on a team. Only right four people, yeah. yeah. So it can definitely feel real different. And how are you supposed to do charades <laughs> with other <laughs> people? <laughs> you're not wrong. No, how I are you supposed to do that if you're not there? I think, okay, I think that was just the extension. I saw Jake break down something from his queue. I thought we were about to have a, a jump shot there, but no, he still got his playing queue. It's just the extension that he was going for. Accidental movement there on the 13 ball. And if you had to miss, that was the way to miss right there. That, that pocket is his. That five is not going to go past it at this point. Jack may be able to get a nudge out of it, though. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know if he's even going to worry about that pocket for the time being. I feel like he needs to work on that seven. It's all the way on its own lonesome at the top of the table. Oh, he's oh, going to go for it here, yeah. He could just follow both of these in. Oh. Mm, pops off.
I think uh, I don't know. I think if, it, if if he wasn't sure, which he probably was, he was probably sure that he might have been able to try and follow it in. But if he wasn't sure, maybe just playing a little bit softer would have worked out better. Ooh, small rattle right there. And that looked like a pretty good stroke from Jake on it. And they have another game going, right? I uh, know. So this is this is the third matchup oh, uh, okay, out of okay. three. So it, it all boils down to these two. Oh, mama, oh, that's right. We did yep. the math. And by we, I mean you. No, no. <laughs> 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 you are still new to this, and, 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 and we haven't only thrown you, you in the deep end, but we've thrown you in the deeper, deeper part of the deep end. Like this, you this did the math, and I just followed along. This is the, the diving board pool now, <laughs> yeah. is what this is. <laughs> By the way, for those that uh, have not visited this location um, as well here, uh, majority of the tables here, in fact, I think it's 16 uh, eight-foot diamonds. They have four seven-foot diamonds, and they've gotten rid of the, the three-cushion table and added in one nine-foot diamond table with that beautiful gray uh, gray felt on it that we were talking about, bragging about earlier. But they've done good. I love the way this whole setup is. I love the, the, the TVs on each of the, the poles. I love the food here, too. This is always one of my favorite places to, to go for the food. Oh, yeah. I, I've always been a sucker for the pretzel. Oh yes, you can get a beer cheese, right? Oh, of, oh course. of course. Of course. How can you? How can you get <laughs> a large pretzel and not get the beer cheese? Absolutely. A disgrace. I agree. <laughs> I agree, a hundred percent. Jake has got his speed down pat. Um, it's funny too. <laughs> Wife says now she's hungry. Me too. Me yeah. and you both. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 beer cheese pretzel is so good. I had a uh, grilled uh, grilled chicken salad today. Oh, so delicious. I had it and I was like, I need my my veggies, I need my Italian dressing, I need it all. But uh, it's funny because Jake and I actually uh, were here uh, a couple nights before they did their like grand opening. Oh, okay. And, and him and I were playing on the uh, the seven foot diamonds. Obviously, this is a year and four months ago now. Mm -hmm. The more I think about it, and it's funny just just thinking back to to then versus now, and just how this place has went from a, a concept. It might be happening. Okay, we know they're buying it, building it. Okay, hey, suppose they're, they're, they're going to have this many tables, or, or what's this rumor about, and this, that, and the other, to now seeing like the amount of tournaments we've had here and, and just the, the love that we've had out of this, this wonderful establishment. It's been just astronomically amazing. Well, and I think for this area, too, specifically, like, I don't know what – there's not really another pool hall that comes close to this no. in this area, yeah, in like this area, at the no. beaches. No. You know, there are other places that have – maybe Couple two tables, tables yeah. maybe three, mm -hmm. but not anything specifically that's just geared specifically towards playing some pool. Yeah, no, that's that's 100% right. This is this is the, unless something snuck in that I'm not aware of, this is the largest establishment on this side of town. So, hey, David Rifkin there. <laughs> By the way, I, I always love telling the story about David. Uh, David is uh, what was in the, the Navy. And uh, he was a, a captain of a submarine. He wears a shirt from time to time, says, my other ride is a submarine. Oh. And I die laughing. Every time I see it, I'm like, David, you are such a gangster, man. I freaking love that this. That is so cool. I do not know if I can do that. Right? I feel like that would just freak me out too much. It, it, it would be crazy to even think of. Like, Woo. Are there windows? Uh, I mean, there, there's a... Can there's there a be? There's a periscope. <laughs> Oh, that that's has, true. Has some mirrors in it stuff. Like I would want to be knowing what's going on around. You know, it's right. like not every day that you get to just be underwater like that. Like down at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Is it pressure? Like, is it controlled? Like, is the pressure controlled on yeah. the inside? Yeah, they they definitely have. Uh, no windows. Oh my gosh. Yep. yep. How do you know? Like, what's your circadian rhythm like? Oh my gosh, I wouldn't even want to imagine yeah. how, how your sleep schedule gets messed up on that. Or what you got to do to adjust. Speaking of, by the way, I do want to give a shout out too. Uh, we did the vet boards last year for singles here at the uh, Beaches Key Ball location. And it was actually one of our biggest years yet for turnouts for vet oh, wow. boards. Uh, we had uh, a lot of people here. In fact, there were several of the boards that were just strictly vet. Anybody could play, but there were several of the boards that were all vets on the entire board. Which oh, was really that's cool. awesome. Yeah. So hopefully, I'm not sure which location we'll have it at uh, again, but hopefully we get to have that again. And uh, that's still that's that's still more praise to to Mike and Kelly because the uh, vets got to play in one of the boards for free. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, that was huge. Small miss right there on the one ball, but good attempt though. That was a nice stroke by Jack. 
And Ooh. again, not a bad leave. I mean, Jake has the potential here for a run out. I'm a little worried about the 13 maybe. And this is what we talked about earlier, right? Like if you can't make the three, if you don't think that you can make the three. Yeah, balls. It, yeah, you might might need to hit the brakes. Now in this case, he, he needs to hit the gas. He, he's got to go, he's got to floor it um, because Jack has the, the two balls are sitting right outside the pockets right. that definitely lead to each other. I mean, the only, only thing Jake could do here that would be a defense is maybe play into that 13 oh. and play softly. But, yeah, I think I think he needs to hit the gas pedal here and go for it. Uh, he might have it. Yeah, it's looking okay right now. If he wins this rack, though, it's going to bring it up 15 to 11. Again, the, the best score warranty expired can get is a, a maximum of 17 points. Uh, Jake will only need three from that point, and the pressure will start to build and build tremendously here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yep. Assuming he's going to go for the bank shot here in the left hand side pocket, is my guess. He's got to let this angle open up a little bit. It looks like the cue ball and the eight ball are almost dead on on each other. So he can do this in a couple ways. He can hit off on the eight ball and just have a have a better angle on it than what he already is going to have. He can also use a little bit of, uh, in this case, outside English or right handed English to uh, put a little left spin on that eight ball. And let it open up. He's got a couple different choices. But he's almost in do or die mode on this. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, and I'm, I'm not saying for sure Jack will close out, but just assuming, right. knowing, knowing his capabilities first and foremost. Right. And knowing where that 1 4 is. It's like um, assume, the, assume the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, so Jack is very prepare. capable of finishing right. this rack off if Jake doesn't make it here. So. Jake going just straight for the cut here. Gets oh, it. What a shot. Beautifully wow. Done. Very impressive. I did not think, I 100% thought he was going for the bank there. 100% thought. That was nice. That was very beautiful. What a clean cut. He was proud too. of that one, too. Yeah, he should be. And this is why it's important to be here. You can see their faces. Mm -hmm. And they get to celebrate. You don't get to see the celebrations. Yeah. Yeah, he even had a little, little woo from, yeah. from the, the uh, crowd around here. Very nicely done. That was exciting. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. Yeah, he needed that for sure. So what you got going on for the rest of the weekend? Anything in particular? So today's actually been pretty busy. Yep. Usually I am a personal trainer also. So Ooh, goodness gracious. I usually have sessions on Saturday morning, so I started my day doing that. And then there is a wellness studio called Degree Wellness. And okay. they have three locations now in Jacksonville, one in Riverside, one at the town center, and one here in Jacksonville Beach. And they do cold plunges, they do cryotherapy, oh, wow. sauna, red light therapy, compression boots, oxygen bar, a whole bunch of stuff. So if that sounds up your alley or if anybody's curious about it, um, they have a ho whole lot of awesome stuff over there. Very nice vibe. So they had a grand opening this morning for their Riverside location. So hey, I let's go. scooted on over to Riverside to uh, check it out, do a couple services, did a cold plunge this morning. Oh, my gosh. I am such a baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I am such a Florida girl, like, born and bred that, yeah. like, anything below 70 degrees, I am cold. Yep. Even if it's, like, 75 and I'm in the shade and it's breezy <laughs> I'm probably <laughs> cold so um, the thought of submerging myself in extremely freezing temperatures mm -hmm. um, but it was it was cool it was awesome to do you definitely get an energy surge so I did that and stopped by the farmer's market got my eggs and my produce there we go and then now we're here so it's been a jam-packed Saturday that is a lot that is a lot so tomorrow's my brain break day where I just will probably sit in the sun <laughs> And relax a little bit. That sounds like a good then day. I'll probably do some, you know, fun little work stuff. And guys in chat here, we got uh, both uh, Miss Dawn here, which uh, Dakota's around here somewhere. Dawn is uh, his mama. And then we got Miss Amy over here as well here uh, cheering on Jack. Yeah, let's let's give Jack some love. Jack has got to win. Jake has only technically got to get to six racks. Six racks, three more racks would make it impossible for uh, Team Warranty Expired to win it. So... We'll see if uh, see if he can pull it out, but Jack Jack needs six and Jake needs three now. But that definitely sounds like a lot of fun though. That that cold plunge, whoo! That 
Yeah, it. Um, I remember the first time I did it, like my anxiety was so high. My <laughs> heart was racing. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She was like, you're going to be fine. <laughs> they have um, <laughs> like a little breathing app that will like help you, you know, because that's the whole idea is you're putting your body in something uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You're physically stressed. So the idea is to be able to control your breathing. Mm -hmm. You know, you're getting uncomfortable to get comfortable a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, but truthfully, you know, I hadn't had my coffee yet. I was feeling a little <laughs> drab, <laughs> but I will tell you, nothing will wake you up faster <laughs> than having to do that. Wow, beautiful Ooh, shot. Nicely done, Jack. Amy and Don, I think I think y'all's cheers uh, worked for him right there. That, oh was, yeah. that was beautiful. He can feel the energy sent this way. Yeah, he can. Let's just get a nice oh, little combo and okay. leave the nine in good position. All right, all right. He's coming back. I don't even talk about what uh what somebody around the arena table <laughs> was just doing, but okay, <laughs> shenanigans are going on. Uh, they are afoot here at uh, Beaches Cue Ball today. <laughs> it's getting to be that time in the tournament. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Shoot, there's definitely time oh. whenever you, you'll, you'll hear Kelly and I on stream and we start saying some of the silliest things ever, and we're like, yep, it's that time <laughs> of the stream right now, guys. Welcome to it. Uh, you didn't know you signed up for it, but you're here. Yes. Jack is on a bit of a, a nice run here. The real ultimate question is going to be that 10 ball. 10 ball is very problematic right now. Oh. Yeah, he's got to get back further up. I think he's short on it. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can yeah, see his short. face. Yep, yep. Oh, I wish you could see. He's like, after that whole entire run. Yeah. He gets a good hit on it and pairs it up close to the two. Honestly, that was a great play. Um, this literally goes back to, again, what, what we were talking about this entire yeah. time. I mean, he, he may have just taken a good chance to slow Jake down a little bit. They're playing great. Mm -hmm. Good pace, good good speed yeah. by both players, good plays by both players, too. This is this is a great matchup. So they started with eight, so they have five matches that they can play in eight ball. Is that correct? Uh, correct, correct. Yep, so. And this is five. Th this is matchup number five, so okay. they will be switching to nine ball after this. Yes. Look at you go. I, look you, at yeah, me. Yeah, you got this. What? I told you we, 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 we put you in the deep deep end now and you're <laughs> already getting it. I'm thumbing through my the files just in my sitting in my brain. Right. It is tough. Uh, Masters, I will say, is definitely uh, of any of the leagues to keep track of. As much as you don't keep track of innings, <laughs> you don't like literally if you look at their score sheet, it's just did who won this rack? Put an X. Who won mm -hmm. that rack? Put an X. Like it, it's the most simplistic scoring there is. Mm -hmm. um, but even with it being the most simplistic scoring, right. the, the, the time to flip. Uh, annoying when you're flipping from one end to the other. Sometimes, you know, escape shooting, you're like, oh, yeah, that's right. We're, let me take off some of the balls off the table. We're on nine ball yeah. now. Like, what am I doing? Well, Jake has handled that uh, that two ball situation beautifully. No. Oh. Unfortunate scratch here. Jack is going to have a, oh, yeah. a great opportunity here. No guarantees, but ball in hand with uh, one ball left on the table and the eight ball being the final one for you is... Uh, at least a good place to be. He's going to try to try to be back above it here. Very smart play by Jack. Some people may not like this option, but you don't want to have to skip over that side pocket. It, it just does this like weird, like hungry, hungry hippo method. And a good Beautifully out. Beautifully done. Yeah. I always find the shots on the wall are the hardest. They, they definitely can be, um, without any doubt. It, it's it's something that you'll see some people uh, really struggle with. They'll they'll try to avoid it at all costs. They'll mm. they'll get so good at their bank game. <laughs> to avoid that shot, yeah. right? Like, you'll you'll never see some people ever go after that shot. But the reason you play that very smart, and this is just for everybody at home as well, is when you're shooting and, and your object ball has got to go past on the rail, right past that side pocket, there's just something that seems to happen. It's like this extra little gravity well with the way the pocket is and shaped and stuff. And it, it, it'll mess you up most of the time. It yeah. really will. So him opting to be back above it, even though he, he wasn't sure if he was going to get a great shot on it or not or a great leave on it was the right call 100%. Well, and the, fr the angle that the cue was coming from. Mm-hmm. Not a bad break. I mean, he, he got a good uh, good little separation there, but just unfortunately nothing on the break. And it looks like the 4-9 combo might be in play. I don't know if it's something the other player's going to go for here, but. Oh, it just got better. That 4-9 combo just got really, really better. Jake can land this 2-3 situation. He'll be. 
potentially in prime positioning here. He needs to get back to the right-hand side of the table to take on that three ball, though. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Well, I'm going to say not a bad lead just because of distance here. Jack has a great opportunity on the two ball, top left-hand corner pocket. Force follow should get him back out of that situation. I don't really like bottom here. Some people would want to pull bottom. Yeah, kind of stunned over. Very tough. He could rocket ball this though, try to do a three, four, nine situation, but. Or just go straight to the three, nine. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know if Jake has, I'm assuming he's got enough room to see, see the three, but I don't know if he's gonna go three, nine or just pocket the three. He's trying to figure it out. Yeah. The <laughs> he's shaking his head. The problem is that four ball, though. I mean, you just even if you hit this with the slow, like let's say it's open, let's say he's got eyes on three just fine, even hitting it at the slowest speed, I mean, he's still gonna the cue ball is still gonna pop out towards the, the center of the table almost. Oh. Yeah, nice try, very nice try. I like that. This is why those two are really good paired up against each other. This is this is fun. Well, now it's interesting because they were both doing really well in eight ball. So mm -hmm. it's now we're playing a new game. We so what's are. the strategy? You know, how how do they play in nine ball versus just eight ball? Yeah, it, it is odd because you know you got the the combo option that's on the board now to to hit in the nine early, whereas in eight ball, you know you're punished if you hit the eight in early. That's that's a loss of game. Also, I feel like too usually we see more jump shots attempted in nine ball, and I think that's just yeah. yeah I think that's just got to deal with the fact that like you're both on that same object ball, so. You'll have limited option of yeah. what you can really do. Yeah, like there, like you got, in this case here, you got five other balls to hide hide behind, and you know, even if you don't pocket that four, that you might end up uh, snookering your player against it and, and leaving them a, a difficult shot next, so. I think that's the reason why I love nine as much as, as this past session. I've really tried to focus on my defensive shots and, and getting better at it. It's just a part of the game. Like, I really feel it takes this game from being like a normal game of checkers to now you're playing chess. Oh, yeah. And it just upgrades it just that much more. makes everything more fun. Good attempt on a bank. Well, and, you know, you almost have more control in that. You know, if you're able to, obviously, you can be really great at offense. Mm -hmm. But if you can also be really great at defense, you can arguably have a little bit more control over the direction that they as more than what you would if you were just great offensively. I agree. I agree hundred percent. One thing is. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the live stream, this is my time to boogie on out until the next tournament. There we go. But thank you for having me. I always have a blast every single time I get to pop in on here. Um, but still catch us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We are Jacksonville APA, Facebook and Instagram. And on TikTok, we are Jacksonville Pool. There we go. So we solidified that. <laughs> <laughs> we I stole that for Jacksonville. Um, but, yeah, make sure if you ever see yourself or anything, make sure to comment, tag yourself, and I'll be sure to see you all at the next tournament that we have or there at your go. league night. Yeah, absolutely. But if you're ever anywhere and you see me, please come up and say hi because there's still so many new faces here that I, mm -hmm. I'm i getting to know everybody. And I may have recognized your name on the live stream or seen you in passing at a league night or one of the places, but please come up and say hi to me. Most definitely. Alexis, you take care and be blessed. Have a good day. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you as well. All right, guys. So it's just me now on the live stream here. We'll see if we get somebody else to join me here in a little bit. But appreciate Alexis for, for hanging out. Yes, absolutely. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Definitely appreciate her. But please do go support the uh, the other uh, channels, though, guys. It means a lot um, for sure. And, and be able to uh, take advantage of what's going on with Timeout Trivia. Um, I'm telling you, it's definitely a, a huge, huge opportunity here. JT says match should be over. It, it definitely bodes in favor of Jake, right? Jack has got to get five racks. Jake technically only has to get two. Uh, for anybody that's just joining, they're like, wait a minute, Tim. Like, what, what are you talking about? He's got to get to seven uh, games here. What's going on? 
Uh, well, the, the why behind that here is uh, if Jake gets two more, that will put team, watch this, with 18 total points for the team. The max uh, points that warranty expired can get is only 217. Are you comparing with the score? We'll see. Well, uh, it's definitely the 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 pace of the game has changed now with them switching to nine ball, which is pretty interesting. So, oh yeah, 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 you're good. Yeah, I'm updating as it goes. I'm I'm trying, been trying to keep up to it, uh, JT. Been trying to. I I did get a little behind earlier, but it's just tough whenever there's two matches going on at once. So, definitely, definitely tough for sure. I don't know if uh, lace match is going on here. I see some score sheets or something. Hands being shaken over there. So I don't know what's happening here. Oh, you're adding four to the 16. I got you. I got you, JT. I see, I see what you were doing. I see what you're doing. You're doing what I was doing, but you were doing it after I'd already done it. There we go. We see a, uh, a push right there by Jake. In fact, I think it's the first push we've seen on stream. I don't want to say wrong, but Jack now gifting it right back to him and says, hey, guess what? That's your Merry Christmas, sir, and Happy New Year's to you. This is a, uh, a Padawan Masters team. Keep in mind that uh, all three uh, divisions here, so Jedi Masters, Padawan Masters, and Lay's Division, uh, all three of them are uh, playing for a chance to go to Vegas. Both the Jedi Masters and Ladies will actually be up there to compete in Vegas. And then for Padawan, uh, they'll be up there to simply enjoy Vegas. They, they get a Vegas trip out of it. They can go enjoy some mini manias, go root on the other teams while they're there, and enjoy the overall situation. But that is what's, uh, what's going on with that. Goodness, great. I can't believe we're almost four hours in the stream now. I just noticed that. Here it is, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Guys, we're in the Dago already. Just disappearing. Nice attempt on a bank shot by Jack. Three sitting in a nice little reset here, but Jake's going to be blocked up by that seven. He's going to have to figure something out with this, but uh, we'll say both these gentlemen, very cool, calm, and collective regardless, but you got to feel a little good if you're Jake right now in this situation, knowing that... Uh, Everything is just a little bit more in your favor. Jake going with a uh, jump there. And looks like not a bad leap. I'm not sure if that window's there between that 5-6. It definitely was. Nice hit by Jack. And this leave is going to be solid. It looks very close up to that 5. I don't know if he's going to be able to jump this one being up against the rail like he is. I don't think he will. He's got a one rail kick, though. Good hit. Goodness gracious, the, these... Uh, these showmen are running back and forth here fast as can be. Jack finally pocketed in the one there. And we're going to creep up close to that two ball. But looks like he's got enough gap there to handle it. Again, three out there has a little reset. Three top left, five uh, top right there. They're trying to get the next ladies matchup going on over here on table six and seven. And again, on our YouTube channel, uh, Jacksonville APA's YouTube page here, guys, we do have two live streams going at once. Something new that we're, uh, we're attempting here. I do have a little bit of music playing on there, but we've been having the, the ladies league on that side. And then if everything works out uh, well, which I, I hope it will, we should hopefully get to have the ladies finals on the main live stream table over here as well. So we'll see. It, it, it may, may change up. You never know, again, with how fast or slow matches are going from time to time and how everything is rocking and rolling, but we'll definitely see. We will definitely see.
Excuse me. Getting a little double hit there off the seven. Hey, Matt on the YouTube side asking a great question here. Matt says, what nights do uh, Masters play? They play the first Saturday of the month. And uh, you are going up against two teams at the same time. So it kind of plays very similar to like Double Jeopardy. So you'll have two tables in which uh, your team is up against two separate teams and so on and so forth for everybody there. So you're getting uh, two matches uh, or two nights worth of, of play uh, done in one day. So you will have a, uh, you know, a three-man versus three-man on, on each side, if that makes sense. But great question there, Matt. I appreciate you asking that on the YouTube side. Guys, also, too, I have not linked it for you guys in a hot moment, but I am going to send out all the links if it will let me do so properly here. Give me one second. Do a little copy-paste here. That should be coming to you as well, guys. My YouTube is live as well, the Voice Jacksonville Pool YouTube. If you get a chance to, uh, it does mean a lot to have uh, subscribers on both uh, both sets between Jacksonville APA's YouTube and my YouTube, along with following along on our Facebooks as well. Voice of Jacksonville Pool, Tim Jones here. And uh, we're here at the one and only Beaches Cue Ball. Big shout out again and thank you to them for the, the wonderful venue and great day so far we're having. Staff's really been kicking butt, doing a great job. Just a moment, guys. I need to get up out of my chair for just a second. Jake going to play uh, a push here. Again, with the push here, all that's legal. He could have even pocketed another ball if he wanted to. And uh, Jack will have the opportunity to give it back or shoot it. Looks like he's going to opt to shoot it here. <clears throat> Got a nice hit there on the two, but unfortunate miss on the one. Doesn't leave Jake with a lot with it, though. Also, guys, I don't know how much longer the uh, stream will be for the day. I'll just let you know. Uh, at the eight-hour mark, which we are halfway there right now, we're about to be at the four-hour mark here, Facebook will require me to restart the, uh, the streams. So I will have to do that um, sooner or later, whenever that comes up. I just want to give you guys a heads up about that. Also, guys, I did just uh, cheat and confirm with Marianne. This is still a winner's side match up here as well. So uh, both these both these wonderful teams here do continue to go on and play no matter what. Jake getting close to that seven, but doesn't matter. Has great eyes on the six. This is looking like a dream setup right here. Definitely good opportunity for him. Nice execution there on the sixth ball, not overpowering it here. Looks like he's got the seven top left, eight in the right-hand side. And then depending on how he pulls up on the uh, eight, he can either roll forward, take the nine in the bottom left, but I'm assuming he'll just pull it back to the nine in the bottom right here. Thank you. And if he has too much angle here, you can drift it on over just like that and take it on the side instead. Yep, he had a little angle there. 
And that is it. Very well played here. Nice and done. Team watch this winning against team warranty expired here. Tim Jones voice chats will pull guys. Uh, we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna play uh, some wonderful music in the background for you guys and uh, stay tuned for more. Be right back.
Guys, I hope everybody's still sticking around. Tim Jones, Voice Jacksonville Pool, we're still live here on location. Haven't left you guys. I'm letting some cameras do some charge. I'm waiting for the next matchup that I can have on stream. So stay tuned, guys. We will be back very shortly. Do not forget on the secondary page on the YouTube side via Jacksonville APA, we do have the Ladies League going on right this very second here. And I will try to see if I can get the ladies in there to uh, to do a quick update on the uh, on the score there. Okay, guys? Y'all uh, be blessed, but stick around. We're not going anywhere. We're not in the stream. I just don't want to I don't want to mess with any of the equipment, to be honest with you, uh, in terms of being extreme with us running uh, dual live streams at the same time, guys. So stay tuned. Tim Jones, Voice Jacksonville Pool. We'll be back to you very shortly.
Thank you. 
Smitty, what's up, brother? Smitty in there saying hello. Still waiting on uh, one Masters match to finish. So as soon as, uh, why is this? Oh, wait, because I'm charging the camera. That's why. Hello. Uh, we're waiting on one Masters match to finish. Um, when it gets done, we will have, should be Jedi Masters on the live stream next. And then if it works out well, I believe it's going to be the Padawan Finals and then the Jedi Finals and then the uh, the Ladies Finals, if I remember correctly. So I just want to update you guys real fast here. Uh, the only reason why I'm leaving the stream the way it is right this second, I know it's been a hot moment, is because I'm going to have to restart the stream anyways um, after this next matchup is done. So I'd rather only have one stream restart just in case since I am dual streaming for the first time ever. Um, to where I actually have two um, two live streams going, not just a uh, not just you know to two separate pages, but I actually have two YouTube uh, channels going at once. So the ladies is still pulled up right now. You guys can enjoy that um, right over there on the YouTube uh, stream as well. Uh, we'll go and get you guys the link for that right here. 
do a little copy paste here. And that way you guys can still watch that as well. Uh, I will ask to see if any of them will hop in the live stream and give us a, a match update. I know Ms. Carolyn won against Ms. Danica, but I don't know what the overall score was. So uh, I'll be back. Tim Jones, Boyce Jacksonville Pool, still hanging out here with you guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back.
All right, guys. We are about to be back here. I am uh, getting uh, an update right now, but I believe we're about to have the Padawan Masters finals match here for Padawan Ma uh, Masters. So bear with me for just a moment while we get the stream uh, set up here. Yeah, Smitty, that's the one we we're waiting on, bud. I just I can't go through adjusting all the cameras and stuff. Is all I, I needed a moment to uh, to charge things up, my friend, and we also still had the the ladies going, brother. So bear with me here, guys. I, I know it sucks. Sometimes it's hard to to make uh, those choices and not stream everything. I would love to. Otherwise, I'd love to have cameras set up all around. But <clears throat> all right, let me get the team names in there. And we will get this party started here. So still team watch this. And oh, they're back. Oh, this is going to be lovely. <clears throat> this is actually the same two teams. This is hilarious. So we'll see uh, we'll see who gets put up uh, first, but Get this shared out on my Facebook here, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys, let me meet up real fast and find out uh, how they're going to run this, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, let's see if my other camera is still good. And it is. One second, guys. The camera's going to freeze up for just a moment here. Let me make some quick adjustments. Guys, although they're uh, <coughs> they're beautiful and crystal clear, there, there are the uh, the masters trophies that uh, Marianne's putting on the uh, the table right there. We'll have a little better. Actually, I'm sorry, <coughs> Lex is already posted on the stories there, um, so that way you guys can see a little bit better close up here. But beautiful, beautiful crystal clear trophies, laser etched in there with uh with this beautiful foil ribbon that runs throughout, that's the extra lines you're seeing go through it as well. Absolutely gorgeous trophies, to say the least. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Marianne. <clears throat> yeah, make sure and take a look at those guys. So we'll see how this uh, turns out. Team uh, watch this, took out Team Warranty Expires, sent them through the one loss side. Here they are back again on the streaming table. 
We'll see how all this goes. Yeah, you're good. Uh, I, we got to, because it isn't going to give a good close-up of them as it is, so I just left them as they were. You can show one in front of the camera if you want to. Oh, that's per Yes. Look at that guy. Hey, that's perfect, Marianne. That looks good. There we go. Now you guys get to see it. Woo. Look at that beautiful trophy. Guys, get on back in here, get the stream shared out. Make sure to show the love and support. And again, we'll have the, the second table over there. <coughs> You and Chris again? Oh, <laughs> let's go. Uh, we got a rematch already. We got a rematch already happening. This this is like deja freaking view here. This is so good. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm so excited about this. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Wesley is going to win the lag there. <clears throat> and then I see Dave versus is that? Oh, Mark again. Isn't that a rematch too? I feel like this is all playing out the same. Yes, ma'am. I'm like 99% sure that is the same way this, this matchup played out just a, a little while ago on stream. I cannot believe we're having complete deja vu over here. Guys, I'm going to do my best to try to keep the uh, scores up to date in the moment for y'all. As best as I possibly can. Again, this is Tim Jones, voice of Jacksonville Pool, coming to you live from Beaches Cue Ball, where we have the finals. Guys, I don't know if y'all heard me all the way in the back. I said the finals of the Padawan Masters Divisions over here. Oh, a little bit closer there with the 6-4-9 situation. You got the 5 in the, looks like the 2 ball on that left-hand side, 8 sitting in the pocket, 7 sitting in the center, 3 sitting to the right of it, and the 1 all the way to the tippy-top short rail. <clears throat> this is so interesting if this is playing out the same. Cannot believe this is fixed to be complete deja vu between these uh, matchups. I'm, I'm like 99% sure I'm right about that. Guys, depending on how much time we have uh, left in the stream again at the eight hour mark, Facebook is going to kick us off regardless. But depending on how much time we have after this, um, if I think we have enough time to do the, uh, the next finals, we will keep the stream going. If not, I will reboot the stream and then get it going right back afterwards. Give me one second. I'm going to check in on something real quick here, guys. Be right back. Guys, I had to go check in uh, real fast with, with Liz and Jake over there. Um, yes, I am not incorrect. This is not deja vu um, in, in the sense that it, it didn't happen. Uh, it really did happen this way. Both of these matchups uh, were, were thrown the exact same way. Um, Wes against Chris again. Uh, Dave versus uh, Rob back there. Um, wow. I, I cannot. Or uh, not Rob. I'm sorry. Mark, forgive me. Sorry, Mark. Um, I cannot believe 
that both of these matches are being played the exact same way. This is this is wilding me out to say the least. Absolutely wilding me out. Goodness gracious. How does that even happen? I guess you just feel feel so calm. I mean the lineup it wasn't <laughs> Neither team shut the other one out. Like both both tables balanced each other out there in the first and second one, and it it uh, it came down where it was uh, I think one less rack needed for for Jake versus um, Jack during the uh, the last matchup. So I mean it it was a close matchup overall. So I kind of don't blame both teams for doing it, but you almost question uh, if that's a great uh, great decision or not. But also they didn't get to the finals without making great decisions all day long. So. I think you got to have some uh, some trust and faith in the in the situation they're in, and trust what they have. Plus, I, I do know for sure Wes is uh Wes is out to to really get some revenge here. So, uh oh, keep balls going to kick over. Almost thought it kicked over too far, but actually got in pretty good shape for the four. Small miss on the four, hung it up there. Chris does have the, the run out potential. Needs to get back uh, kind of center table, take the five and left hand side, six bottom left. And even if he gets a little weird on the five, he should just be able to use some speed control to, to control it regardless. This is amazing though, I cannot believe this. Now this table did start off on nine ball. I do see the uh, Dave's table get smart over there starting off on eight ball. So do have uh, two two different options going on right this second. Ooh, small miss right there, but did it leak out enough? I'm not a hundred percent sure if it did. Very very tough to see it from here. I'm try not to get it in his line of sight while he's just get down on the shot. If you can see. You know, he should be fine, but I, I feel like he can't. Yeah. So he may be going to Massa a little bit here. He did. Gets it. Gets a little pop off the seven ball. Very nicely done here. This should work out just fine. Cut the seven in the right-hand side pocket. Let the cue ball drift back up that short rail. And uh, hopefully come over to the left just a little bit. He may not even have to let it drift all the way up there, but I think it will. Yeah, nicely done. Needs to slow down. Yeah, he got great shape on that nine ball. He's got a good opportunity here, I'll say that. And a nice out by Wes here, taking the very first rack against Chris. A nice little start here, good to see. Dave and Mark still battling out on rack number one up there. Keep in mind, Dave and Mark are going uh, five racks of eight ball and then flipping over to nine ball, where in this case, we could potentially see eight back, uh, racks of eight ball, or nine ball, sorry. Eight racks of nine ball, let me say it right. And uh, unless one of them uh, wins seven to one overall, which again, we, we have seen that happen before and could happen. Not likely, but could. So we may not even see eight ball uh, appear on this table. Such an interesting matchup though. I really like the fact that we're seeing what, what's happening. Again, I don't know if I agree with it, but uh, hey, I'm not the one in the finals. Nice make of the uh, eight, has eyes on the one. Two ball hiding a little bit over here below the four. Also, guys, on our second uh, part of YouTube here on Jacksonville APA's YouTube page, we do have the uh, the ladies right here division going on. That is not a finals match yet. We are going to try our best to see if we can have all three finals represented on the live stream. If it works out properly, hopefully it does. Hopefully it does because we should, uh, the the matchup waiting to, to start the finals, if I remember correctly, should be what's going on right now. If I understood correctly for the Masters, and that's... Uh, Alex versus Kevin. Last update I saw, they were 5-5. Five five. Smitty was 100% right about it. He's saying, uh, go West, go. Yeah, Smitty, give, give him some an, uh, energy here. Again, I know uh, he did not like losing to Chris earlier, and I learned a lot more about Chris in the last live stream. Uh, everybody was telling me that he'll probably be a skill level 8 here soon. He's been shooting extremely well. And uh, he definitely he definitely proved it today, without a doubt. Small miss on the four, but maybe a good miss. I'm not sure... Not sure how much of a blocker that is. I do see Kevin Rackin, so it's either 6-5 in favor of Alex or it's Hill Hill, one or the other. Hill Hill, 
Wesley just uh, confirmed me it is Hill Hill for uh, for Kevin and um, Alex's match. Winner take all. Comes down to one rack. That's wild. That's so wild to even think of. Nice little jump shot by Chris. Might get lucky. No, he doesn't. And cue ball is going to come off rail and give Wes a, a good opportunity here. Five ball is going to be a little tough. Good make. It's going to go around the world. It's going to dodge that left-hand side pocket, get a bump off the six, and looks like gives him good shape for the five. He might have to go for the six-nine combo here in just a moment. We'll see how he plays this. This is the tough part about Masters, right? Even Padawan Masters is the same way, where they do not have any timeouts. Uh, there is no one timeout per rack or any of that kind of stuff. So that is the, the tough part about it. But I'm pretty sure he's going to just go 6-9 combo. He's kind of forced into that situation here. It looks like it's set a little bit. It might be off just by a, a smidgen, but I think a good firm stroke here should take it, send it on home. And it does. Wes up 2 nothing right now. Great job. I believe Dave and them are still on the uh, the first rack over there. I'm going to update the overall team score. I'm going to try my best to keep up with that each time for you guys here, okay? Going to try my best here. So Dave and Wes represent for team. Watch this. Chris and Mark represent for team. Warranty expired. I don't know how I feel about uh, about the name here. Looks like uh, Dave got that one, so it should be up three nothing right now. Overall score, and this is looking eerily familiar. This is looking very very familiar here. This was a, a similar situation to what happened earlier where Wes had such a, a kick butt break and then Chris went on a, uh, a run here. And the only thing Wes did wrong was have such an amazing break and scratch. And even then, uh, you can't, can't like blame him for doing it. Nobody wants to break and scratch. Nobody aims for that to be the, the situation. So hopefully with the way this is uh, potentially going to play out, hopefully he can shake it off. Chris getting these nice little bumps here off of the uh, other object balls. Well played. Wes with a, a golden opportunity here. If he can get up 3-0, he has flipped the entire script of what happened last time. Coming out, score 6-6, six, six, Smitty, Hill Hill. Smitty on the Facebook side asking about the uh, Jedi Masters matchup. That is, I'm fairly certain the one that's waiting to, to get into the finals is what he's asking about. And a nice out. Wesley has done it and absolutely has changed the entire outcome of this game at this point in time. Very, very huge situation to be in right now. You know that was going to potentially stick to him if that played out the exact same way. I mean, I swear we don't have a repeat on the, on the stream here. Um... <laughs> I swear it, I promise. But it definitely started to, to look like that for a moment. <clears throat> and women still going strong over there. I see uh, Miss Helen versus Sam over there still, still playing out right this moment. Nothing on the break here. You got a bit of a cluster with the 9-3. Looks like 8 and 7 all clustered up here towards the bottom short rail. Two sitting towards the almost top half of the map here. 4 and 6 bottom half close to the uh, spot. And the 1 and 5 sitting up there towards the top clear, uh, close to the short uh, short rail there. I don't know how much of that 1 he can see because of where the 2 is at, at this point. Now keep in mind he can push here. We've only seen that ran or, or used a couple times. He's going for the 2 railer. Gets a good hit. And, uh, ooh, almost had a, a nice little mate there in the side pocket. Would have been accidental, but still would have counted. Question is, can Wes get into a window for this two, or does he even want to? He may just play defensive off the two. Oh, if he can get a bump off that six. He did. He got, he, he made the window. 
very well played here. Should have a window for the three in the bottom left-hand corner pocket. Just come off this bottom short rail, just smooth speed. And he does so. Nice pocket speed there. Very well played. Wes is on a mission here, and I love seeing it. I, I, anytime I lose somebody, and especially in this tournament setting, I have a chance to go up against them again. I'm like, it's time for revenge pool, baby. That's what we're calling it. Come back off this. Ooh, we pulled it over. I thought it was going to come off this bottom short rail. Tougher cut here. A little bit of length. Keep in mind, these are eight foot diamonds they're playing on. And he makes it smooth as can freaking be. I mean, this, this, uh, this situation is just amazing to see how Wes is playing right now. Doing very, very well. Um, I'm trying to look. I see Q's being packed up. I just don't know who got it. Um, Smitty, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see who got the got the win here. I don't know. Um. I'll try to let you know as soon as I I can know for sure who won against uh. Kevin and them here. Kevin and Alex, sorry. This leave. Mm. We're trying to see if it is frozen or not. Yeah, I have no clue. I can't even tell you based on the body language at all who, who won or not. All right, official updates. Uh, Logan Lane's team won uh, with Alex. Uh, so Alex did beat Kevin Hill Hill, winning seven to six overall. Very well played. Wow. That was a wild, uh, wild ride to say the least. And went for the early nine and gets it clean as day. Three one feels a lot better than four nothing here. So right now it is still possible for this to wrap up uh, in nine ball still. West would have to win the next four racks and close out seven to one overall. Uh, let me see here. <coughs> Sorry guys, trying to uh, update score, take care of something else real fast. Nine on the snap, and a nine on the snap it is. Woo, Chris has now responded in kind here. All right, forgive me, I had not updated the overall score. I know Dave at least has one over there. I have not seen Mark get a rack yet, so it should be 1-0 against them. Going for another nine on the snap potential. Ooh, side pocket was about to open up. Wes will have a, uh, a chance to respond, but you got a little bit of cluster, three, two, eight, six, and seven, I think, all right there in the center. Actually, I'm sorry, that was the four. Forgive me, two's towards the bottom short rail here. Again, if anybody's just tuning in, guys, this is the Padawan Masters. And this is their finals here. Winner here gets to uh, move on to Vegas. Now, keep in mind with the Padawan side, um, there is not a Padawan uh, division at uh, APA in Vegas at the World Championship here. So they will be winning a uh, trip to go over there and enjoy and, and love Vegas and get to take it for all it is, get to support other teams out there if they want to, and, of course, enjoy many manias as well. He might have just pulled that back in that corner pocket. Small miss. Woo. See Wes wiping his face with that one real fast. Oh man, you know that one had to feel rough. All right, so we're still waiting on one more match up here, which is uh. Team Double Tap versus Team Another Thing coming. 
So uh, we are not ready for the finals just yet for the Jedi Masters. All right, I see Dave getting another one here. I'm going to update the score. I believe it is 2-0 over there in favor of Dave versus Mark. Yes, I got confirmation from Jake for me. It is 2-0, so the overall team score does stand 5-2 overall uh, right now. So team watch this getting a, a little bit of a, a ahead of this, but none of that really matters until these first two matches are ultimately wiped and done with, and then we'll see what matchup number three holds and what has to happen. Unfortunate scratch right there. I wonder if he goes for the 3-9 in this situation. I feel like he does. I'll be honest with you, I do trust Wes and, and his ability to combo things. I just don't like him myself as much, but I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I, I almost wish that 9 was maybe sitting against the rail. I feel like it would maybe make this a little easier, but... Good attempt right there. Three is going to get muddled up in that mess, and the seven is going to be blocking it. Not a bad leave. Uh, he's not going to have the simple one rail by the look of it, unless there's room between that five six. And I find that hard to believe if there is. I find it very hard to believe. I almost wonder if he can shoot to the bottom right-hand corner pocket and do a, a two railer to, to kick back into it instead. But he's in a little bit of predicament here. If that six was in the way, I definitely agree with going with one rail. Smart move by Chris. I love seeing that. What a strategy. Chris going in pockets the uh, the nine, going hand ball in hand back to uh, Wes. And uh, sets there against the nine, early nine out of the equation now. Wes you know, could still end up running all these. And so uh, that may be all for nothing. However, I do, do agree with that. That was a great move, especially if you felt like your percentage chance was really high if you give him ball in hand. Now you've left it up to uh, where your opponent has to do a, a nice little run. Now he does have a good opportunity here. Nice, getting off that rail a little bit. It's very important here. Oh, hit off of it just a tiny bit. I think he was trying to get a little better lead for the six, but looks like Chris's uh, defense worked out just fine here. West did not get all the runs. Chris playing a, a pretty smart defense here. Now, it, it's still a good defense in the sense that you got length here and uh, rails, but obviously Wes is going to have eyes on it regardless. It's going to hit off that six a little bit. Chris will probably have one of his better opportunities here against that five, bottom right-hand corner pocket. Cue ball should come back off, and I'm assuming he's going to take the six in the same corner pocket. Oh, small miss there. I believe that side pocket's now open up for Wes. Kind of similar situation. Come off the uh, five into the side pocket. Let it keep all come off that right-hand long rail. Pop back out a little bit. Six in the bottom right. Ooh. No. It's going to come close to scratching. Just barely grabbing hold of the pocket point there. for the bank here. Might get a good leave out of this. Nine ball's looking big. Nine ball's massive right now. Very well played again by Chris. This is a good right between these two. Kind of slowed uh, this whole situation down. They were both kind of booking it towards the finish line pretty fast. Guys, after uh, after this matchup is con has concluded everything, just for those that uh, are joining here, this is Tim Jones. Voice of Jacksonville Pool, we will be restarting the live stream and trying to get you guys both the uh, Jedi Masters finals and also get you the um, finals for the ladies as well. We'll see how they play out. Uh, we don't want to have teams playing hold for for an hour or something like that crazy. They're, that's not fair to ask of them, but if we are able to have both on the main live stream, we will definitely do so, and I will close down that secondary stream, and we'll focus just primarily on this and have all cameras on this, guys. He had been on that five for a hot moment, a little back and forth, but I think uh, 
I think Chris should have this one here. Gotta be careful, looks like he's winding up a lot, okay. Not really a favorable lead on that six. This is gonna be a tough situation. Just gotta be careful leaving a, a potential six nine combo going on. Goes for the bank, gets the bank. Seven nine combo is now uh, now an option or an opportunity. And if he's going for that left hand side pocket, I would possibly have this shot watched though, so, all honesty. I'd probably just call it to be watched to be on the safe side, but I think it's just going for the seven nine situation. Yeah, he was going for 7-9. Does a little rocket ball action. And that is going to open up fairly nicely for West by the look of it here. I think he can use some bottom here, kick the cue ball back up to the top short rail, come back out. And with the 8 being center, I mean, it almost as long as it doesn't get snookered on top of it, he'll have an option for the 8. So he's going to go a couple rails instead. I believe the eight goes past for that bottom right-hand corner, or he can uh, do the, the back cut potentially to the right-hand side, but I think possibly that bottom uh, right-hand corner pocket is the way he may end up going. Got to be careful that side pocket, though. He dodges the side pocket, comes back around, and he's going to set him up beautifully for shape for the nine in the bottom right-hand corner as well. Very well played. No small miss right there. It is open for Chris for the top right-hand corner pocket. Very unfortunate situation. If so, Chris will have tied this up. Chris has already had a nine on the snap as well, so got to keep that uh, keep that kind of stuff in mind. And he gets it. Three three here. Overall score five to three for the teams. Hopefully Dave and them are still on rack number three right now. I've been trying to keep an eye out for it. And guys, we do have a little picture-in-picture picture action going for you right there underneath the uh, Beaches Cue Ball logo. By the way, if I haven't given them a shout-out, much love to Beaches Cue Ball. Appreciate you guys again for the, the venue, the good food, the good staff. Great times always here. Show your host locations the love and support they deserve. Please, for me. Shout-out to Threefold, my personal uh, sponsor here, who sponsors the streaming equipment I have in front of me. Shows love and support, always helping to get, uh, get new items here for us. And, allows to push streams forward and, and get things uh, progressing here in the streaming world. So very much appreciate them as well. And a huge shout out to uh, all you guys here that are part of uh, Jacksonville APA. Uh, without you guys here, um, you know, I just wouldn't have a, a lot of these main streams I get to do. And I appreciate you guys so much for allowing me to be your live streamer and commentator. It means a lot. The reason why I love having the name voice to Jacksonville Pool. He's going to go for the bank here on the two. He's going to have a lot of work to do from this two to the three anyways. Oh, no, went for the cut. Thins it super. It's going to hang in the pocket. Wes needs to not look a gift horse in the mouth, but he has got to do something about that three ball. He's either got to get in the window for it to take three in the top right, or I'm assuming he's going to try to be back above the three and take three in that right-hand side pocket. Draws it back. Is it going to clip the six and go in the side pocket? No, it's going to get just on top of the three ball. Wow. What a draw back there. As I'm trying to see here, I saw Dave shaking his head. Dave is up over there on that eight ball situation right now. That is a wild situation he's got going on there on, the, on table two. He's trying to do a one rail kick here. Nice bank by Mr. Chris there on the three ball. We don't have a lot of good options on that five. I'm assuming maybe a back cut, but I'm a little worried about that scratch. Top right hand corner pocket. Nah, he just went for the bank here to uh, send it down for a defensive shot. Snooker up with the seven almost. It's not, it's not fully snooker, but it's close to it. Try and see if there's a lull in this action. I'll make the, uh, the side view bigger again for you guys real fast here. 
see if we can see Dave's uh, situation. Dave with a great hit right there. All right. What's up, Moscone? How you doing, brother? What's up? You, you care if I call you that on stream, by the way? Is that okay with you? No, of course, man. Okay. All right. I That's just what everyone sure. else calls me anyways. <laughs> I, I figured as much, and plus, we, we, we got our home crew on, on the stream, so I figured they, they would relate better to you. Um, so I was trying to fill them in here real fast, but for anybody just joining us as well at home, you guys deserve to know this, too. Um, this is not uh, a repeat of the stream. Um, this is literally live right now. Uh, I know Deja Vu feels like it's happening and as if it couldn't be real, but it is legitimately the exact same two matchups that was happening earlier. I mean, we we're talking about not even probably a couple hours ago. Right. Um, before they got to this point, uh, Wesley lost against Chris earlier. Um, and if I remember correctly, Dave won his match against uh, Mark over there. And right now, um, Dave is up 3 nothing, from what I understand, if I see correctly. I know they're still on eight balls, so it shouldn't be too far off. And uh, Wesley and Chris are tied 3-3 three to three. overall team score, 6-3 to three, um, right this second. So how's your day going, sir? Good, man, good. Good. I worked this morning, came here. That's funny. Um, when I got here, Chris and uh, Wesley were actually playing. So yeah. that's the match that you were just talking about. So um, good, though, man. Always fun to come to a tournament, watch these pool players play. Yeah, it's nice because there, there's not one, not two, but three divisions. So there's not one, but two, but three winners all going to Vegas. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. So I, I think this is a really good, uh, what I like to call bang for the buck type of a Saturday here. There's a lot of action happening. There is. And I got a bunch of friends on each team's here. So I'm kind of rooting for a couple people here. I got the, what the, the ladies league going on. Yeah. Who, who are you pulling for in ladies league? It's okay for you to be, be pulling for somebody, by the way. I try not to, but. Oh, yeah, no. Um. Who was it? What's their oh, name? I, I gotcha. So it's a Sisters for Misters, Golden Girls, Key Ball no, Cuties. No, Key Ball Cuties. Key ball that's cuties. what it okay, is. Yeah, right. Key Ball Cuties. And that's, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, that's Sam's team, right? Sam. Yeah. Um, I think Rachel's on that one. Rachel. Yep. Yeah, Ann Lane. Mama Lane. Mama Lane. I think, yeah, so they're in the finals now. When does that start? Uh, so, um, I, well, nope, they're not ready for the finals yet. Uh, table four and five still playing, but um, as soon as they get to the finals, if, if it works out, and I've been trying not to overpromise, but if it works out, we may be able to stream all three finals. So we got Padawan Masters now. Yep. I think we may end up having Jedi Masters next and then women's on the, the final final, um, but we'll see how it works out again. I don't want to overpromise, and I'm, I can't look at Marianne and be like, hey, hold them back an hour, although they've been playing and ready to get done and get home. So we'll see if it, if it can happen, but I would adore to have all three finals on the live stream today. Yeah, it should work out. It should work yeah. out. I mean, all right, Wes with the nine ball there. He yeah. goes up, what, 4-3 now? 4-3, yeah. Sweet. Which he, he's he's keeping the lead. Um, that's that's the part that's a little different than this. Uh, Chris started running away at, at one point. Um, if I remember correctly, Chris was up 4-1 to one was the overall score oh, wow. uh, last time. And here we are almost dead even. So, uh, you know, Wesley's not playing from behind. And he's coming with a vengeance, man. You should have seen some of the shots he's been taking and, and going after. The only thing that was a little weird, but I, I trust Wes to go for him. I've seen him make it. Is there was a little weird. I think it was like a 3-9 combo situation, and he just barely missed it. But uh, past that, everything else has been running smooth. And our, our boy Chris here had a uh, very nice uh, nine on the snap as well. So Nine on the snap. Yeah, nine can't on the snap. Can't beat it. No, you can't. And, and that was huge, too, because it was 3-0. It was Chris won that right number four. So then it was 3-1 and then got the nine on the snap, which automatically made it 3-2. 
And so now they've both taken one rack since all that shenanigans was happening. But I think I think Wes uh, is playing my favorite game here, and that's called Revenge Pool. Revenge Pool, yes. Yeah, it's it's a thing, man. Oh. It gets you fired up. Did he just make it in that bottom right-hand corner pocket? Oh. No, he missed it. Probably take a little bit more time on that shot. Yeah. Kind of rush it a little bit. Jake trying to give him some uh, some words of encouragement there. I see him heading on to him. There you go. Yeah, Wes, Wes is uh, – he's got to be proud about this matchup. Like, he, he definitely does. But I know that if I was feeling it and I knew this was the finals, I would be feeling all the pressure of every bit of this right now. Got the four to the side. Should come down for the five in the corner pocket here. Slow down, slow down. Slow down or speed up one, yeah, <laughs> one, one or the one. other. <laughs> You, you ain't got to hold the brakes and the gas pedal at the same time there, key ball. Come on. Goodness gracious. That's been a wild thing, too, as well. I, I'm trying to think when the felt was last redone on these, but I feel like these tables are running maybe a little faster than what I'm, I'm used to seeing them run. Yeah. So That's what I've noticed. It's, it's been an interesting day because I, I do know, and, and for those that, that play out here in Florida as well, you know, we're, we're, we're no stranger to dealing with the, the humidity outside, changing how the tables play for us during a day, and um, you know, right now we don't really have too much humidity going on outside. It's been a beautiful day, so. Oh, Wes. No. That pocket's killing him. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> he, needs, he needs to yell at me like, you're killing me, Smalls. This should be pretty routine here. Oh, we Ooh. missed it. They both oh, are, Oh, look man. at this leave, though. Got a favorite leave on that one. Yeah, he did. You either spin this one in, you just play defense, just leave it on the long rail, cue ball on the short rail. Yeah, I like that. Just, just, oh, just no, kicking at it. For it. Oh, you don't kick at things you can see. When you make it, though. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, he would have been a hero right there had he made it. But yeah. But you, yeah, rule one of Fight Club, other than not talking about Fight Club, is you, you don't kick at things you can see. Yeah, no, that's a... Uh, I'm not there yet yeah. where, you know, I'm confident to where if I can see the ball, trust me, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a hit it. I like your defense, though. I, I like when, when you can do an easy, smooth defense because, guys, Muscombe wasn't talking about moving the ball as much, like, at mm -mm. all. And when you can do a smooth defense like that, that's huge. Yeah. Now, I will say, Chris, though, out of the two of them, I, I would trust Chris to be the better banker between the two of them. I, I trust Wesley for the combos. I trust Chris for the banking um, between them. East. East. Well, here yeah, might be a bank. Let, yeah, me, let he, me see where he's at. He, he loves banking. I, I think he crossed I've actually, into the right hand side. I've never met Chris. I haven't seen his game today. So only this first time I've ever seen him shoot. He he definitely. Um, I, I loved how chat was like. Let me know that, that he may be like a skill level eight here soon. Two rails. Oh, still didn't get it. I expected that shot, but I, I totally thought he was going to have it. But yeah, Chris. Uh, Chris has earned his uh, his ranking without a doubt. He is a skill level seven with Wes, and Chat was saying that he may be an eight here in the very near future. Yeah, um, we love it. Yeah, love seeing it. I, I like seeing uh, people you know earn their way on up. Oh, nice shot, Wes. And he still gets good on that left hand side of it. Very well played. Wow, what a leave. Watch that side pocket. Yep, smooth. Hey, Smitty, I got the one and only Mr. Moscone over here with me. There he is. All right, team watch this is up overall eight to three right now. Um, I have not seen uh, Mark get a rack over there against Dave. And that's gonna, looks like it's gonna rain uh, true again. I believe Dave is up four nothing. I'll try and see if I can get that update from Jake here in a moment whenever he uh, switches back over to his chair. But if so, that's, uh, that's massive, man. Absolutely massive. So this cue ball, it's uh, Aramis, right? Yes. Yes, sir, it sure is. I think that's the one they play with in Vegas, too. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you're right about that. I like it. I like it a lot. It plays different for sure. Yep. Um, I don't know. Some days I love it, and then some days I have mixed feelings <laughs> yeah. about it. It's like ah. it, <laughs> it rolls a little bit weird. It seems like it's a little bit heavier, but I think they're all pretty I, standard. I, I think it is a little bit heavier. I think you're right about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not awesome. sure. I think that may be the reason I uh, I like it is because I believe it is a little a little heavier. Looks like we got a little problem with the score maybe. As long, as long as they don't ask me for the score, I uh, yeah. 
I cannot be, uh, I, I just simply look for them to tell me. Um, we cannot use the live stream as a, a score confirmation. Uh, they're supposed to be playing eight ball, it looks like. And they broke oh, they nine are. ball. That's what they it are, was. that's right. Oh, yeah. Yep, you sure are. My bad. <laughs> West says he still wants that to count because he made eight out of break. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, good catch. No, I didn't even realize that's what they were uh, what they were talking about. I thought they were questioning the score for a second, but they were just simply questioning because eight racks of nine ball have been played. So we will finish out in uh, in all eight ball fashion over here. And then the other table will be uh, switching over after this rack is done. Now, in, in the Masters format, let's say you win the lag. Are you someone that's going to take the break, or are you choosing the format? And if you choose format, which format are you choosing? Well, it depends that's on if you go. know your player. Mm -hmm. um, if I feel like I might have an advantage over this player, yeah. um, I'm probably choosing nine ball. Ah, I'm okay. Go ahead and go okay. out, get on the board, and then play the strategic game with the eight ball. Slow it I down like a it. little bit. Um, but with my skill level, I mean, I don't really know, man. I mean, just let me shoot some balls, probably. Right. I don't know what. I mean, what is what is the advantage of uh, you know either picking to to take the break or or the format? Do you know any of them? I don't. So I don't play Masters that you know often. I'll say just based more so, especially because I, I haven't done a lot of commentary for Masters, sure, right? Sure. Sure. Um, and I, I played Little Padawan for a short while. Um, however, when I was in Montreal specifically, um, people were always choosing the break. And uh, okay. then the opponent was always choosing eight ball. Eight ball. Okay. No matter what, I don't think we saw one time on the live stream that they started nine ball. Period. No ifs, ands, or buts. I don't think I ever saw it happen. So what? Um, so who? So they chose nine ball on this one first, though, right? Yep, they Obviously. went nine ball first. So they finished their eight who, racks of nine who, ball. Who picked that one? Um, I know Wesley for sure won the lag. I don't know if he chose the format. Okay. I'll be upfront with you. I'm not 100 percent sure who chose the format. Um, but I, I always find it interesting because I, I feel like. Statistically, I used to be better in eight ball than I was in nine. Now, obviously, we, we, we play, you know, on Mondays and Tuesdays and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I play a, a lot more nine ball, and my statistics in the nine ball have, in, have increased to where now I'm technically better in that than I am in eight. Um, yeah, yeah. What'd you lose? Two, uh, one, one match <laughs> this session? <laughs> I, uh, I won 15 out of 21 mass, uh, matches total between Monday and Tuesday combined. Yeah, sweet, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, That's it's awesome. huge. It's huge. I, uh, I, I want that skill level five. I'm ready to earn it. And my, my only worry, I know it's going to be in the back of my mind, is when I earn it about keeping it, I don't want to go down. Um, so I'm already adding that pressure to myself. i got to get over that. Um, I may win my next match after that. I may lose. It, it may happen. Um, but I just need to play my game. No, you shoot well enough. I mean, from the times I've played you, you know, me being a skill level five and you being a four, it's, it's so tough to spot you some balls. So, um, I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, I got respect for you, too, man. It's always fun, too. And you take, yeah. you love the game. It's passionate. And you want to win, too. Yes, I, every every time. <laughs> every time. Like, I, I won't tell people, too. There, there's some people that are like, do you really think you win against that person? Like, if you ask me on an honest situation and on an honest day about certain things, I'll go and tell you, like, whether or not I honestly think I can beat somebody realistically. Sure. Um, but uh, I'm going into that match, and in my brain I'm saying I can beat them. Period. Yeah, 100%. Like, 100 like, no matter what. You should. So. You should. Smitty says, I got the set. Let's go, Smitty. Come on, bud. You got the set. <laughs> Dude, it, it freaking uh, J Money w was making me one. I was like, I feel like I'm mishearing you there. And he said in a race to five, I got four on the wire. And I'm like, and, and no slop and, or anything like that. And he's like, yeah, no slop. We'll call everything if you want. I said, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, I don't. Five one race? Yeah, five one <laughs> race. And I'm like, the odds are, I, I'm, I just, I even told him, I said, I must be mishearing you. He's like, I'm speaking English. I'm like, I, yeah. I know, I know what words you're saying, but was I feel like there's a fine print I'm missing on something. Yeah. There ain't no way you're going for that batch. He's like, yeah, let's go. Was he, was he drinking? Uh, he, I mean, he's had, a, he's had a couple. Oh, that was today? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was today. <laughs> and it was even more funnier because he said it has to be on the nine foot. I was like, broski, yeah. I adore the nine foots now. Yeah. Like, if you would have asked me that a session ago, I'd be like, nah, mm mm, no. Nope, we just nope. played a whole session on nine footers now. Yeah. Cue ball Tuesdays. Yeah, I love it. I love the nines. And I, I adore the nines just because of um, the fact that it used to worry me. I had a uh, bad experience at Nine Ball Heaven during one of the triangles, and, and we lost the first round or the first matchup in the match of a five. And I was like, all right, I'm captain of the team. I got I to gotta bring back for us. And, dude, I'm telling you, I couldn't make balls to save my life. I think I was still in single digits against my opponent when they got their 31. 
and oh, I no. never felt I do I've never felt so defeated in my life. It's like ever. A 18 2 19 yes. 1 something. Yeah. yeah. Like I I absolutely crushed it uh, for for my team even really having a chance after that. Real. And, and and as a captain, right? You, yeah. Like you like you're like, "Oh, wow." And so like I strayed away from them. And then when I knew about Monday nights cuz I needed to switch from having Wednesdays to to playing Mondays. And I was like, "Okay, cool. Nine ball nine ball doubles. That's great." And they were like, "Yeah, it's on the nine floors." I was like, "Oh, that's not so great." Oh, what did like who who made that decision? That was that was a horrible decision. Ooh, good shot. That was nice. Really good um, shot. He might have a chance to get out here soon. I think he does. I think the four in the left hand side, two at the bottom left, eight in the top uh, left. Yeah, it sucks. You got to shoot the eight past that pocket though. You typically don't want to shoot it past that pocket. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, oh. He's all right. Yeah, he made it better for him now. I think. Um, but yeah, so I I, I, I stayed away from the nine footers, whereas now because of having the full session on them for both Monday and Tuesday nights because on Tuesday in OG Key Ball for those who don't know we play nine on the nine footers eight on the eight footers and you can have a team in one side or the other you don't have to do both if you don't want want to if, if so it kind of works like double jeopardy like we're all used to having um, but yeah a whole session on nine footers and now when I get on anything else that's not nine like shoot so much better yeah it feels like I'm cheating almost yeah. like I'm like, I'm yeah, like yeah, what yeah. happened like yeah it definitely improved your game yeah 100% it does so I this highly recommend it. Yeah, this eight ball, you check it down. You got to shoot this with confidence. You got take. You still taking the top left hand corner, right? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, I'm, I'm draining this. Just all the way down, all the way down. You, you can even go into the, the long rail to, with the good, you know, not too much speed. I call this the voice Jackson with full dog walking service because I'm just take that yeah. dog right there for the walk all the way down, smooth as can be. Smooth. Smitty, I'm I'm down to, to play you, brother. That'd be fun. I love you, anyways, man. You're good peeps. He's still calling him, but is he? Okay, I feel like he's, he's he on the right angle for it. Like it. It looked like he was over. No. Yeah, he was over on it. Okay. Yeah, that angle looked off, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Got a favored roll hmm. out of it, though. Kind of tied some balls up, made it tough for West. I think I'm defensing here with the 10, hitting the right-hand side of it, hopefully getting a little breakaway between that and the 15. Yeah, that and the 15. Yeah, if you can see enough. Of the 15, I'll just put this ball up table with Norris to short, short rail, like that. Uh, don't wear it too much anyway. Yeah, see, that's not bad, but I mean yeah, that's that's still a tough cut. Eight cut it, table. bank it. I mean, the bank's almost dead there. Because eight's only a diamond off of that short rail, only yeah. diamond up. So, yeah, he could go for the bank. The bank, might, mm. I don't like it, but I don't either. I know but some people. I mean, some but people the leave on the cue ball though. If, if you play like a two-way, if you leave the key ball sitting against this bottom short rail and try to bank it, let it clearly open up the angle anyways, hit it smooth. Yeah, he's calling the bank. Yeah, I, I think I think this acts as a two-way for him. He's, he's going to fire though. it, though. Yeah, he is. I love it. You and I both say, uh, say he's going to pop. You say he's going to he fire it. Made it. Wow, what a <laughs> bank. Great shot. Man. Great shot. Woo. Yeah. I mean, see, that's, a, that, that's the thing with defense. I mean, um. I mean, I would have played defense there, too, and you take your medicine on that one. Good Either shot. Way, Dave has another one. I think it is 5-0 in favor of him, so I need to update that. And warranty expired only with four points. Team Watch This is getting away. Even if Wes can get uh, get one more here, even if he ends up losing overall, they will have a, a commanding lead right now. Oh, so what's the total here? Oh, 10-4. Ten, ten, ten to to yeah. Dave's up 5 nothing. Wes is up 5-4. to four. This is massive here. Dom, what's going on, Miss Grady? How you doing? There's Dakota's mama in chat. Watch the eight ball. Oh. Yeah, I think. Seven ball went, six ball steps up. Let's see, Fadi like cutting that in and trying to block the bottom right hand corner pocket. I don't know, Fadi. I think I think the bank worked as a, a better two way. I just I didn't like him firing it the way he did. I thought he lost a little control. I would have hit it smooth and Left the key ball towards that bottom, maybe bottom short rail. Let it come up just a tiny bit, but. I mean, he hit it, he hit it good. He did, he, he hit it so smooth. And plus he banked, like literally if I had to bet money right now, and if it was a game of banks of Wes versus Chris, I'm gonna bet on Chris right now based on what I've seen, 100%. Okay. We don't do betting in APA by the way, but just to let you guys know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's gonna be texting me here in a moment. Tim, I'm like, I'm sorry. But yeah, I like Wes's breaks as long as he doesn't lose control of the key ball. I think he has the better break between the two. I think Wes is the better combo master, so nine ball I think favored him more than Chris. 
but I think Chris uh, overall has ability and, and knows how to let his stroke out when he needs to more or is more yeah. comfortable to. And Can you see this four? It's tough. I'm, I'm, I want to peek over. He's getting down. I was about to. He might overcut it. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Mm. Couldn't tell from the angle on the stream. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like the four in the. All right, so the ten's, ten's kind of messed up here. Yep. What's that, the uh, 11 on the rail there? Not too bad. The 10 ball's really the only problem I see. Yeah, that's that's the overall problem. So take out the 11 here. I kind of like going after the 11. I, I kind of like clearing off part of the table, working my way back. Yeah. I, uh, Kevin was trying to think of uh, who it was during the live stream, but he's like, somebody told me, he's like, one side's the, the trash and one side's the garden. The trash you want to get cleared out of the way ASAP, and then you go <laughs> tend to the garden afterwards. So. Because I, I was taught um, by one of my captains that you know you kind of split the table in half and yeah 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 you know you work your you clear out one side and then you work on the other. That's how I do it. Yeah, it just works so much better. Like it, it, it just really does. I, I don't know any other way to explain it, you guys, but I think it just gives you better chances. Yeah, you never want to never want to keep back going and up and down, yeah. up and down, up and down. Yeah, it just makes things too difficult. Ball is moving too much. You got to shape. Now you got to get back in shape. And typically, when you got to shape, you keep getting more and more out of shape. Typically. Yeah. Can he get the breakout here? Yeah, this will break it out. Smooth. What a good hit by Wes. Yeah. Wow. What a breakout. I mean, I'm stopping this. I'm shooting the 12 stop shot, and then I'm going to take the 10. Mm, I love that. Actually, I like the angle with that. Key ball replaces that 10 right there. That is a nice angle for, for the 12. I'm sorry. Yeah, the 12. 10 is at the bottom He's right, guys. He's going to take the 12. I mean, he might. He should miss the three ball. No, he missed. No. He didn't hit the three ball. Yeah, let's see. Matt Leonard saying, "What's up to you there?" He's on the YouTube side. Say hi to oh, Matt Leonard. Oh, what's yeah. up, my man? Yeah, he just listens, Brian. But it's, I promise, just Matt Leonard. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I just seen him for the first time in uh, shoot months. I feel like. Yeah, I love seeing like I always think back to like Cami, Dennis, Matt, a lot of them, and the the OGs that I, I first got a chance to meet. It's funny, uh, Jose and I were talking the other day. He's like, yeah, he's like, you know the Rev? I was like, yeah, I know the Rev. Rev was one of the first people I ever met <laughs> playing pool. I was like, so much so that I only ever knew her as the Rev. And when somebody called her Maria, I was like, I don't know who that is. And they were like, you don't know Maria? I'm like, I don't think so. I was like, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. And they're like, the Rev? I'm like, no, I know the Rev. I was like, I don't know who this Maria is. And they were like, it's the same person. The same person. I'm like, quit messing with me. I was like, she doesn't have a, a regular name. She's the Rev. That's what she will forever be. I feel like most people in here got nicknames. Get your little APA nickname. Yeah, you got to. I think I think it's kind of like a rite of passage here. So he can put some inside on this one. Kind of come out for that four ball. Oh, he Ooh. stopped it. I guess oh. he was really straight. I wonder what his angle is on this four, though. It, it goes it in the side. Yeah, but it looks straight to With me. With this tight pocket. Yeah. I would, I would rather be at a drift back up table if, if he has the angle, but I feel like he's. The issue, I think, is I think the cue's going to roll into the, the 12 ball. I don't mm. know if he's going to have a shot on the eight. We'll see if his banking skills comes back out again to tie this up. If not, he better not let West back to the table, and I'll say that about both see, of them. Yeah. That's the, that's what I was talking yep. about. It's going to roll into the 12 and kind of cut off that angle for the eight. Now, now you can. There's two ways to play it. You can you can play defense. Mm -hmm. You can put the cue on the middle diamond on the back row, yep. leave them tough, or you go for your bank shot in the bottom left or bottom right hand corner. I mean that's that's a sellout though. Yeah, I, th I think that is a sellout because if you're gonna make that, you gotta let the angle open. You probably gonna use a little bit of right to do so. He's gonna play defense. It looks like. There we go. Ah, uh, see. Uh. Yeah, both those stripes lead to, or that, uh, what's that, 12 on the left? I always want to keep mixing them up here from our luck here. But that 12. top left, yeah, that top left hand corner pocket, I mean, he's going to hit the right-hand side of this ball, drift up table, back down. Yeah. Yeah. This is missable, though. It is. It is. This is not a gimme. But for these guys and how they're shooting, I would not want to, I wouldn't want to, to go up against either of them and be like, I'm 100% certain you're not going to make this shot. No, I mean, yeah. little bottom, no, he's going to roll it. See, that's what that, that that does that all the time. Yeah, that top it's he the same top left hand corner pocket too. He he's rattled that one a lot. Look, he got a good roll. I, out of that I think one. he did. Yeah. 
And you can jump in this, right? So yes, sir. So you might be jumping this ball. And Chris Chris has done a great job jumping, too. He, he proved it, I think, three times on the uh, last stream, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Now, if he would have made that 12, he was out. Yeah. He was out. Shoot the 10 and the 8 in the same pocket. I think of the difference in the pressure this feels being up 6-4 versus it being 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, yes. it's a big swing. Yep, Smitty's saying too hard. Yeah, it looks definitely like he was. can see a, an edge of it. He must be able to. He does a, it doesn't go. He's calling it, though. I, I'm pretty sure he pointed in the bottom left. Yeah, he did. This would be if, sick. If this goes, I'm a little surprised. He Camera made it. lied to us. Wow. Wow, he did. Goodness wow. gracious. Good shot, Chris. Nicely done. Yeah, I, I mean, the stream didn't do me any favors on that one. It looked like he was hooked. Yeah, it did. Camera added five pounds to that 12 ball. <laughs> Made it look bigger than what it was. <laughs> all in all, great shot, man. Here we go, 5-5. Yeah. 5-5, five, five. Five, five, yeah. Yeah, I, I like this. This is this is a, a way better matchup between these two. This has been very enjoyable. Where are we at on the other one? Uh, I think it's still in favor of Dave, 5-0. I haven't seen a, another rack here. Um question are they on nine ball because they should be on nine ball I can't tell yeah and I can't either here let me at the moment I don't see any stripes oops wrong one here I don't want to miss this break here guys I'm gonna I'm gonna enlarge it here in just a second so the stripe on the break okay. all right let's take a quick gander over here four six is tied up he made a stripe I, I believe yeah he did yeah, yeah. there's there's nothing but uh there's only nine ball left on that tail, so I'm pretty sure. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so warranty expired. Where do they play out of? Great question here. I'm going to cheat real fast and see if my handiest of dandiest APA apps will, uh, will tell me. Well, I mean, they're masters, so all the masters, um, I think they rotate. If I remember correctly, or do they just play strictly out of uh, one... Well, no, I'm, I'm trying to think now. I know I've seen them at Nine Ball Heaven. I think they're at Nine Ball Heaven, if I remember correctly. Nine Ball Heaven? Yeah. Because when, when I was doing Padawan, all the teams were at Nine Ball Heaven. I don't think they rotate, actually. I, I take that back. I'm like 99% 99, 99 sure they're all. See, I like shooting the 15 first. Wow, I just looked up two, by the way. Warranty expired was the winners in the uh, division. They were first. And he played it off the two. Not a bad shot. Good job for Warranty expired for winning the uh, division. The division? Yeah, Warranty Spire was number one in the division. Sweet, man, congrats. That uh, that that should bode well for them for this. No guarantees, but they, they're, they're the champions to take out. That's crazy. Seven ball. Small miss right there. I don't know if he did that on purpose with how the, the situation's kind of towards this bottom left hand of the, of the table here. Look at all the mess. I feel like he's an aggressive player. I don't know. I do agree. I, I do think Wes is more more gas pedal than brake pedal. Oh, mm. The eight ball get him. <clears throat> this is really wild here. You should move that 12 ball. Oh. I feel like he wanted to. I'm a little surprised he withheld his stroke there. I felt like he wanted to hit that a little harder. He can still drain that 12 in the bottom right, but then yeah. what happens with the 6 4 situation? I mean, he kind of got the you. The right? set up, he, but I don't want to, I wouldn't want to mess up the, um, what is it, the 4 6 here? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to touch that. I mean, that the off way this rack, it's leaning in, into Chris's favor at the moment. He's in control. I mean, he has this, he broke it out. Mm. Broke it out and missed. Yeah. Although it may not look like much, guys, that is a, a way bigger opportunity for Wes. He can go out to this 3-7 and come on back down table for the rest. Yeah, he can't punch this ball. Just lag speed. He stroked Ooh. it. That's the issue with stroking that ball. He made it probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I would have taken a freebie there. Yeah, I would I would have smooth stroked yeah. that. Just let it come off the top short round, come back. Yeah, there's no reason to stroke it. And I see Dave winning another one here. Oh. So that may be 6-0 if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly for their score right now. That's huge. Yeah. 
that means Dave's on the hill if that's, if that's the case here. I'm trying to look over at Jake's. He might actually be typing in, in chat right now as we speak. He's over there on his phone. I'll see if I can get him to look over at me. Man, this Man. rack. In the finals, imagine one of your teammates getting a 7-0 win against somebody. That's strong. Mm. That, that's, that's, a, that's a nail in the coffin. Yes, 7-0 <laughs> in the finals. You are buying a plane ticket almost. It is 6 to 1. For six, to one 6 to 1. 6 to 1. That doesn't change much, though. I will update the overall team score, though. So it is 11 to 6 in the overall team score. Put a little outside on this. You should be able to rate those balls up to 12 and 9, like that. Didn't work as well as he was probably hoping for, but I agree you had to you had to hit it that way anyways. And then kind of kind of take the leave that you that you have. I wonder if that 12 ball banks past the five. Ooh, I'm surprised he hasn't already looked at that with how much it likes banks. I think you may be right. I think the 12. Yeah. I think the five is kind of in the way. I can't tell from um, the stream. The five looks like it's just a tiny bit above that that middle diamond on the left hand long rail. I think you're right. I, I think it banks. I think it banks all day long. You might be looking at it. I think my only worry here is I'm gonna put a little bit outside still on it. And open uh, it up. Yeah, open up just a tiny bit, but I'm afraid of the nine and it kick carrying off into the bottom left hand corner pocket. That would be my fear if it, if it takes too well. Well, the issue though is if you do play that and you leave the ball down here mm -hmm. near the short rail, I mean, he has three balls there that he can. He's shooting a nine. Oh, oh he's no. Wes is going to have a huge opportunity here. Normally, again, I would say take care of uh, part of your other end of the table, but that six ball gets him to the eight. I'm leaving that six long. I think that's going to be my final ball. you got to do something with these balls here, the two, four, the seven. Yeah, you got a cluster here towards the bottom short rail. Major cluster here. Um, you don't want to shoot combos. I wonder if the two – I wonder if you can get behind the two first. I, no, see, he's going to shoot. Yeah, I kind of like being close to the two and hitting up towards the four, and that way I have a little mm, – no, it's going to get weird for the seven then. Oh, this is a tough scenario. I wonder if he's going to run into the seven and open it up a little bit. Stun over to yeah, it. Yeah, stun over. Yeah, he's pulling it down. Yeah. He got a hold of the two. Uh, he might be able to work with that because of where the five is. He might actually be able to do something with that. He might use the two as his last ball. He might seven bottom left. Key ball is going to come back up table or it's going to get a hold of the, the nine. And then he'll still have the five or six potentially if it fully clips the nine, he definitely still has a two. I think he's still got an opportunity here just fine. I mean, he can shoot the seven, but that, I just don't want to take that shot right now. It's yeah, a tough I think shot. you almost have to, though. Yeah, it's Come it's back it's up tough. for the six ball. Oh, oh. No scratch. Not a bad lead for the seven. Yeah. The 12 ball is kind of locked up now. I mean, that's the, the 12 ball goes in the other. I mean, 12 ball. I felt like that ball in hand had one of those scenarios where we could come up with ten different ways to play it. Like we posted in like a, a billiards magazine, be like, which yeah. way do you, which way do you handle these three specifically? <laughs> I think stunning into it was the shot. It's yeah. just uh, maybe less speed. Yeah, I, I definitely like that idea. Yeah, see, he's gonna have to leave his nine ball in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Just kind of just take your medicine on that one. I wonder if he can actually still still clip it all he's the way in. Fire yeah. It uses enough bottom here that it should turn top oh, for the nine and shot. follow it, and it does. Great shot. Guys, when you use that bottom right there on the cue ball, it's going to turn into top on the object ball that he hits and right. then hopefully follow the next one in, and it sure as yeah. sure French toast did. That was you nice. You can do that when it's straight in almost. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a perfect scenario type deal. It's a perfect day for a picnic. No rain, no yeah. good good weather type deal. There should, shouldn't be no scratch here. Top left. This is gonna be a big rack if he can get this. He'll mm -hmm. he'll 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 go up. Well, he's putting draw. He missed. Oh no! It's still Same going. Pocket. Look at that, four rails. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, but the runouts here six in the left, five bottom uh, left here. Uh, yeah, two balls or four, whatever that is. I mean, you right. can shoot the six, float down for the two. Just smooth it. Don't don't even float nothing. Just smooth. Just like that. Float down for the two ball. Oh, Is I he hit straight that though? Yeah, I would hit that with. Well, he's got a little angle for for the two, but I would have just like barely tapped that in. You didn't like floating down to the no, two ball next? No, no, no. I, I want to take the five. Hundred percent. I would have barely. Well, I would have. I can speed that that six in. 
yeah. all day long. Yeah, if you had the angle on the two to come out. I'm not in disagreement, but there, there was yeah. an easier way to accomplish that. I, I think you had to work harder because of the two. Man, that's a back cut this ball. Actually, Never easy. I actually like the back cut. Yeah. That's where it is. I, I've been he getting used it. to him. He missed it. The, oh, the, the stretch, I think him stretching may have, may have caused that. I'm shooting to a blind pocket. I, I, I think we got some fans over there of us on the live stream here. <laughs> Pudding over there giving, Pudding. Us, giving us some winks here. What's he trying to tell me? Try. There you go. Yeah, I was worried if he stroked it hard if he was scratching on that one. Very what we nice got? 6-5. 6-5 overall. 11-7. to seven. Is anybody racking over there on the top table? Nope, nobody yet. Aunt Gail, I love you too. That's my uh, my auntie right there. My Aunt Gail right there in chat. What's up, auntie? Does she tune in often? Every time almost? She, she tries to she tries <laughs> to come in. Yeah, I uh, I don't want to bring up some sore, sore subject, but I feel like you out of anybody can appreciate this. Um, that's my mom's sister. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so er, ever since uh, my mom isn't here with us anymore, and ever since then, Aunt Gail has, uh, has stepped in and come into my streams to show me love and support every single time. That's beautiful, man. Yep, yep, it means a lot. I bet it does, man. I think on here I'm trying to still get this. Uh, oh, watch this eight ball. Oh, drifting that left-hand side pocket. <laughs> I think he made a stripe. Chris's breaks like scare me. I, I would, I, I fear him being being the one to break. Dave, right here, on table number two, up six to one here with the potential to final. Ooh, finalize this. Good lord, I'm Justin. Beat up. That that rang on on the stream here. Wow. Getting beat up by money. Yeah, J, J Money. Slap, he's slapping he's the money out of you. So they give you four on the wire, race to five. If you hate money. Yeah. <laughs> if you hate money. <laughs> this man's funny as I'll get out. J Money actually, again, one of the OGs that I ever first met in pool and was on the OG cancel Christmas team with, with him and, and Sam and, and Jake Warner when we were all together and went to Vegas as a team, man. That was a good time. I, th I think we're fixing to see a, a change of pace for Wes here. I, I think he's going to get a stroke back in. He's just got to, he's got to forget that top left-hand corner pocket and all the the rattles in it. Yeah, I mean, there's some work to do on this table though. If you look at yes, there this is set up here. The eight balls all is that behind. two solids with three stripes in that left-hand uh, cluster with the eight ball. That's Am I right. saying that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, uh, that's a mess. Yeah. Uh, sorry guys, I'm going to pull over the uh, other stream real quick here. I think this is potential for Dave for the win. I think uh, Jake confirmed me it was six one, you know, so it would be seven to one. Dave on the nine. Missed it. Small miss, Dave. Hung it. Is it right in the center pocket? Yeah. Yeah. So what? If he makes this, it'll be eleven to eight. Yep, it'd be eleven to eight. Working. Yep. Working back into it. Yeah, and, and he's got to. I mean, especially with this being point space the way it is. Yep. There it is. So it is six to two. Still in favor of Dave here. Let me get the scores updated. And overall, eleven to eight. I know you are, Aunt Gail. I know you are. I love you. Miss you. Hope you're well. Say hi to the family for me. Man, mm. with the way this is going, I feel like we're gonna be here till midnight. So I, I thought that was going to be the case for, for a moment there, but hopefully what happens is after this is done, maybe I have just a minute because I'm going to have to reboot stream. We're going to be at the eight-hour mark, and Facebook will kick me off no matter what. Is that what mark. it is, eight yeah, hours? Yeah, eight hours. They, they just – and they, they don't even tell you. You're just like, where did everybody go? What happened? And then you realize you've been talking to yourself for a moment, and you see that it's at the eight-hour mark. You're like, okay, Facebook, I got you. I, I, I hear you. Um, so I'm going to need to reboot stream anyway. So what I'm praying happens is that uh, – Jedi Masters will be ready to go. I'll have a couple minutes just to hit end stream, give it a second, reboot it right back up, and then for us to do the finals. And I'm praying as you know, as fast as they get done. That oh, you scratch. That was a good shot, though. Yes, it was. I'm praying as fast as they could possibly get done. That they get done, and then we go right to the ladies' Masters and we call it a night. But I was with you. I thought it was going to be midnight, and it still, still could be. It's not impossible. So. Well, we got three finals. We got you know this one obviously going on here, and then we got the ladies, and then we also have the um, the other Masters here. Yep, hundred percent. I wonder where they're at. I, I, speaking of the other Masters, that was <laughs> what was it? Semifinals, I guess, or uh, no, uh, no, to get to get to the semifinals. The, yeah, the, the one, hot uh, seat match. Alex versus Kevin. Man, yeah, that was intense. brutal. 
That was intense. What's up, Pud? What's up, man? You all right? Jose asking who's hanging out with me. I'll let this man do his own introductions here. You want to say hi to the Jose right there? Cordero? Who's Jose? Oh, Jose. What's up, my man? <laughs> Moscone on the mic. They have that radio voice like you do. Hold on. You're trying to say we're too, too, uh, too handsome sounding to, to be on uh, TV? <laughs> Fun fact, I always love telling people this, too, as well. For a short while in college until I, I broke away and started doing stuff for Best Buy, I actually was in radio in college for a short while. Really? Yeah, hundred percent. That's awesome. Hundred percent. Had a had a good time, and I bet it was a lot of fun. It was. It, it definitely was. It was the on-campus radio station for uh, Valdosta State. Valdosta. Yep. When I was in uh, high school, each morning we had. I'm, I, I think almost every school does this. Like they, you got your, like your morning broadcast. Oh yeah. The little morning announcements. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was on there one time. We had. I played on the baseball team. Mm. And they had us on there because we had a game that night. Maybe it was homecoming. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it was so funny. I mean, we just – I enjoyed it. It's definitely good. Jose said I didn't say it out loud. Jose, you're too funny. No, I love, uh, love making that joke. They're, they're people, too handsome to be on TV? Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll be like, man, you do just such a good job just over the live stream and everything. I'm like, you're trying to say I'm uh, – <laughs> I, got, I got a face built for radio. Is that what you're trying to say? They're like, no, 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 I, di I didn't mean it like that. I'm like, I'm just messing with you. It's funny. It's all good, I promise you. I'm making jokes on myself. I still love the fact that all three of these divisions mm, are just coming to a close. He, he gave the wave, but but Wes is shaking his head. He's got to feel it, though. There's been a couple of times that. He's on the hill. Yeah, well, well, Chris has gotten lucky with those couple times. Now, please understand this does not take away from his skill um, because I think even without the lucky, like, couple lucky makes that he's had, um, he still would be doing as well as he's doing. Um, but you know if you're, you're his opponent, Scrap. you got to be like, oh, man. Yes, yeah, brutal. Especially when you need this next rack. Mm -hmm. JT in there saying money. What's up, JT? Mr. FBRD himself. Love you guys. Keep being awesome. We're playing some D&D, uh, &D, so sign off for now. <laughs> Jose, you go enjoy some D&D. &D. Roll a plus 20 for being here in stream, man. Let's go. This is uh, going to be an interesting oh. rack here. That just got super complicated. And with Chris being on the hill, what do you do here? Cut the 7 into the 14. Yeah, maybe break the 4 apart. Yeah. Oh. oh, he sold out. Mm -mm. See, this is the only downfall to Masters. I think there really is. And, and any downfall is just part of the, the play. But, man, would it have been cr critical to have a timeout just to kind of talk about all options right there. So you can put some outside on this ball. You have to stroke it, though. It's missable yes, when you start doing stuff like that, but you can go off the All right, he's going to take his medicine and go for the bank. I mean, the eight is sitting right outside the, the side pocket. I, I feel like, like you got a uh, – I mean, that angle is not there. You almost have to, like, yeah, J hit J it. Hard. You have to fire that ball in there. Yes, you do. Jake even said he said I would have given Wes a timeout. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Yep. Yep. I thought it was missable. 100. percent I'm playing defense right now. Right now. I'm hitting that four. I'm letting that cue ball drift just ever so slightly to the seven. behind that seven. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, I'm just gentle. Just cue ball's just doing a little drive by. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. Just like that. Very nicely yeah. done. That's well good. played. Smart. 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 You hate to see it if you're Chris. You love to see it if it's us. <laughs> Makes for good TV. Dave's breaking down his cue. Dave, one, seven, two. Sorry, one second. Real kick, one. Two. He hit it. Good shot. Nicely done. Nice wow. hit. Yeah, and he didn't sell out either. Look at that. No, he didn't. So uh, seven two should have been the final right over there. Uh, Jake's gonna confirm with uh, Jack to see if he's good to wait for the live stream table, so we don't have to go adjusting everything. Um, which I think I'm seeing head nods over here. So I think they're in agreement. They're gonna wait for matchup number three because this one's almost done anyways. So thank Man. you guys. Not something I would ever ask usually, but this is the finals. 
So I am gonna kill the uh, that second camera view here, guys. No need for it to be up anymore. Man, that was a great hit. That was. I um, mean, the way he left it. I mean, Jesus. It's a tough spot to be in if, if you're West. I, I'm assuming because the eight, the four is blocked, or else I'm assuming he would have already went for this shot. Yes, the. Uh, oh. There is an edge of the four that you can see. But it's just tough. Hmm. I mean, he might. If he can see the edge. Oh no. That's so tough. He can't make it. I mean, maybe if he can see the edge, maybe still. Hmm. The only thing is, if I mean, if you, he needs the eight ball sitting right there in in the pocket. I mean, if you give him any shot on that twelve ball, and he makes it. You're, I mean, that's it. He, he needs hitting the seven, like seven hooked up, and it's gonna play like an Orion's belt. He made it. Look at that. Did he make it? Oh, he most certainly did. What a shot by Wes. A little fist pump right there by him too. Very well done. He's out. He he's got the opportunity. That's for darn sure. Great shot, Wes. Nicely done. I think we're about to have Hill Hill. That's awesome. What a match, what a, a good deja vu turn of events yeah. matchup hill. And we got Hill Hill, baby, let's go. What I wanna see. What I wanna see. That's awesome. Yeah, that was, way to handle that situation. 13-8 is the overall score. Yeah. Right Man. when you hit it, right when you hit it, right when it hit the, the uh, rail, I knew it was in. Now, if Wes wins this, by the way, they will be up two to nothing in the overall wins. Very, very important because in the case of a tied score, they they can tie. Warranty expired has to win. So this yeah. is this is an important rack, not just from it being a, a five point difference in the overall team scores, but this is an important rack to make it where the, the tie doesn't lead to the win. Chris has got to get this to really give them a, a good fighting eight chance. Ball. If he gets eight on a break, I'm gonna lose nah. it. Nope. Look at this, it's a good break. Stripes are four, five, six, stripes are open. He's got both as the choice, but Yeah, it's still tough though with the uh was that the 15 and the 13, I believe? Yeah, 15, 13 mixed in with the 1 5 situation over there. Yeah. I wonder how wired that 7, looks like 7 4 combo is, because that would, I don't know if that would make my determination, but if it's wired, I would at least consider solids. If it ain't wired, no, I think it's um, solids at all. No, it's it's make it, take it, right? Well, he, ma he made each. Oh, he made each? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, he, yeah, he, he, right, he has yeah. both. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't. West loves combos, so I feel like there may well, have been something a little off with that. No, the 7 4 goes. 7 4 goes. No, yeah, he, I mean, from what I see right now, it does go, but so it's he all right. Just, he just didn't like, I guess, something between the, the 1 5 situation down here. He's moving the stripes. Three rail this. No, just go the no. 1. Keep it simple. Yep. Yep. There you go. And he has a breakout here, too. Just roll this ball. I guess the 15, I guess that 13 goes. 13 goes, yeah. Yeah, wow. He would have broke out right here. Impressive run, though. He's in control of this, Rex. See the, see the combo's on. He's going to smack this. Boop. Oh, seven sitting up there close towards the bottom, or the top short rail, I'm sorry. Yeah. I guess you got to shoot this two ball. Shoot back. into blind pocket, back yeah. cut it. I don't like this because the eight. I don't like this at all. Just play defense here. Yeah. A little outside. Look at this. Chris is playing so smooth. It, golly, this it's is awesome. It's like he's going to bank it. Uh-oh. We won't know until he moves here, but uh, if he got a hold of any of that mess, he may have just changed the whole game. And that's not. That's a great shot, actually. Look at that. Yeah. Good leaf. He's got to bust this out. Middle diamond. There. Gets around, and he does. Hmm. With the West's... Ball sitting here. What's the well, I don't know. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a 12? Purple 12? One, one, one seven twelve. yeah. Bottom left hand. Or just one into the 12. One seven twelve. Yeah, I think one seven twelve. is it. Yep. Okay, Ooh, see. It he, opened he up. He might, mm. yeah, he might have sold out. I might favor Wes on this one just because of this, I think. You can shoot the 15 in the same pocket. Yes, you can. Come off the rail, come back up, right? Off yeah. the bottom short rail? Yeah. Yep. Should, oh, he hung it. No. He yeah, was see, in he the was driver's seat. Yeah, he was going to shoot it in the same pocket, probably nope. draw out of that. Shoot the eight in the side pocket, maybe. Mm. Oh, Chris ain't, I don't Chris like ain't this. Gonna, Yeah, I don't like this at all. I don't see a need to mess with this. No. That ball cuts. I think it does. That ball cuts all day. Oh, Lord. 
can you see it from your, your where you're sitting? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the two God. and the two's got to hold it. it. Well, see, here's the issue: the eight, because the one ball is kind of in the way. Hmm. He's gonna have to shoot the eight down table. I don't see why Chris did that. I mean, that ball cuts all day. Side pocket. Oh man. I mean, it's not easy. He's gonna hit the two, but he, at least he's in the driver's seat. Oh lord. I wonder if the eight passes the one ball. I am stressing about this one. From my angle, looking oh, at the I'm table, I think the eight passes the one ball if he I'm makes this ball. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh yeah. Yeah, it definitely. The the camera's not doing it justice. He's not, he's not going to need it to. Yes, yeah, he, he is. This ball yes, passes. He is. This ball, you can play it onto the rail, into the one. Yep. Rail one. Oh, he's banking it. it. He's banking it anyways. Oh. Oh, it must, must be like a dead on base. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now nah, you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, man. Uh, what a final rack. For Chris to settle in. Oh, settle my in. Gosh. All these all these balls have a pocket. If he makes this five ball, he should be out. I won't chase yeah. this many too hard again. Yep. If West loses, this at least gives warranty expired a fighting chance. Shot. If all right, wins. you got to control the cue ball here. Yep. Yeah, it, it all boils down to this. This this is out of make or break right here. Played he it did, good. Yeah, so good. Yeah, he's out. Should be in the opposite pocket. Should win the. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That drifted up a little more than what he wanted. He can still go for it, but that's that's tougher than what it had to be. Yeah, tougher. Missable. Yeah. Yeah. Settle in, make the shot. Yep. He missed it. No, he rattles yeah. it. Yeah. See, that's tough, and it that's tough when when your partner lost the other on mm -hmm. the other table. So this will, if West gets it, this makes it fourteen to eight, <coughs> which means that they have to win seven zero. No. Yep. Yeah, team warranty expired has to win seven zero. D double check me though, but if it's 14 8, if it ties, so if the other team only gets the six, tiebreakers, most wins, team for watch this has, has the two wins. Um, yeah, it has to be a 7 0. Yeah, he played. Oh, man. Is it that one ball? Hit it too hard coming off that rail. You didn't have to play it that hard. I wonder if we're going to see Jake versus Jack again. That was how it was last time. That was a quick match. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it might be. I mean, J Jack has to do, I don't want to say the impossible, but, like, Jake was shooting lights out very well. Well, if Jake wins one rack, it's over. Yes, right? yeah, it should be. It's a seven to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Justin's confirming. One rack. That's what they're all hitting on. Okay. One rack, yeah. Yep, one rack. Okay, yeah, I got the score right then. Oh, wow. Well, mad props to Wes, by the way, for coming back and beating Chris this time around. So, good for him. You gotta make that eight ball, buddy. <laughs> Wes over here giving him props here. Yep. Yeah, I know you need one. Hey, cross bank on the seven. That's good. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, games must win. I know it still says seven because it's the normal dealio, but. Uh, Team Watch This has two wins for anybody just joining us here. Uh, they're up to 14 points. The most points Jack can get is seven. Seven to make it 15 to 14, giving them the win. If at any point in time, uh, Team uh, Watch This gets one rack, the best that can happen is a 15-15 tie, in which Team Watch This already has two wins out of three right this very second. So that would be the tiebreaker. So it is coming down to one rack for Jake, seven racks for Jack. He has got to put a seven pack, well, not necessarily seven pack per se, but he's got to win seven in a row. Though. <laughs> yeah. So he, he doesn't have to imagine leave Jake and sit in the whole time, but you. <laughs> seven pack, imagine. Oh my gosh. Move him up. He, oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go out there personally and shake his hand and be like, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just, I'm messing, guys. I'm messing. So. Dave over He's here. fired up. Yeah, Dave Dave's over here fired excited, up. as he should be. I mean, 
I mean, goodness gracious. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, why didn't you win 7-0, Dave? Come on now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Live biscuit. stream, live stream, biscuit. biscuit, biscuit. There you go. We'll we'll take some biscuits. And if Jacob makes an eight on the break, if he makes eight on the break, it's over. Yeah. yeah. I might spill my gray goose <laughs> on your. Don't you spill it on this? I hope you got insurance. <laughs> I hope I insurance. Yes, yeah, it's, it's called you. <laughs> Tony on the uh, YouTube side saying Jack is blending in, and that felt pretty well. He is. The uh, the camera will do an auto adjustment based on the color correction of, of who's closest to the camera. So if you guys see that, like, like quick little, like, adjustment and stuff, that's the camera doing its uh, its job, but not realizing that it's doing its job too well. <laughs> well, guys, we're about to name our first ever Padawan D Division Master Champions, by the way. This is going to be amazing. Oh, uh, look at the eight. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that ain't drifted very close to that right inside pocket. It, it was <laughs> it might have, it might have went. All oh right, what do you mean? I think he made a stripe. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. He made yeah. a stripe. Yep, one stripe. That's all she wrote. Which he, I think it goes past the six just fine. So he's got oh yeah. the run his own. Float up, 15 in the side or 15 all the way down. Big question is this 9 10 situation realistically. I mean, that's. Yeah. It's going to be the problem for him this rack is for right now, per se. That that may change as things move around a little bit. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we're about to have our first division, uh, Padawan Division champions, man. Now now I'm thinking about that and putting that in perspective. This is this has been a year in the making. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is the first session ever for Padawan Masters, ever. What's the um, highest – what's the – Highest skill level for that? It's meant for five sixes. Um, from what I understand, I do not want to misspeak here, just in case. So, guys, I'll take this as Jacksonville APA saying this, right. please. Um, but uh, the reason why, like, Wes is still out in and stuff is you were allowed to move up to a seven. Um, I don't know any further movement, but you were allowed to move up to a seven, and that's just because the fact teams are just four-man teams. So, yeah. imagine if you start a team with, with a bunch of sixes that are allowed to be in the division. Yeah. Two players move up to a seven because they've had a, a great session, which this goes through three sessions, right? <laughs> Um, in terms of like it goes through the, the summer, uh, fall, and, and spring um, of how long it plays for. So imagine, you know, two of your guys move up and they got kicked out automatically. You, you'd have a two-man <laughs> two man team that, that wouldn't work. So I think that's the why behind it. But, again, I don't want to – I'm not speaking on behalf of Jacksonville APA on that one. I'll say that. So. Yeah, I think I might, um, I might join a team here. I have a couple of people who asked me. Yeah. Well, it's great that you mentioned that here because I'm going to have this pulled up uh, for everybody. But um, there is a nice little uh, nice little website that Kelly worked on. And look got at that. Going. And Lux Gorgeous here. I'm going to sit right here and do a little copy paste. And that's the way you can uh, sign up right there, guys. Uh, if you move to a 7 uh, after the session, you have to drop off. Um, interesting. Uh, interesting, JT. Okay, I see what you're saying. So now that now that this is done, you're saying West can't be on that team now that this is done is what you're saying, if I'm understanding you correctly. That would make most sense. That would that would absolutely make sense. Because once the session's already been a year and, and you've been a seven, like you can't you can't continue on. I got you. That makes complete sense. Thank you for that, brother. Good good clarification. That makes makes hundred percent sense there. But yeah, I linked it right there, guys. It should be on all three channels, uh, both YouTube's and Facebook for you. But you can finish the session. Yeah, that's that's the nice way to do it, realistically. Because, I mean, you just, you, you can't help that people have earned their, their position where they've earned it, you know? Oh, Ooh, small oh metal. Yes, sir. What's up? J Money What's over up? here. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I'm warning you. I'm a civilized citizen. J Money's up here at Cue Ball Beach is giving out the seven ball. Who wants I, I, I love you, J Money. I'm the best scorekeeper ABA's ever seen. He's the best scorekeeper. I don't know now. A April, my April would, would, would fight you on that one. She loves being the scorekeeper. I feel bad because there's some nights, uh, Miss County, that uh, she'd be like, you want me to keep that score? And I'm like, well, you've already kept it for three other matches. You sure? She's like, yeah, I'd rather keep it. <laughs> oh, he made it. Look at this. Eight balls on the side. This is over. Yeah, this, this, this is I a wrap. You about to hear a big cheer once he makes this eight ball. Woo! And there she is. Yeah! Team, watch this. First ever champions right there Congrats. of the Padawan Masters. Big congratulations. Woo! Team, watch this consist of Jake Andrasco as the uh, team captain. Dave Andrasco here. Wesley Mitchell and Mr. James Brown here. Padawan, um, Padawan. Padawan, Padawan. Big congrats. Oh, 
Jen saying LFG there. LFG. Watch this. All right, now we're going to stream media. Good job, buddy. All right, guys. Watch out for Andrasco, he's going to spill the yes. gray goose on you. Yeah, Andrasco's going to spill the gray goose there. You stay over there. You stay over there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, uh, from that, I am going to go ahead and uh, kill the stream, try to get things yes. ready back up for, for the next one. Um, but Tim, stay tuned. Tim, thanks for having me on the Thank stream. You, I'm going to go grab something to drink. You go, brother. You go. Uh, uh, you're more welcome back if you want to for the, uh, the others. But if you want to be busy hanging out with your friends, I got it as well. I understand. Appreciate so it, brother. Appreciate you, brother. You be blessed. Thank you. Um, chat, we'll be back here in just uh, hopefully a matter of five to ten minutes at worst here. Um, but for those that are that are kicking it for the night, maybe that's all you came here for. You guys take care. Be blessed. Get some rest. As always, I want to be the one to get you to enjoy watching billiards again. Tim Jones, Voice Jacksonville Pool. We will uh, we'll be back here in just a moment, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs>